What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I am no longer in Canada and I'm here in the United Kingdom Woo! with yep. some amazing people. I got Andrew over here. What's your channel called? Proving Demons. Proving Demons. I got Dan over here. You already know Explore My Fires. Yeah, I got Aldo. Yo, yo, yo. And we are about to go and explore this haunted tunnel system. Apparently it goes in deep. We don't know how deep it goes in, but we're gonna be going in there, exploring it. And if it's good enough, we're gonna stay till three o'clock in the morning. Guys, I am here in the UK to give you guys a banger. Everybody's links are gonna be down below. Go and smash it, but don't forget, get yourself some of the new UK merch. Got the Live A Little UK edition and wait, wait for it. Seriously, wait for it. <laughs> we got the new Live A Little t-shirts, the UK edition. All the new merch is out on the store right now. Get them while you can. They are going to be limited. Smash the like button and let's get on with this adventure. This tunnel, apparently the residents are hearing air calls from inside this all the time. To the point where the police turn up quite a lot thinking people are trapped down there. There's no one there. Who's going in first? I'll go in first. I got the yeah, camera. Yeah, go I'll, I'll go in first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so this is an old air raid shelter during the world wars. Ugh, God damn it. There better not be an it cloud in there. I'm gonna have to get my light up. Spiders, spiders? You guys don't have poison spiders here? No, not we got poison, false wiggles. Not poisonous, but they're quite big. Oh, I don't, I don't mind spiders. I like them. Like, I actually I enjoy play, playing with spiders and stuff. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. Let's go in, guys. Literally, we just got off a plane. I'm already crawling into holes. Welcome to the UK. Welcome to the UK. <laughs> All right, boys. I'm going in. All right, well, going in. Oh, literally, I feel I feel like Bear Grylls right now. Oh, oh, I'm Bear Grylls. Like I'm going into a hole. Right, Yo, there's a bear in here. In Are you filming my ass? Uh, yeah, get a, get a good shot of my ass. Oh, this is cool. Check it out, guys. You don't got to do that much crawling. Whoa! Look at this. Whoa, this is like an old school air raid shelter from the World War. Apparently it was demolished or closed off and then somebody opened it up. Wow. Well, nobody else wanted to go. Oh, it turns. It keeps going. Yo, what the hell? All right, this is pretty cool. There's a door. There's a freaking door. Yo. Okay, I'm scared now. Guys, this is so whack. It keeps going. Alright, might as well just explore this. Yo, what the hell? It keeps going? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. What? Okay, this looks like a main channel video right here. What? This is unreal. Where is everybody? I'm like in here by myself. Okay, sergeants, this is no joke. I thought this was gonna be a little crevice in the ground, but it's like literally an underground city in here. Look, it just keeps going and going. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Yo, there's something in there. Really? Yeah. Bro, this is no joke. <laughs> this, this is a main channel video in here. Yo, what did you find in Bro, there? there's something in there. Like something moved. I got it on camera. Oh, oh it might be a British bear bat wolf. A what? A British bear bat wolf? <laughs> Dude, there's something in there. What the hell? Something, something just scared the living crap out of me. I was not, I was not ready for this. Yeah, something moved down that way. I didn't even make it past the tire. You got John of Artist one. Huh? John of Artist tour. Um, I mean, well, my, my torch is not, not that big. Well, I mean, look, look down that car. <laughs> That's a pretty good torch. All right, I'll you borrow your we'll torch. You can, you can have my torch. I think my torch just needs a new battery. That's what I want to torch. Whoa, Whoa. Dan. Something. Not seen something. I, I just got to that tire and something like banged. Oh, what the? Something at the end of the tunnel was banging. Are you serious? Yeah. 
Something in the tunnel? Hello? Anyone down there? Skibbity. Dude, this is crazy. Like, I didn't expect it to be like this. Like, you said bunker, I expected like something tiny. No, it's no, like no, a honey, it's a honeycomb as well, so it's like intertwining tunnels, so watch it over here lost. Oh shit. That's what I heard. Yo, I heard that too. Make yourself known! Wait, what's that noise? Oh, it's definitely. It's definitely. Uh, it's definitely. Yeah, let's, let's go check it out, guys. Yeah, oh, oh, I seen the shadow of somebody at the end of the corridor. To the left? It's like, it's like somebody moved into the left. Oh my god. Guys, this is getting really creepy. Make sure you hit that like button while you're watching. If you're sitting at home, you can pop for him right here. Please hit that like button. Oh my god, it just, just like different like doors and stuff. Holy crap. You gotta think these passages lead to where people would be sleeping, um, kitchen areas, bathrooms. I bet you, are there toilets down here? Yeah, toilets. yeah there's gonna be toilets down here. Uh, there's some secret it, passages it's meant as to well. thousand people, you know. Wow. There's secret passages as well. Last time I came here, there was people knocking through walls, exposing like new passageways, so I don't know how much further this goes. I'm gonna post this on Instagram. Yeah. Obviously, they haven't seen this go for a Oh my god, so this is a bathroom area. Or maybe not a bathroom. Look at this, guys. It looks like this was a room where they were like doing stuff. What, what were they doing in here? There's like stuff left behind from way back in the day. Oh, this, this feels like one of those VR horror games that I played before. This is so creepy. Oh, what the hell? Do think this is where like, there's a bathroom and stuff? Oh, yeah, this is where it looks Oh, Looks like someone's tunneled in here. Let's, let's scare Aldo. Yeah. Excuse me. Ah! Ah! <laughs> God damn, you scared me. I've been waiting. Dude, this is crazy. Look at all this. Oh, this, is like a dead end. <clears throat> this looks like it was like a machine shop. Yeah, yeah, there is a machine shop further down. Further down? So you can actually get lost in here by yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> further down. It doesn't look like it goes down more, but let's see. We got an old radiator over here. It's a machine that I don't know, God knows what it did. But keep in mind, during the war, they needed to like stock up in supplies, maybe even create and build things when they were down here. Yeah, it just keeps going. Holy shit. Wowee. What on earth? Which way do we go? It, that leads to a dead end down that way, but that's the machine shop. Yeah, I see like a little engine, I think, on the ground. Is that an engine? <clears throat> yeah, we got an old engine over here. Look at this thing. That is cool. What? Guys, it is so dark down here, but I'm going to keep going by myself just to go and give you guys that most RG experience big shout out to Dan and Andrew for bringing me here we guys are gonna leave their links down below oh man this is one of the scariest places I've been to in a long time all right so this is a dead end kind of happy because I don't want to get lost it's easy to get lost down in these tunnels it's so easy to get lost here look at this old like locker thing Now keep in mind, I just got off of a flight, <laughs> a six hour flight from Canada to the UK, and I'm already filming a video. And we have more videos to be filmed later tonight. This is where I, I came from. Yeah, I think this is where I came in from. Man, this is terrifying. This is so freaking scary. So much more items left behind on the ground here. This looks like an old motorized grass cutter. That's cool. Isn't it, isn't it weird how we never heard that sound again? Yeah, it is. There was definitely something down here. I mean, this place is ancient, right? 
guaranteed spirits living in here. It's about 80 years old, I'd say. 80 years old? 80. That would be World War II from the era. Well, I don't know, it could be older because these, these tunnels are a little Victorian. It could be older. Yeah, they do have some brickwork, the archway brickwork. And then these tunnels are like over 100 years old. Well, uh, the, the youngest they're going to be is 80. 18 years old, yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, they built them for World War II, right? Yeah, but yeah. A, lot, a lot of the area shelters were, were built from existing tunnels. Uh -huh. So um, the Victorians were notorious for just digging through and making new tunnels. Dude, tunnels are awesome. People need to build more tunnels so people like us can explore them. Oh, what the f was that? Holy sh. Hello? Is there anything there? That came from the other side. Where did that come from? It came from the other side. Like it hit the metal, the metal thing on the door. That nearly gave me a heart attack. Yeah, me too. What was that? Dude. You said this thing's over 100 years old, so who knows what's living But there. And remember I told you guys earlier, I thought I seen like a shadow figure? Yeah. And we heard something? Hey Dan, careful not to roll your ankle you on that. What? It just keeps going. This is getting weird. Yo, oh, this is. Now, does this loop back around to where we came in from? Um, eventually, yeah. But you might. It's like a honeycomb in the middle, so you could end up like coming back and forwards on yourself. Yeah. Damn. So if you didn't know your way around, you can kind of get lost here for a little bit. Let's put it this way. If your flashlight died, you would not be found for a long time. Oh my god. This is the kind of place where if you come here alone, they're never going to find you. There's also no reception down here, so you can't just order Uber Eats if you're hungry. Dude, we should just go with no lights on. No lights on? <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. You're crazy, dude. Wow, it really is amazing. It's just like, it goes on and on. It goes on and on and on. Shine it back down. Oh. I thought those eyes for a second, shadow reflection right there. Okay, that's that's where we started from over there, and this is where I seen a shadow figure going in this way. Oh, wait, is that where we started from? Yeah. And Hello! We, and we hear a loud bang in the other room. There's no way there's no one here right now, like, living in here. Like a homeless person, possibly, or, or some type of spirit. People have been sleeping down here. Really? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what's at the end of this tunnel over here. Why am I so nervous? Oh. What happened? You guys okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're all right. Man, I keep seeing things. Yo, something just hissed at me from over here. Something hissed at you? There's a room over here, and something just hissed at me. A room? A room. I didn't know there was a room down here. Hello. Hey, if there's anybody in there, we mean you no harm. Something hissed at me. Like, kind of like that. Like, you know, someone goes, pss, pss. The hell keeps going? Okay, I guess that's the end of the road here. It goes up to a manhole. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. You can literally climb out there if you wanted to. Oh, we could be right under the road. Uh-huh. Well, no, look, I see trees right above it. So this wasn't like a, an air duct. Just nice imagine walking duct. around and dirt just falling through. <laughs> yeah. And that's all bedrock too. That, like that's hard ground. Oh, look how deep we are on the ground, right? Yeah. That's like 20 feet of freaking rock. Oh, that's a lot more than 20 foot, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's scary. Right. Probably closer Bro, to 50. Imagine if, right, while we're in here, someone's outside sealing the entrance. Yeah, we're absolutely f***.
Yeah. And we're gonna die. We would have to go out that way <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, like, I mean, you can probably get up from there, but man, that's a mission. Dangerous one too. Yeah, I'm not that good of a rock climber. Yeah. So I think this is the end of this part. Where's Aldo? Is he okay? Well, who the hell hissed at me? Somebody hissed at me from inside this room. How many rituals have been done here? Probably a lot, man. People like probably get drunk here. They light things on fire. They break things. There's still the left side of the tunnel that we haven't explored just yet. Well, I'm gonna be careful because that's what the f is that? Whoa! Whoa, what the Right, here's not, you can't tell me there's not a homeless guy here. Yeah. There's nobody here, dude. Huh? We would have heard him running. Yeah. But that's a long corridor to run to. <laughs> yeah, bro, there's nobody in here. What the hell? Dude, that was something paranormal. Just when I said the left, we haven't explored the left, and this thing just goes to the left side. Yeah. Has anyone ever been to this side? Have you been? No, no, I can't. This is my first time here. Hello, spirits of the tunnel. What the hell? It goes right and left? <gasps> There's some demonic shit here. Whoa! Oh my god, what the hell is that? I'm telling you, bro, some weird shit going down here. Dude, anytime you draw the devil on walls, you know, like, it bad brings, brings evil into the Brings evil. Yeah. yeah. Negative energy, guys. Yo, what the hell? It looks like someone's been chipping away. It's yeah. Like it's like the nose. It's like there's like a nose where the nose is. Yo. Do you see what I see? Yeah. Yo, what is that on the chair? Wait. No. Look behind it. There's a hole in the wall. There's like. So you you you've been here before, right? Yeah. When was the last time you were here? Uh, two years ago. And how much of this did you explore? I thought all of it, but obviously not. Did you not been down your flashlight out? There's a hole that probably no one's been in through except whoever broke it open. Dude, I want to go in there. That's so cool. There's like more to explore. And Dan's probably, you probably like maybe explore like 50% of this place. Yeah, I thought that. Nice. <gasps> what? Yo, I think it has to do with the face, man, with hands. I'm not, I'm not okay with that. Guys, guys, it literally sounded like that, that wheel that moved. It's like it was moving again. Bro. Listen, it's okay. What the f It's coming from the hole. Let's just listen in for a minute. Do you hear that coming? What's going on in here? Guys? Wait, I really hear humming. Hello? Okay, let's go in the hole. Okay, let's go in the hole. Dude, we heard noises coming from inside of it. It's not like it's water dripping. There's no water in here, right? Which is surprising too. What the? F this place just keeps going. Oh, and that keeps going too. Oh, it goes left and right. What? Let's do it, man. Through the hole. Goes left and right. All right. I guess I'll go in first. Come to the UK, they said. Right. We're gonna go into the holes. It literally does curve. Coming in, let's do it. Yeah, it's much colder, that's for sure. And notice it's on a slope, like it goes downhill. 
Because no one's been in here yet. Bro, like, this is new. This is new. That's why it's this so clean. This is crazy, man. I'm not gonna lie. Devil symbols on the wall. Oh yeah, there's stars on the wall. Oh. oh my on the God. ceiling. Oh, 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 Look at this, yo. Somebody's done some rituals here. That's why there's so much weird shit going on. Weird. What the? This looks like another entrance. There's oh. Yeah. This place is full of like that, that yeah. goes out to the field. There's pentagrams, there's Viking runes on the walls there. Oh, More shit. Viking runes there. Somebody's some I weird think. stuff has been done here. Yeah, yeah. this is definitely oh. now the, like it's, it's like the, almost like the, the satanic tunnels. I wouldn't be surprised if we found bones here. Yeah, possibly. This, I don't remember this being like this. Yo, 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 yeah, they, these I know these symbols. These are the um astrology symbols. Uh, that would be oh, that true. would be cancer right there. I think that might be Taurus. Uh, yeah, these are all the astrology symbols. And so, no, that's Taurus right there. But why? Aries right there. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What? what I don't that? know. I don't know. Yo, that came out of nowhere. Hold on, hold on. Stop moving. Stop moving. It's sounding metallic. Yeah. Yo, look what it says. Have you seen it? It says, "Have you seen it?" What the? And that noise came from that area. Bro, there might be a psychopath down here, you know? Bro, I like they're think... They're painting on the walls, this stuff? Yeah. Have you seen it? I think they're talking about some kind of spirit here. Dude, and I seen... I seen... Uh, remember the shadow thing. That could be whoever's down here. Or it could be an actual legit shadow figure. Hold on, this is all starting to make sense. We have... The Zodiac signs over there. And then we have this ritual stuff. And then we have a face there of what someone looks like. It looks like. That face is supposed to represent whatever it is. What's that leaking from the wall? All this. What the? Is that? We've explored the hell out of this tunnel. It, it does go to a dead end and it comes out to a field. But. We haven't explored the right side of it. The, like there's more tunnels that we haven't seen yet. Like there's a lot more to check out. <gasps> what is that? Yo, did you see that? Yeah. Well, Yeah, we're literally not alone here. Did you guys saw that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think we should get out of here. Uh, yeah. we should. Like, this is getting crazy. Bro, you mentioned a psychopath? I don't know. Did you see the drawings on the walls in there? Yeah, but yeah. like, there, there's a person or something in here walking around without a flashlight. That's a psychopath right there. Bro, I am starting to think my mind is like tricks on me. Are you sure you should just stick your head? Wait, how did, how did that get there? Wait. That was on the outside. Yeah. I'm pretty sure when we were... May, maybe, maybe not. Maybe that was already in here. It is dark, guys. It is dark. Yeah. Is <laughs> oh, 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 shit! Oh, 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 what? what did you see? I saw a fucking shadow figure right in my fucking face. Oh my god. So what are we supposed to do? Get... It literally came right into my fucking face. It was brown. <sighs> well, I know you're scared, but we need to it, calm down on this. Just wait. Oh, oh. My fans oh. are gonna hate me. I know, swear. I just realized. Oh, it's a portal. Yeah. Oh, it is a portal. Somebody's drawing a portal. Guys, I literally just saw a fucking, like a shadow figure, like straight up, like it was wait, like a smoke. Wait. No, I, no, I feel the rumble in the. Yeah, it's on the line. Woman's voice. It's very faint. Bro, have you guys thought they sealed up that side over there? And then they built a wall here yeah, to keep why? either something in there or people out of there for some reason. Why would they put a wall here? It doesn't make sense. Somebody broke that wall open and probably let something out. Oh my god, that's true. And then it says over there, have you seen it? Yeah. Yo, I, I don't know if the camera saw this, but literally it shook me to my core. There was something looking right at me and I saw it with my own eyes. It was brown, it was kind of transparent and see-through, almost like an actual shadow figure. I believe it actually was. Okay, let's just get the hell out of here, man. I just heard someone. There's someone there. After you, bro. Hello? Dude, that was traumatizing. I don't want to go back in there. Let's move forward. I think I just want to go out that, that exit, man. Like, I'm, I'm down for digging. Did you bring a shovel? I mean, I'm down for digging. We, we can, my we can squeeze out. through it, guys. 
What? Anyone there? Are you guys coming or what? No. Bro, we're like f scared right now. Let's go, man. I don't want to be out here alone. Damn, that was scary. <gasps> somebody, somebody just took a step behind me. Literally, a step, a footstep right behind me. The f was that? I don't know. The How the exit? I don't know. I don't know. This way. This way. Okay. Try guys, guys, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Look, 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 look what it says on the wall here. Murder backwards. Murder hole. Red rum. Red rum. Red rum right there. Yo, the whole place is rumbling. Yeah. I don't like this. There's only fields above us. There's no trains. Yeah, it's all fields here. Why is the f tunnel rumbling? And as you were coming out, I heard a, a, a loud footstep, something stepping back here. Oh, it's a dead end. Dead end here, yeah. See, we can get lost again. No, but we can get cornered here too. Yeah. Here's the thing, there's a lobby each of the corners. Oh god, look, he, there is a psycho or something. Oh, yes. It's all like astrology, like like stuff serial killers. Spout celebrate true freedom. Everything is permitted. This guy could be a pedo. Could be. Love is the law. Look at all these symbols, here's a satanic. Sounded like something was down there. Oh my god. Yo, you guys don't understand what I just saw. So I thought you were standing over here. I just seen someone standing here with my eyes. And then I looked at you. Yeah. yeah. It's something, guys. There's, there's a shadow man here. Hey, shadow man, reveal yourself. All right, so uh, I don't know how to get out for me though. The only way to get out is the way we came in. That other one that I just found is way too tiny to squeeze through. What is the game plan here? How are we gonna get out of here? Should we just go out the way we are? You guys, I feel like we're lost. I just don't want to run into whoever did this. I think we should just head down. Like Yo, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go. There's like screaming coming from the inside. Oh. Yo, come on. Come on. What the f is all that screaming? It sounds like demons in there. My God, dude! There it is. Guys, nose. What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa, whoa. It's coming this way! Run, 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 run! <laughs> There's no way I. Whoa! <gasps>
What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another late night video. Today, my friend Dan exploring with fighters and my friend Aldo at Aldo's World TV. Both their links are gonna be down below. We are gonna be exploring the Black Eyed Children's Forest. Now this forest is notorious. It's mega haunted and apparently people see kids that have these big demonic black eyes throughout this place. And apparently some dude built a tree fort somewhere in this forest which apparently attracted these kids to it and now they've made it their home. So what we're planning to do tonight is to take our ghost equipment, go deep into this forest. We have a long hike. It's actually one o'clock in the morning right now and uh, it's really scary and we're gonna investigate and see if we can catch these kids on camera <laughs> i'm scared and we're still in the uk by the way yep timo sergi live a little merch in the links down below and go subscribe to the boys let's get on with this one do you want more videos like this if so make sure to go to my merch store mosarji.shop get yourself some merch help support this channel every video gets demonetized and the only way to support this channel is to get yourself merch i would really appreciate it i have different varieties of stuff on the website you can check it out right here the links are all going to be down below thank you my friends and now let's get back into this video all right you guys this super late night forest adventure begins right now we are looking for a tree fort that apparently some dude built in the last couple of years because this guy was going crazy he wanted to build a fort and he happened to build the fort in one of the most haunted forests in the united kingdom and we're gonna go and search for it so yeah pray for us i don't know if they have bears out here or wolves or whatnot on this island but it is possible anything is possible at nighttime dude whatever is like making that noise is over there what? there's something making a noise over there See, I told you I heard a noise. It was Should we go check it out? Okay, here's the thing. Um, this is kind of weird, but apparently the kids mimic animals sometimes. Uh, so you go to them. Okay. Like that's the legends around here. They can mimic things, mimic people, change shapes, and they have big black eyes. I've heard stories that, I'm not crying by the way, um, I've heard stories as well that um, they can make adult sounds as well, like like, luring in like help and stuff so when you go to them you know you, you think you're gonna find an adult there maybe they do that to, to try not spook you out because it is a little bit more spooky having a child yeah at one o'clock in the morning screaming yeah. than an adult so we, we should actually though like we should go and check out what that noise is so something's making a weird noise around this area hello oh dude it's getting louder what a terrifying place. The fact that it's one o'clock in the morning and we're here right now in the forest, trying to locate whatever that sound is. This is my first forest in the United Kingdom, by the way. You think it's an owl? I don't think owls make that noise, dude. Oh, look, there's a box here. There's a box on the tree. Probably just a bird. Yeah, maybe it's just a bird. Well, but what's with this box? Little bird. Maybe it's a gift. It's empty from the bottom. Oh. Oh. You see that? Strange. But there's pro they're probably just birds, dude. Yeah. I've never heard owls make noise like that. Not the baby one. Maybe baby owls. Just, uh, I think we should keep going. Aren't owls good? like supposed to be good for us? We've played around the Nautica. You know, when you find an owl, it means that your fate has been changed. Oh, oh great. So, so that's, that's like kind of creepy. So now we're going to stumble upon these kids with black eyes. Great. Great, yeah, great, yeah. great, 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 great. Where people say they see the most signs and the most signs. Whoa! What the f was that? Dude, I just, I swear on my mother's life, I just saw one person standing over there behind that tree no way, right? yeah just looking at us between those two trees see those two trees how they're separated yeah okay. there was someone standing right there staring at us oh, you know, you i don't know i was looking I, my head was looking back there but my camera wasn't is this where we came in from no we came in from the opposite direction hello hello is anyone there I swear to God, I saw 
I don't know if it was a female or not. Are these kids females or, or do we know? We don't know. Imagine it could be. I swear on my mother's life, I just saw somebody here. Hello, is anyone here? Okay, let's just let's look around here for a second. Right between these two, dude. Right between here? Yeah, like standing right here looking at us. Okay, that scared the shit out of me. What the hell? You guys didn't see that? I'm trying to see. I was looking at my map. <sighs> Son of a bitch. That scared the crap out of me, whatever that was. Me. It could have been an animal, but I'm pretty sure I saw what I saw, dude. Did you guys see that? Let me get let me get my bright flashlight on that. I mean that's cool. Hey, who's here? Who's behind the tree? <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, what the? Yo, I knew somebody was here. Yo, I told you. Oh, I knew somebody was here. Yo, I told you. I saw your eyes. Ask. Okay, yo, check this side. There is legends of Bigfoot as well, you know. We have a UK Bigfoot. There's a UK. Oh, now you tell us this. Yeah, I didn't know if I should tell you or not until we got to the forest. <laughs> oh, Jeez. Great time to tell us when we're in the forest. No, what is behind her? So we see, we see something. We both see something here that leads us to this a, a little fort, right? But we're looking for a massive treehouse. This is a good start. This, there's something going on here. Here's the thing: these kids like to play games, dude. They build forts to make it seem like it's all friendly. You can go there, and then they attack you and they do shit to you. That is so weird. The only thing I'm worried about is look at the way the the, the trees have been all snapped down. Right. Look at this. Like Bigfoot. Yeah. We saw something. And then we kept walking and then there I was know, this. I know, I know, I like know. That, that's, like that's not random. No, that's not random at all. Like we literally just stumbled upon this because we saw something. Oh my God. What the hell? Yo, what is this? What the hell is all this? I've never seen anything like this before. Guys, this, is, this looks alien. What is this, dude? It's all over the trees. I don't know what that is. I've never seen, I've been in forests my entire life. This whole tree's covered in this black stuff. What is it? The hell I think that's the black eyed children bees. That's why their eyes are black. Uh, yeah, that's a possibility. That kind of looks like black eyes, doesn't oh, it? What, what is it? Yo. So we've been walking for quite some time now and we came across some water. Look at this. Hey, what's this? There's like a sign here on the... <laughs> what is that? It's an upside down penis. Is that an upside down penis? Yeah. You're laughing at me. <laughs> Dude, I'm a bit delusional right now. We've been walking forever. <laughs> and we, we don't know where we're going. Isn't it weird that there's a path on this side? Well, I, don't, I don't remember. I think we're lost, guys. You think we're lost? These boys think we're lost. What is that? Gunshots. A horse's hoofs galloping. Oh, you're right. What the hell? But there's no. Is it too late to mention that there is legends of um, the headless horseman here as well? As well. Stop, yeah. stop, bro, stop. Bro, you guys I mean, just have everything in this forest. The UK forests, every one of them are riddled in legends, so I just didn't know which one to tell you first. Oh, shit, I still hear it. We're hearing some really strange noises. We should move away from the river because it's gonna yeah. dilute the sound. Let's keep going. There's a place called Canuck Chase where the, the black eyed children are most prominent. And um, in the 1960s, there was a guy who was going around killing kids oh. and burying them in the forest. And oh. they, were just, they were just vengeful spirits. Okay, that makes sense. Fucking. And their souls never rested properly. Yeah, and they became the black eyed children. So these kids are pissed off. Yeah, yeah. Yo! Oh my god. There's a rope here. Oh my god. 
that a little noose up there? It is, it is. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh, this is all mud. There's literally a noose up there, guys. Look. It seems like the deeper we get, we keep finding more stuff in this place. Dude, what if there's something in the water? Imagine like something pops out of the water right now. That would be terrifying. Dude, imagine there's something like that pops out of the water right now. That's so terrifying. Okay, bro, bro. Yeah. I have no idea where we are. Bro, bro, bro. Remember how you said the kids? I should have growled. You said the kids. They passed away in the forest. Do you think some of them were like tied? What's the word? I don't know. No one really knows how exactly how they died, but apparently some dude murdered them. So we're just walking down random pathways. We're pretty lost and we're pretty deep into this forest, not gonna lie. I know to you guys it might look like every other forest that we've been to, but it's still a forest, it's still creepy. Things do happen in places like this. People die, people get kidnapped, people get murdered, and little children disappear here and they're in, they end up getting buried here and then become vengeful. And they start doing things like, you know, um, haunting people that come through here. This is what I love about the UK. There's so many cool stories from one forest. There's a million haunted stories that come out of one forest. And it's awesome. Is it just me or the vibes changed now? Yep. It's, it's, getting weird. it's getting much darker and scarier. Seems like we've been walking forever. We don't know why, we're just looking for clues. We're trying to find sounds. We're trying to see if we can see eyes in the bushes. So let me know in the comments below if you guys manage to see something. And it's kind of weird because my flashlights are already dimming and dying off, which really sucks. These are the only two flashlights I have and if they die, I am pretty screwed. But this forest really does remind me of those forests from like the movies. When you have like demons and shit and like guys on horses with no heads chase after you. I need the car keys. And the mom's like, yo, why is this little kid asking for car keys? And keep in mind, the whole time when they ask you for something, their eyes are like this. And then the third time, she, the kid raised his eyes and they were black. And he's like, I need the car keys now. And the mom was like about to give the car keys. And then she snapped out of it real quick. And she closed the door. And when she told the son, she's like, yo. He came to me first and he asked me. This is like one of the craziest stories I've ever heard about the black eyed children. There's quite a few different ones. It's Jeez. scary. Have you heard any from this actual forest? No, no, just the, just the legends of all the. So people walk the dogs here at all times at night. Yeah. All right. We, it's a weird English thing to do. They'll go in the forest at like two o'clock in the morning. Hey kids, is that you? Oh. Until we built this fort, and there's been so many reporting since. Do you think they think of it as like a, like a getaway, like a little secret? Man, that was creepy. You guys heard that too, right? Yeah, there was something there. What the freak? It seems like we're being kind of stalked. Yeah, yeah it kind of feels like right. something is following us. You always know when you're being stalked. This is why you should never go to the forest alone at nighttime. Yo, for real, man. It's looking right at me, right here. What? Are you messing with us, man? No, no, you, no, you no. You saw no, them no, standing no. right here? There was a guy and there was a girl. There was two of them. A boy and a girl. And they had black eyes. The girl had two rolled up pieces of hair. Like she had her hair twisted from the back. And the guy had his hair combed to the side and he was wearing a black outfit and she was wearing a black dress. They were right here and then they went that way when you guys came. Is anyone there? 
Hello? Hey, come back out. I saw you. Where did you guys go? We just want to be your friend. Run! 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 What the hell happened to my mic? Yo, my camera's glitching out too. Okay, it's back. Something just touched me from the back through the bush and they ripped my mic off my f***ing camera. Oh, it's like when you shout it, it scared it and it ran off into the bush. I heard the footsteps in the, in the leaves. Is anyone there? Um, I, I don't know if, I, I don't know if I'm making this up in my head guys, like, honestly. Although, did you guys hear the humming? Because I heard somebody humming and I, at the bush, and when I went to the bush, there were two kids standing there looking at me. And it was almost like a, an, an entrancing type of f***ing humming. We didn't hear nothing. I didn't hear a humming, man. And I was shouting of you. I'm not liking this, man. There, there, there's something here. I don't think it wants us to go to the... the, the what was it called? The, the fort house? The, fort. the tree house, whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't even know if we're even near this thing. Like, where is it? What if they're trying to lead us away from it? You Let's know, just keep walking. Some then. people say that the, we're being distracted. Like the kids on the outskirts, they're probably protecting the house. We're being distracted. Yeah, let's, let's just, let's keep, just keep going. They obviously they're trying to sneak us away. Don't like give into it. Jeez. There's no way. I Whoa! <gasps> don't run! Don't run! Don't run! Don't run. Whatever it is, we stand and we fight together. Yeah, right, right. We don't win. How can we fight something that's causing delusions, we dude? Can, we can try. No, no, mental, I, I caught that Mental on stability. Stay, stay mentally focused. Keep him down there. Keep him down there. Yo, Mo, put your, put your light down there. My light is dying, dude. It's almost dead. Let's stay mentally focused. They're, they're right, trying right. to mess with us, guys. They're trying to mess with us. You're this right. is the first step. You're right. Let's show them that we're not afraid. So they're literally trying to get us not yeah. to go close to maybe their burial site too. Yes, but it's like they'll, they'll try and affect you mentally, so you become weakened, and then that's when you, possession takes place. Yeah, these things. I feel like they're all around us. Yeah. What do we do? Should we walk towards it, or just keep walking towards the house? Let's just keep going. I, I want to know why I'm feeling so sad right now. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going, man. We. My bad for jumping, guys. That actually scared me. <gasps> what the f was that? It's in the bush, guys. It's in the bush. Dead ahead. Yeah. It sounded like it was running. Look, it's still falling there. Yeah. In that bush dead ahead. Like I said, we're just trying to restore peace. I don't think they want peace. Something is trying to best to scare us away. It's a chicken wire. There's something behind it that we are not careful. Dan? There's no oh. signal in here now, by the way. No cell phone signal. Oh, you're right. <gasps> Through the thread. It's coming! It's coming this way! Run, 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 run! run. <laughs> it's coming right at us! What the f was that? I don't know. It was literally running at us. Sorry, we left Dan. What was that? It, ju it jumped into the bush. It's almost like they were running in circles, like at a supersonic speed in the fucking bushes. And then loads of bats came flying out. Why the hell are there bats in the forest? Is that a thing? Excuse me, you're scared. Oh. Wait, are we going the right way? Yeah. Like legit legitimately, we're being stalked right now. What is that? Something just ran through here. Who's there? Stop being coward. Show yourself. Do you guys smell that? It smells really nice all of a sudden. 
What do you mean, like someone's home? Nice? No, no, no. Sometimes spirits have a scent to them. Really? Yeah. It smells really, really nice. Like, it should not smell like cologne or perfume here right now. Like, it's almost like it's trying to like, lure you in. I bet these trails had like <clears throat> nights, you know, like 500,000 years ago, nights coming through them. Well, definitely bandits and bandits? highwaymen, yeah. You'd have them stealing off carts and stuff. Isn't it funny how. <laughs> Are you okay? Bro, that moth just fucking went, went in your mouth. Him. Almost, bro. It literally made yeah, out with me. Is, isn't it funny that nowadays you have the roadmen and yeah. then back then they had the highwaymen? Yeah. Yo, we just found another noose in the forest. What the hell? Nooses like this. Like, there's no reason for this noose to exist here. Oh, duh, sorry. I think it's water. Yeah. But, like, think about it. There's no reason for a noose to be here. Nope. It's not like you can just swing into water here. Yeah, dude, this is a noose. Yeah, 100%. Look at this. What the hell? Probably uh, unravel that, though. Huh? Unravel it. Unravel it? Yeah, just in case it comes along and, and, and uh, decides it's all fun and games to wrap it around. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Good idea. Good call. This thing's been on here forever, too. Well, not only are we ghost hunting, but we're also saving people's lives in the forest. Yeah, because... Because somebody literally could use this to, like, hang themselves, right? And we don't want that. Exactly. Like, that's pretty high, like... Jeez. Yeah, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. All right. Oh, yeah. Yo, did someone literally climb that just to make a noose? Yeah. Like, that's high, bro. Yeah. Guys, this ain't no normal tree. Look how big this tree is. So we heard a loud bang off camera. Do you think that's what it was? That tree getting smashed? Because it sounded like it was coming from here. I don't know, but it's got to be something big to knock stuff down like that. It's got to be. Definitely not. That, this is what we oh, heard. Look oh. at this. That that, sound we that's heard. what we heard. Oh, my God. Is that what we heard? Yo, that's literally what we heard. It had to be. That's a big tree. That is we didn't massive. We on camera. Were you guys filming when that sound happened? No, none of us were. What the hell? It's like something split this thing in half. Yeah. Oh. A bit of a shelter. Yeah, a little shelter over here. You're right. I feel like there's something down here in this ravine. Okay, it's here. What? Get from down there. Behind that tree. Behind that tree. Who's there? Who's behind the tree? I saw you. Come out. Go and get away. There's no one there, dude. I literally caught on the camera. What did you see? Bro, there was a kid standing right here. Right here. Just staring at us. Where'd you go? You guys notice how every time we see one of these things, there's like a little fort? Yeah, yeah, yo, that's so true. Every time, there's a oh little fort. Oh my god, that's so true. It's almost like they make like little, little tiny houses for themselves. I guarantee every little bit. There's something inside here. Let's let's take a look. Yo, what the hell is that? <gasps> oh, what what is that? The frick? That's weird. What is that? Is that a box? What the? Oh that my God! Weird, bro. What is that? Bro, so every time we stumble upon something, something happens with these kids. Yo, what would you do if something just crawled out of there and attacked you? Yeah, I know. I, I, thought, of, I thought of that when I kicked it. Oh my god, I watched too much horror movies. I thought of that when I kicked it. Never in there? No. Oh, it's a shelter. No. Yo, every time we find a shelter, we see things. And things start to happen. Look. Oh, it's a shelter. You're right. I was wondering what it was. It's It's a... <laughs> Bugs, go. Whoa, we found a shelter. I wonder what they were hiding from. You guys notice how the tree formation is here? Wait, bro, this is more like a hiding spot. It's like a one-sided shelter. Can you okay? Yeah. You think Whatever. Obviously, there's no tree else. Come on. I knew it was a legend. Just like the black guy. Oh my oh. god. Dude, it is. it's actually here. It's actually real. What the hell? I thought it was just an urban legend. This thing is so well done. Wow, that is epic. But wait, if the treehouse is actually real and not a legend, that means the children. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. Gina. Yeah, I heard that. We're not alone. Be careful, man. They're probably surrounding us. Dude, this thing is held on by like black rope. What are the odds of that? Yeah. Black-eyed children 
black rope. Where? Look, at the whole thing is held on by black rope for some reason. Oh, you're right. Oh this my god. This ancient. Considering that apparently it was built in 2020, it looks ancient. That wood looks way older than 2020, dude. Oh my god. This is pretty cool, man. I've never seen a tree fort like this. How do you even get up that? I don't even... What was that? Okay, this, I mean, it's a forest, guys. Things move, noises occur. Yeah. I want to climb this thing. All right, how do you supposed to do that? You hear that, kids? I want to climb it. No, don't say that. They're going to get mad. I want to be the first to climb this. Can I climb it? We should get on your device and ask if we can climb it and see what kind of replies we get. Okay guys, so just like the other day when I was filming the Screaming House with Dan, um, he has his device where we're gonna ask questions. You ready, Andy? <clears throat> yeah. So is what it, is this exactly for my audience? They it, don't know. It will answer questions, so what we'll do now is, is there any black-eyed children present? Could you let us know, please? Talk to us. This device that you're seeing on your fort, this is your fort, isn't it? I'm touching your tree. Let's all touch the tree. Come touch it. I'm touching your tree too. We're all touching the tree. What are you going to do about it? Do you want me to climb oh. up? Oh. Oh. Picked. Picked. What does that mean? We picked the wrong one. Wait, wait, wait. It's like tag. You've been picked? Yeah. Yeah, we've been picked. Dude, I saw them in the bushes. Maybe they picked me. Oh. Ah, what the f was that? What the f was that? I don't know. Someone ran past my leg. Yo, uh, oh, no, I heard that right there. Oh my god. What the f Yo, yo, they're playing tag with us. <gasps> Are you with us now, children? Yeah, we have to put our hand back on the thing. I thought I heard something say yes. Put your hand back on the thing. I heard something say yes. Let's touch a tree again. Children, are you with us? Can I climb your tree? Would you like it if I climbed this tree? It ran right by you. I said right. picked and then ran by you. Right past my leg. This is getting so weird. Pillow. Hello. Do you want a pillow to sleep on? Are you tired? Oh, you might be asking if we're sleeping here because we mentioned we were going to sleep oh. here. Oh, oh yeah. That's true, we did. Uh, well. we, we don't have a pillow, but I do want to climb up your tree fort. Is it okay? Because I feel like it only works when you just put your hand on it. Oh! Idea. Idea. As an idea? Maybe it likes your idea of climbing the fort. Okay, I'm gonna climb your fort. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna climb your fort now. What the? He's on your fort. Oh, we heard. He's on your fort. Can I have my camera? You want your camera? Yeah. All right, here, catch. I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay. Ghost voice. Ghost voice? What does that mean? It means listen. It means listen? Surprise. No. I don't want any surprises. Uh, we all have to agree, yes? Yes? Oh, yeah. Shh. We agree to your surprise. What do you mean? I'm scared. What kind of surprises? Why 
is it so quiet? It was a pretty lame surprise. It's so quiet. Business. 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 Yes, we're filming a YouTube video. Yes, this is for our business. We accept your surprise. Guys, nose. What the? Whoa! 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 whoa. whoa. What the? F was that? Wait, wait, did we actually just hear a kid? Yes. I caught it on audio. Yo, audio guys, audio. this is getting too much. It said surprise. Guys, nose. What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Guys, nose. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, nose. Yeah. Guys, nose. Okay, um. Uh, wait, that. Like surprise. That device that Dan has, Dan, that doesn't make noises like that, right? No, never, ever. So it's not that one? No. Oh my god. Well, I'm in your tree fort. Roll. It just said roll. I know. Either the rope that's connected to this fort or the rope that we found on the river. It's the noose. Oh! 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 oh, I just saw it! Just I just saw it knock your thing off the tree! Oh my god, I saw it knock your thing off the tree! What the hell? Yo, it's glitching. Oh my god. Yo, yo, it's oh, glitching! Oh. Guys, I'm being attacked by bees over here. All of a sudden. Bro, that that's not normal. Don't bro, touch it. Let, let it. let it let it just do its thing. Don't turn it off. Let it do Yo, its thing. Look what it says. It says welcome to Alice. It literally broke it. What the Dude, it broke your device. It doesn't want to talk to us. Yep, it's broke it. What the hell? Yo, maybe we should get out of here. We should take this to the side. Yeah, um... It literally just broke your device. It doesn't want to communicate anymore. Yo, I saw it. I don't know if my camera got it, but I saw it get pushed off the tree, dude. Damn. It broke your device. Oh, shit. Bro, it's literally broken. Is it working? Dude, that was so creepy. The noises it was making after it, it threw it off the tree. I saw it get flicked off. I saw it with my own eyes too. Everything that we've been experiencing all night tonight has been kind of violent in a way, in a negative way. It's like it doesn't want us here. Well, I'm down for leaving, please. I'm down for leaving too, honestly. It broke your machine, so we should probably go get that fixed and try to come back the next time. Do you want more videos like this? If so, make sure to go to my merch store, mosarji.shop. Get yourself some merch, help support this channel. Every video gets demonetized, and the only way to support this channel is to get yourself merch. I would really appreciate it. I have different varieties of stuff on the website. You can check it out right here. The links are all gonna be down below. Oh, look at mine, look at mine. Now yours is oh. oh, it's it's right beside me on the bed. Oh, there is something there. Oh, you, oh. Oh. There's a guy outside the window. Oh my god. I don't think I'd ever come back here. And we gotta keep our eyes open in case like there's something in the background, in case we hear some EVPs on the actual mic on my audio. No matter what happens, we're gonna catch it. And if you miss it, then that's why I need you guys to basically tell. Sergeants, are you in for a real treat of a video today? I am still in the United Kingdom and I am about to go and do an investigation that like I've never done before. Joining me is my friend Dan over here with Exploring with Fighters. You already know. And my friend Andrew over here. What up, uh, Proven Demons? Don't and forget. Both their links are gonna be down below. So today we are actually going on a cold case haunted mystery hunt. Basically, we're going to this house where a woman was murdered and dumped in a well. There's all these news articles about it here in the UK. I'm gonna put up some of these articles on the screen so you guys can see it. Not only are we gonna be going to investigate this house. This place is one of the most haunted houses in the entire area. I'm not even joking with that. Every single person who goes here experiences some of the most messed up activity you can imagine. So you won't be disappointed. The story itself is heartbreaking as it is, but uh, just coupled with the paranormal activity and the amount of negative energy that must be filling this house due to the fact of what happened there, yeah, you're in for a treatment. Dan, have you ever been here before? Listen, right, there's not play many places that I don't want to go to. This place, I've avoided for a while because I know the stories, I know what happens here, and I know it's going to be an unforgettable night. So I've been saving it for you, Mo. 
Oh, well, that's very nice of you. Hopefully, I don't get possessed and die. Um, today's investigation is going to be a little bit different. I don't just want to walk in blindly and just basically talk to ghosts. I want to go there for a reason. I want to see if we can figure out this cold case by asking questions on spirit boxes and any kind of tech that we have. we got to figure out who murdered this person because they never found the murderer, right? Never. It's never. a cold case. Cold case to this day, 1977 to now. Never, never, never caught. Therefore, we're hoping something on the spirit box can give us some type of answer. I don't think it's gonna hold up in court where they're gonna shut down the case, but it might actually help us out. So that being said, I hope you guys are strapped up. I hope you guys have your junk food, your popcorn. Let me know what you guys are eating to watch this video today. Smash the like button and obviously get yourself that UK Live A Little merch. Links are down below and go subscribe to everybody here. Let's get on with this one. Do you want more videos like this? If so, make sure to go to my merch store, mosarji.shop. Get yourself some merch, help support this channel. Every video gets demonetized and the only way to support this channel is to get yourself merch. I would really appreciate it. I have different varieties of stuff on the website. You can check it out right here. The links are all gonna be down below. Thank you, my friends. And now let's get back into this video. All right, guys, as you can see, we finally made it to the screaming house. This place looks freaking terrifying. Can't believe somebody was actually murdered here. Does anyone know where the well well existed? It used to be the well used to be back there, but it's not there anymore. Wow, and just look at the surroundings, it's all forest. Whoa. Hey, everything's still here. Yeah. Wow. It's been a little bit trash since the last time I was here. I can already feel a very bad vibe in here. Yeah, me too. It's not the biggest house, but we're not here for the size. We're here for the action. And we're here to communicate with this girl to see who the murderer was. The fact is, no matter how big the house, it doesn't mean they have a story like this one. Yeah, exactly. And look at, the, look at this. This is how you know you're in the UK. I've never seen anything like that. Oh my God, there's a really big piano over here. Wowee. This is unreal. Too, isn't it? Mustard green couches. She was killed in the 70s? Yeah, in this room. In this room. In this room. Strangled? Strangled to death and took out the back door into the well. Yeah, dumped into the well. Look at this creepy mirror over here. It's amazing how since the 70s this place isn't really like crazy destroyed. When I go places like back home in Canada, I bring all my equipment and I thought that was a lot. Dude, this guy's got this whole box. Full. We got three of these boxes, bro. Three. Good stuff though. Yeah. That's good. That's how you know he's serious about this. Oh yeah. Yeah. I need you guys to do me a solid favor. I'm inside of the bedroom of clearly the woman that died. It's scary. It smells like an old person too. And that freaks me out. Let's be serious here. Someone was actually murdered. She didn't die of natural causes. She didn't die of like, hey, I grew old and I just passed away. No, somebody came in here physically, hurt her, murdered her, dragged her body out to the backyard, to the well, and basically killed her. I think they killed her in the living room, actually. Dragged her body to the well and put her in the well. So there's a lot... I thought I just heard, I thought I just heard something behind me. So there's a lot of negative energy here. Um, so we got to listen in and we got to keep our eyes open in case like there's something in the background, in case we hear some EVPs on the actual mic on my audio. No matter what happens, we're gonna catch it and if you miss it, then that's why I need you guys to basically tell. What the f Wait a sec. Wait, did Guys? Yeah? Did one of you just close this door behind me? Did one of you close this door behind me? Nope. Yeah. Okay, the door is open. I'm gonna show you on my camera right now. That door just closed. I actually caught it. Like, like just that, just like, show. There. Yeah, no, no, no. It was wide open, like the whole time. I'm talking on camera and it was behind me. Okay. And it just closed. I'm gonna show you on my camera. You guys can. Okay, I just showed these guys the footage. You guys, guys, I, I wasn't touching the door. But you can see it. You you're holding you're holding the camera and you're making hand signals and it's clo it just like closing. It's behind top. me. The door's behind yeah, me. There's no possible way. Holy shit. 
I'm literally telling you guys to listen in on the EVPs. If you hear anything in the EVPs, let us know in the comments below. And this is her bedroom, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that was so scary. It's weird because we were just talking about like the depression you can feel in here, the anxiety, and it's the emotions that person felt as they were getting a life taken from them. You know, you can you can kind of feel that. Like, we've been doing this a lot so long. A lot of you guys won't understand this, but when you've been doing this for so long, you kind of pick up on abilities, and you're able to like feel what happened here. It's it's a weird feeling, oh, yeah. and you can feel the anxiety, the depression, what that person was going through as they were losing their life because you know that that kind of stuff embeds itself in the fabric of the building. There's definitely sadness there where she was murdered. Yeah, but this bedroom feels like it's on a whole nother level i mean for all we know she, you know she was murdered in there but the spirit when it came out it, it went to the happy place you know it's gone, exactly it's gone it's we, we don't actually know if she ran around the house being chased we don't know what the I struggle know. was like being strangled maybe she broke away got in the bedroom broke away again yeah we don't actually know well we're gonna find out tonight yeah, yeah. Then. okay well um yeah that happened literally that was 100 percent real um, no gimmicks, obviously, guys. Like, we're doing real paranormal investigation. We don't mess around. It gets... Oh, and I got a cold chill just now walking in here. I'm really hoping we get a name today. Like, Absolutely. that would be, like, mission accomplished. And hoping none of us get hurt. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's the main thing. Make sure we're all safe. Even if it does get crazy in here. Try and turn them in calm. Look at the suitcase. It's almost like somebody brought this out. Like... Cut up some body parts, maybe, and like. That's what I was thinking. I'm yeah. Sorry. We think alike, I guess. <laughs> That's uh, a creepy suitcase. Yeah. It looks like there's like hair or something in there too. Like I said, guys, this place is not that big, but um, the paranormal activity speaks for itself. I've, I've already gotten something. Have you guys gotten anything yet? Have we? No, not like, yet. Paranormal. We're, we're just setting everything up now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. What was your name again, the lady? Brenda. Brenda. Oh, okay. That's good. Brenda. Brenda, come talk to me. Brenda, are you with us? Brenda. Hey Brenda, you wanna make an appearance tonight? Ew, is this blood? Yeah, when it dries up. It's like blood splatter, dude. Brenda, while Mo's asking questions for you, can you please? Oh, there you go. Spiking. Just clear. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh my God. We're getting a solid EMF reading here in a house with zero power. So what? Explain that, skeptics. And that's right by her bedroom, dude. Yeah, you're right. Just seeing. Yeah, and then this one. Brenda, if you're in here, can... there you go. Oh, look at that. You see that going off? So there's some energy in here. It's a proper energy going on in here. Oh, dude, 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 come here, come here, quick. It's maxing out to red. It's going maxing out to, to red. red in her bedroom? In her bedroom. It's just maxing out oh by her bed. Oh, my God. Okay, so this is where the highest level of EMF is. So I can understand that door shutting on you just yeah. a second ago. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That is not normal. That is absolutely oh. not And it's not even stopping. It's just maxing out. I gotta get my EMF meter up. Wow. Yeah, go, go, go. So, Andrew thinks Brenda likes me. Yeah, well, for some reason. Yeah, it stopped as soon as you walked out. Yeah, it's, it's going now right. Now it's going crazy. You can see it on camera. It's going absolutely bonkers. It like, she likes you. Well, hopefully in a good way, not in a bad way. Well, hopefully, hopefully not in like a... A demonic, like, sexual way, too, you know? That'd be weird. I hope it's not. I, I don't tend to think that this is a demonic sexual... Oh, no, it's still there. Alright, guys, so a level of EMF like this is actually quite surprising. Call my K2 meter. I'm shaking. I don't know why, but I really am. It's Oh, God, please God. What's wrong? I don't know. What do you mean what you don't know? I, I don't know what's wrong. Uh, Dan, come here. What's wrong? I, I don't know what's wrong. I 
I've never seen this. Well, are you, do you want to try and talk about it? I, like, I'm standing here, and it felt like something just, like, grabbed me. And it just gave me a shit ton of sadness. Bro, he's being, he's being possessed. He's, well, no, you're being affected. Yeah. You're not possessed. No. You're not possessed, you're affected. No, you gotta be strong there's, I swear to God, there's somebody behind you, dude. Yeah. No, 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 there's literally, literally somebody walking behind you. I just saw somebody walk by the window. Something grabbed me. Just, bro, actually, you know what? I just saw a shadow behind in, the, in that room. I, d I don't know if someone's walking on the outside of the house, like, around the windows. Okay. I saw somebody walking outside. Somebody just clicked in this room, too. Something grabbed me. Something you're actually. Gonna be, you're gonna be alright. Something bear hugged me. Yeah, like, I promise you're gonna be okay. Yeah, just just take a breath and just. I've never shed tears on any paranormal investigation in my life. Yeah, it's... I know. That's why you just literally shook me up there. Yeah, the, the train. It's, it's, it's almost a tra the train of possess, right? But if you're strong-minded, you don't. You just get affected. Okay. Just stay strong. Just minded. Stay strong. Stay strong, no matter what. I've never, I've never shed tears on any paranormal investigation. That was. Something actually like overcame me. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah, you were welling up big time, bro. Uh, we genuinely had, we thought something was like definitely wrong with you. I, I'm I'm scared and like kind of like tearing up because I thought I was about to become possessed or something. Yeah. Okay. I, that's what, as soon as I came through, I, I saw you and I saw the tears. I could see like a different emotion in your face. It like you were ready for being possessed. Let's just stay. Let's, yeah, let's just stay not, strong just and calm. Let's, let's not let that happen. Stay strong. Yeah. yeah. Come on, please. please. Right, I don't want. I'm gonna say a couple. Team, we got this. Say we'll pull couple. through. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm not even started. We got. You know me. I'm not speechless at all. I'm always talking. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I'm shitting the brick at the moment. Personally. You know, you know as uh, as uh, I felt like something was touching me yeah. or overcoming me, my K2 was spiking straight to red, like it was going crazy in my hand. Yeah, the K2 has been acting up. And then I'm not saying that. Okay. Well, it seems most of the activity is happening out in the bedroom, so maybe we should start off in the bedroom. Without a doubt. Brenda? This is my first ever ghost hunt where I actually don't want to do this. Like, I'm not trying to be entertaining or anything. I actually don't want to do this. But I'm going to do it because we're here. I flew all the way to the UK for stuff like this, and I'm going to stick to it. We're gonna be strong. Okay, so the boys have placed some cat balls, one on the table, one on here. We're, yeah, cat balls are like, dude, they're gonna get so influenced so easily. The energy in here is strong. Brenda, we mean you absolutely no harm and we come here with the utmost of respect. We only wish to learn more about your story and anything you can tell us. We understand that you came to a horrible death and it is absolutely unfair and unjustified that they got away with it too. If you know this person in any way, shape, or form, can you use any device tonight to let us know who they are? Or if not, even just the blessing of communicating with you would, would be a privilege on our behalf. You guys want me to run a spirit box to start just to see? Or? Go for it. Brenda, if this is truly you, can you say your name for this? Brenda, are you here? I'm here to stay. That's technically an answer. Are you here? And it came out, I am here to stay. So it did directly answer. Really weird feeling. I know, I'm not liking it, dude. I'm it's telling you. It's overwhelming now. Yeah. Brenda, where are you right now in this room? Touch a cat ball. Oh shit, I'm so sorry guys. I have my fingers touched. Brenda, touch one of our cat balls. Brenda, can you say your name for us clearly with purpose? I don't know, that's not a messed up one. It's just a, it's just a uncold. I'm cold. I just said I'm cold again. Another one. Okay. Yeah. 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 Brenda, what can we do for you? What can we do for you?
I'm gonna be honest, all the AMF was happening in the bedroom. I think this would be better carried out in the bedroom first. I think we're, we're doing a, a good like build up here. You think so? Yeah. 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 Sure, I can feel it. Hey Brenda, if you're actually with us, can you shut that suitcase? Close it right now. Oh, cap ball. the cap ball's going off. Cap ball's going off. Okay. On its own, going off. Are you actually with us? She's here. Yeah, She's yeah. here. She's made herself known. Do you have energy to close that suitcase? If you do, please close it right now. Or at least touch the cap ball that's beside it. That cap ball hasn't gone off all night. Please, if you could let us know that you're here, just go over to the other cat ball and touch that, and then we, we can definitely know that you are here and can understand us. That's me. That's just me. We'll put yeah. Down. Was it you that kind of like hugged me or touched me? Just when I said that, I just felt like it was it was kind of like here again. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that same feeling. I'm just going to come back over here and like to the corner. Brenda, I know it may be hard to use what little energy you have to communicate, but if tonight's the night, and I know a lot of people have been trying to communicate with you recently, use all your force with us. Really, truly, and powerfully show us you are here, please. That's a weird one. It had gone off once. And... Yeah. That was it. There is music in the hallway. Or you need to step in front of that. If that music box goes out. Home. 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 Oh. What's wrong? Migraine. Oh. <sighs> Brenda, are you causing these fucking migraines? Ow. I'm telling you, Brenda likes smell. They're going away. They're oh, right. It's like ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, okay, right here, right here in the in the middle of my my what do they call it temple or whatever yeah. head. Brenda, can you make something move? Don't hurt me. The Alice Let's box. Try this. Let's do the Alice box. I love this. Is that going to give us actual voices? Yeah. Yeah, and it's going it, to it's quite accurate at times. This thing. Okay, there's a box on the table. You can basically talk into that and it will manipulate your voice and allow us to hear it properly so if you can give us a name please give us a name of the man who killed you if you can do that that'd be brilliant there's that smells behind us deliberate 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 he killed a deliberate could be deliberate killer deliberate yeah like killed a deliberate guys did you notice how just before that happened how quiet it was yeah yeah like, covered in goosebumps no road well. noises yeah there's broken windows in this house there's no road noises nothing nothing at all did he kill you deliberately soak soak, soak. she was dropped in the well so oh, she was soaked yeah. dropped in the well yeah. she was soaked yes. in the well what the hell guys i've got goosebumps Take. 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 Soak. Deliberate. It just sounds like they she took her life. It's like yeah. she's reliving. Taking her life. Her life was taken. He took everything from her. Brenda, close that door that's in front of me right now. You have power, clearly. You've been affecting me all night. Can you close that door? What do you have in your hand? I was going to say, have you ever seen this? Is that oh a death whistle? God. That's my death whistle. Holy crap. Bro, we should just go for it. Let me get a close one. Yeah, of course. Oh my god. So the death whistle in the screaming house might not be a bad not be a good idea, but it's also not a bad idea. This is the sole reason it's called the screaming house. Shit. Because this worked so well when I did this last time. I'm just gonna do one very loud one and then we'll just see where it takes from there. Right, okay. Brenda, I'm only doing this to awaken any energy that might be stored in the walls. I apologize. Oh, and if anyone's watching on anybody's channel and you hate the death whistle sound or you're afraid it will affect anything in your house, I cannot prove or disprove it will not affect something on your end of the screen. So now's your chance. Turn the volume down. Three, two, one. What? Minute. minute. You have one minute? Uh, you have three seconds. I'm sorry. <laughs> Holy shit.
There's an echo. That was insane. That was horrible. Don't do that again. Bye bye, Death Whistle. Sorry. Let's see what that machine has to say now. Oh, it's getting something. Little. Little. What the? I don't know. This one. Are you okay? Yeah, just some shot across my face. You can see that? No. Yeah, it looks like some. Yeah, yeah. Something. You both were pointing your cameras at me. It looked like some shot across my face. If I caught it on camera, I will make sure everyone. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a bug or what. Hey, Brenda, did you just shoot across Dan's face? Dude, it's such a tiny house, but it's so terrifying. Yeah. You know? Brenda? Are you there? Oh, we got something on that other device. Little than children is two words. She meant to say little children. Did you, did you want children? Instead. instead. Little, children little children instead. Instead of death. She wanted children instead of death. So, was this a parent's house or what? This was a parent's house. Why was she a law? I don't, I need to know more. Practice. What do you want us to practice? Practice. Okay. Well, that, that moth is like, come shit for Well, so, how? Why was she here on her own? Do we know that? It might have been after school for all I know, mate. C can you can you tell us why you were here alone? Was it school? Was it was he a family friend? Can you give us more of an indication? We need his name. If you can give us his name, we can help you out. We can bring justice. We can try it anyway. That played. I don't even know what that word means. What? Applet. 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 Applet Mandy. There's a name. Mandy. You know, if the killer was never caught, how do we know it was a boy? Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, exactly. Applet Mandy. Maybe the last name was Applet. Mandy. Mandy first Applet. Name? Applet. Let's, Dude, let's, we, I just asked for a name and it gave us a name instantly. Let's, let's Google Applet. What the hell? If it's a last name, we might have just got the name Mandy Applet. Thank you, Brenda. An apple is a program written by oh, it's a computer program. Thank you, Brenda. Whoa, what the hell, what the hell was that? I oh. have no idea. What the f was that? Did you step on the glass? That sounded no. like a glass. And it just says it just says abused. Abused. Something like hitting. Th no, it sounded like it actually was this. Like, yeah, I was leaning, something hit this. I was leaning forward. I was filming this. Did she just touch the glass? It sounded like glass. Is that it? No. No. It was more like blue. Blue abused. Blue, blue cup, blue cup over there. See, I was thinking blue. You when, the... you, when you get strangled, you turn blue, don't you? I don't know. Something happened over here, maybe. Blue cup. Could be blue cup. To be fair, it did kind of sound like a coin. Oh look, there's a coin on the ground. Would you say that's the noise you heard? Something like that. Or could have been that. Similar, very similar. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. The coin got pushed off the table. I think it got or pushed the, off the from the fireplace. A coin okay. actually got pushed off from the fireplace. Just the little signs that count. I don't know if an applet is a name, but it's a small computer program. A small computer. Yeah, program. the definition is a compute uh, a computing. An applet is a small application that performs one specific task that runs within a scope of dedicated widget engine. I don't know how Explain. <laughs> he's he's literally... Yeah, I have to explain it. Oh out. my god, that is crazy. I'm explaining what it is. Dude, yeah. that's proof that this thing is legit. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's why I bought one, man. 275 pounds and I had to have it one. So After the first it. try, I knew I needed this. Okay. I say we take things into the, the bedroom. Yeah. Right, you know, we've kind of warmed up to each other. Let's go to the bedroom, boys. Start. Okay, we're going to move things into the bedroom to see if I'm terrified walking in this way. So you notice how this door is just open now, right? Like the bedroom door. Wait, say again? The door. The, be the bedroom door is wide open now. 
Oh, that's you. That's you oh, setting that off. Oh, shit, I did not even see that there. You do make a great point, though. The, the door, door is perfectly open, yeah, perfectly and open. it's shut on you. Yep. I'll put that in the living room. Yeah, put that in the living room and, uh... That's a scary thing to hear. <laughs> so I haven't showed you guys this room yet. This is another bedroom. I don't know if it was another family member. Oh, look at this. I just found some, some letters here. Money, chemist shop, I believe. Little key over here. We're in the middle of nowhere, and I literally saw a man walking by the window. Diction. Diction? Is that what it said? Or is that your last name? Hey, I'm gonna stand on your bed. Diction. I'm standing on your bed, Brenda. Yo. There was a noise just out there just saying, but let's just keep it going, keep it going. Is it okay if I stand on your bed? Hey, that was weird. I think it's just the movement of the bed that's making me nauseous. George. George. George! Is that what it said? George? We got a George! We got George. his name! George. Oh my god! Is George the one who did this to you? Make a noise, a bang, tap on something. Repeat after me if that is correct. Is George the one who did this? That's like someone moving in the house. No, it sounds like someone dragging something. What the f In the house. Yeah. Residual energy. I heard like a heartbeat too for a split second in my ear. Could be the residual, residual energy being dragging the body out. <gasps> my music box! The music box is going shh, 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 shh. Something walked past it for a split second. Oh, something is in there. In the living room. And we heard something being dragged. Bro. Whose light is that? Oh. Whose light is that? Turn yours off. Oh, that's mine. Oh, thank God. I thought I was left the light in there. Okay. Uh, should we go in? Oven. Oven, okay. Should we go in here? It's so much cold out here, isn't it? Yeah. You can really feel the temperature change. Keep the light on the end. I don't know why. Something tripped that sound box because yeah. we all heard it. Let's stay in this half of the room so we don't trigger it ourselves. But it was a brief second. Okay, look. Something triggered it. Something triggered it. But for a brief second. Yeah, just whizzed right past it. This is real, guys. None of this is scripted. None of this is acted. This is 100% real. And, and and this is just mind-boggling. That's true. Can't fucking deny it. No. This is 100% happening. Set it back up. If, if we can just catch her movements, then we can know what room she's in each time. Listen, clearly every time somebody goes into her room, we start to get more paranormal activity. Flower. 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 Oh! No, 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 no. It's calibrating. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Now. If it Dude, that up. took forever to calibrate. And my EMF. Say, that took a long time. It yeah. Long and my time. EMF was going crazy when that was happening. Flower, guys. Oh! oh. Now that's no. not. Oh! oh my gosh. It's going off. She's in the hallway. Fuck. Do it again. Do it again, please. Oh! What the fuck? Bro, she is in there. She's in there. Oh my god. Brenda, thank you so much. Can you keep affecting that device? It lets us know you're here with us. Can you walk in front of it again, please? Hey, mate. Yeah, yeah, she's here. Thank you. Can you answer questions with this device, Brenda? That's a yes. Guys, guys, really? Really? No! It just said no. It said no! Oh my God. Your thing just said no, when this. Brenda, please, can you try? Could you set off the music box if you know who killed you? Wait. Liberty. 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 Well, she didn't get any justice. Well, was George the one that killed you? Hold on a minute. Something just moved. Yeah, I, don't know. I heard it. George, are you here? What the hell was that? What was that? Dude, there's noises happening. Just when I said, George, are you here? Brenda, 
Are you stuck here forever? Guys, there's literally an entity standing right in front of this in device. Just listen. Show. There's no one there. Show there's no one there yet. Yeah. You want to shine your light in there? <laughs> no one's there. No one's this there. is not set off by light or anything, by no. the way. This is this is ultrasonic. It has to be. Yeah. It's an ultrasonic detector. So lights that, can't do it. That Shadows means she's in the bedroom now. Yeah. Lights and shadows cannot set that off. God dang it. Brenda. Can, can, sorry. Can you show your? Can you show yourself? Can you actually appear for us? Labor. Labor. George the laborer killed her, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Uh, possibly. Did you just touch the door? No. It I... just it, it just bumped into me. Hold on. What do you mean? It's moving. I didn't do that. Literally, I was just sat there and the door hit me. Oh, oh, oh. Holiday. Holiday. The door's closing, guys. What it's slowly. Don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. I'm moving the brick to see how far it can actually go. Hey Brenda, close that door right now. Slam oh my god! Close it all the way. Now if you can close it again, now it stops. Or open it. Is it tough? What, what's making that? I don't know. Let, let's listen in guys. Let's listen in. Something's happening. Stay quiet. Brenda, close or open this door. Do it for me. You know that feeling when you think somebody's just gonna jump out at you? Dave. 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 It's just giving names now. George, Dave, the labor. Maybe it's more than one person that killed her. We yeah, we just think we don't know. It could be a group. Brenda, I know we're cornered in this room right now, and we will do our best not to scream, but if you can actually appear on camera right now, I've only ever seen a ghost with my own eyes once. If you could be the second I've ever seen it, the second spirit person I've ever seen in my life, it would be a, an honor for it to be you. Could you please show yourself to us now? I'll turn the light off even. Let's go lights off, please. Oh, well, I just saw an orb on the camera. Oh, you had the night vision. Yep. You had the night vision. Oh. Nice. Brenda. Did you have two people that murdered you? Was it two or one? This is abnormal, man. Well, I've never had this in combat. Voice. 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 Can we hear your voice? If we can't show yourself, can you let us hear you? Yeah. Yo, this is the craziest one I've ever been on. We should, we should do more in the bedroom though. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to the bedroom. She's in the bedroom using the other device and setting this up. So she's walking back and forth between the device and the other device. Yeah. There's literally nothing here to cause this device. Oh, no. Look at that. It's just going up. There's no dust particles. There's no bugs. All right, while the guys are grabbing the rest of their gear, I'm gonna go into this room. Hey, hey Brenda, I'm in your room. Where are you? Brenda. This is the worst investigation I've ever been on, not because it's going bad. Drug. <gasps> Guys, she just said she was drugged. What? She just said she was drugged. Yeah, turn this back on. I'm drinking. I got it. I got it. She said she was drugged. What was the exact thing that you have? Oh, drunk. Drunk. It said. It said drunk. Can you? Drunk. Maybe the guy that killed her was drunk. Maybe. Was your killer drunk, Brenda? Mile. Mile, mile. Like we're getting stuff, which we can't rule out that oh, it's just gibberish. 
Like it's happening for a reason. Lisa. Lisa. It's get, we're getting a little too many names, I think. Is Lisa someone that's related to you? Nerve. Mm. Nerve. Compare. Hi, Andrew. Yeah. You know what we should do? Oh. Take some night photos. The iPhones take amazing night photos in the dark. Wait a minute. Let's oh. go lights off. Wait a minute. I do have my... Um, Polaroid camera in the car. Yeah, okay. Let me let me try a couple with the iPhone. And then we can go to the, with the Polaroid. Jen. Right, I gotta go in the other room and get uh, Jen. Hi. Andrew. Hi. Jen. Who's Jen? I don't know how to say Jen. Yeah, it said they Jen. also said Lisa and also said Dave and George and Maybe she's just reminiscing like on her old friends or something. Yeah, I got sure. I, I got your Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of her bed in the dark. No flash. I'm gonna take six photos. And we're gonna see what happens and what we catch. That's one right there. Three seconds between each photo. You guys know I've gotten so many results doing this in the past. I can see a lot of shit on here with that. Do you see my light? No. Do you see lights yeah. coming from my phone? Yeah, lasers. Oh wow, that's that, that's like the SLS camera. Yeah, that's interesting. We get out the way so you can take photos. Oh. Right, turn this off now. I'm still taking a bunch of photos, Brenda. Appear on your bed right now. Okay, I've done like seven or eight and about to review them right oh, now, hopefully. So I just went past. What? What'd you see? I just saw an orb. Okay. I'm seeing quite a few. Do you guys so, want to see the photos that I just took? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's let's look at these together. I took about eight of them. It's one. Going backwards, by the way. Two. Okay, I thought I saw something up there. Two. Three. Four. This is when you came in with your light. No, oh, gotcha. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Right, before we go back in the, in the bedroom, yeah. Let's shoot off a, a Polaroid. In here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, see this? It's, doing, oh. it's going off. It's K going off. K2's going off in the sound box. K2's maxing out. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? K2's maxing out. That's going off. Is that light setting off? That's not the light. No, because no, it was off. No. See, it's not the I'm going to turn my light off for a sec. That is max. Completely max. What the hell? Brenda is making the K2 go off. Brenda, are you doing this? Yes. That was confirmation. Just yeah. show everyone there's nothing near it. Nothing near it. The whole house is just spiked with him. What the hell? Everyone step back. What that's the hell? fucking weird. Wait, let me let me check on my... Where's the light? And that's still going off, bro. You got that polar camera. I think it's time. Why isn't mine going off? That's a good question. Yeah, let's check mine as well. I haven't changed yeah. the battery in mine in a while. Maybe oh, that's why. That's hard. Oh, look at mine. Look at mine. Now you're just Oh! What the hell? Is what the hell? Okay, so it's clear the house is filled with EMF right now. They're, is, they're both going crazy. You believe this whispers, man. Bro, you gotta take a photo of the hallway. Get that Polaroid camera out and let's see. So. We just went back to the car to grab his Polaroid camera. He's only got two films. We're gonna take two shots and see what happens. If we get something, then we're gonna continue this investigation throughout the night even longer. If not, we're gonna call it a night. We've got... What's wrong? I thought I heard somebody walking or is that your machine? No. Okay, if we don't catch anything, we're gonna call it a night and you know what? We've got names. Right, the way we're gonna do it is it's primed and ready to go. Yeah. What we'll do is we'll try and Ask some questions and try and get that to go off. And the moment it goes off, I'll snap a picture. Perfect. Now it's time, bro. Now it's the. Do you want light or no light? Yeah, just like, let me get some light in your face. Yeah, he's gonna need light for a Polaroid okay. picture. All right, let me yeah. get. In front. You want to put the floodlight up there? Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, Dude, look at this EMF. Oh, yeah, it's free. Can you grab that light under the table? Yep. And it's dead, so you can set it up there. And we're gonna try and snap this. Dude. Photo as soon as that thing goes off. There's too much going on. Look, this is. Oh, I know. Is this? Yeah. Right, uh, Brenda, or if anyone else is here, I have a Polaroid camera here. All you need to do, set this off, and I know when to take a picture. As soon as this goes off, I will snap off a picture. So if you can, please just come and step in front of here, show yourself on the camera. Um, you know, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna really please us. Truly is. And then we'll leave you alone. Yeah, if you want yeah. to be left alone, we'll, we'll just leave you alone, I promise you. Or do you not want to be left alone? 
She doesn't, she doesn't want to be left alone. Why'd you get scared like that? Because it scared me. Just call, call him off guard. Oh shit. Because, she an because it answered, she doesn't want to be left alone. Okay. But bro, you, you snapped it right in the perfect time. Yeah, I did. How no, long does that take? 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Let's do another no. one as soon as another noise. Yeah, try, one, try one more. Just set that one down for Okay, a thank you so much, whoever that was. If that was you, Brent. I wasn't ready. It's okay, it's okay. If you, I can take another one for you. Um, we can stay a bit longer if you want. If you want to stay a bit longer, just let us know by setting that off and I can take another picture. It would mean a lot. If you can, just, just step forward a little bit closer. Brenda, is it that you actually want us to leave? Light up if you want us. Oh, good one. She wants us to go. We good got one. it. We got it backwards. Good one. We got it. Okay. Good one. Oh. That was tense. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. though. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I might have a couple more left in this, I don't know. Okay. There might be one, there might be none. I say if you do have, try to do some in the bedroom. Let's go to the bedroom. Yeah, okay. let's do it. We're gonna leave those and let them develop, and if something appears, then oh my god. Right. I don't have a light, so someone's gonna have to guide me into the bedroom. Okay, here, let me go ahead. Uh, yeah, go or you can go. go ahead. Alright, Brenda, come back into your room. It's going off. No, it's calibrating. I thought it was already calibrating. But no, we didn't turn it's it off. Did you? Yeah, I turned it off because I pointed it in a different direction, so you gotta recalibrate it. So turn it off back okay. on, it's calibrated, if it goes off again, or someone there. Well, if you're taking a picture of it, we got to it. Just to show you guys that when things are not right, like we're calibrating something, we're actually telling you. So we're debunking the things that are not real. Yeah, because we need to make sure you guys know when, when things are calibrating something else. Because I, I want to I wanna kind of eliminate any kind of possible contamination, and if it's real, you know. Exactly. Um, what we'll do, I'm going to try a different thing, hopefully I've got another film in this, but more, they seem to be quite triggered by you. So what I'm thinking, Mo, bed, if you can even just stand by the door, hold your hand out, and we'll try and get Brenda to stand next to you and hold your hand, and we'll get a picture, because if we can get a picture of some, some, something stood next to you, or even orbs next to your hand. Okay, I'll do it, bro, that's brilliant. I'll do it. I'm going to have my camera over here. Yeah, you Alright, what do you want me to do? Okay, Brenda. If you can come and stand next to our friend Mo, we're going to take a picture. If you can stand next to him or even hold his hand, and I promise you we will leave if you want us to. Right, we, we, we will not waste any more of your time. So... Oh! What? There's a guy outside the window. Oh my god. What? Oh, f***ing no, yeah. Wait. He's just walked up the road. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. I thought I thought it was a ghost. It was a person that just walked by the house. Why the hell is somebody walking by the house? I don't know, but we are maybe getting pretty sus now with all the lights. Let's get this Polaroid and probably yeah, get down here. Right. We can even check. <sighs> we can check the photos and call. I thought it was a freaking ghost. It's okay. Right, okay, Brenda or anyone else, any of the spirits uh, who may dwell on this property, now is your chance to show yourselves. If you can stand next to Mo while take this photo, it'd be brilliant. Are you ready? One. Do you guys think maybe we should let them? We'll get our shape go because it is getting a bit sus. We can check them in the car. Yeah, yeah see I see we get out of here. Um, there was somebody right outside the window looking at us, so they might yeah. call the cops on us or not because we're not supposed to be here. Let's go and we'll check out these. Oh. That was the last one. Okay, last one. Pair we'll check out the posters in the car later on. Let's go. Yeah. Let's, let's I was just take. I was gonna see if I could take another one, like spontaneously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so in case we caught something. But absolutely. Last one. We have three. We are quickly getting the hell out of here. We've seen a guy walking around the window outside. We don't know. Hey, maybe it's the killer. For all we know, yeah? Maybe he keeps coming back. Oh, he's the last one out. I hate being the last one out, but you know what? We gotta do what we gotta do. Are you boys ready to look at the Polaroids? I'm ready. Yeah? I'm gonna put them in the boot so we can kind of like look at them all together. For the record, we're still right outside the house. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're, we're still right outside. Okay, so you have them ready. Oh, okay. Yep, they are, they are ready. In order of them being taken. Do we see anything? Nothing out of the ordinary. No, there's a weird anomaly there. Oh yeah. That's not, it's not on that one, but it's on that one. You see? This little thing here. Yeah, that anomaly there. But this one is clear. 
does. It's, it's right beside you on the bed. Oh, there is something there. Oh, you caught an orb. Right there. It was manifesting. Right there. Oh, if only we'd had another fill in the morning. I know. Film. Oh, my God. It's right there. There's an orb right beside me on the bed. I'm not going to lie, Mo. That should be your new Instagram profile. <laughs> <laughs> it looks proper sick, actually. Yeah, that is pretty cool, but that's creepy, dude. So you caught a weird anomaly there and a weird anomaly right at the bottom of that one. Right there. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's very odd. Great captures. Interesting, but expected to be honest. Yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. To be honest, yeah. I expected that. I don't think I'd ever come back here. I would never come back here ever again. Honestly. This is my third time, sadly. I hope honestly. you guys enjoyed this adventure. These boys did a great job today. It was an awesome, awesome paranormal investigation. I wish I had these guys with me in Canada all the time. <laughs> one day. One, one day. day. One day. We'll, we'll, we'll just, we're going to be doing more collabs in the future. Obviously, we've oh, still got more videos to film this week as well. Oh, yeah. Big shout out to Dan. Big shout out to Andrew. Their links are going to be down below. Go check them out. And come subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. If you're just watching without an account, subscribe right now. Get yourself that UK merch. You guys can find it in my links down below. This was a crazy investigation. I will never forget it. I love you guys. Live a little. The case of Brenda Evans may never be solved by the law, but after conducting our investigations and using our paranormal tech, we have established a name that goes by George. And if this paranormal gear is accurate and true, we believe George could be the person that may have strangled Brenda. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and merch links down below. Do you want more videos like this? If so, make sure to go to my merch store, mosarji.shop. Get yourself some merch, help support this channel. Every video gets demonetized and the only way to support this channel is to get yourself merch. I would really appreciate it. I have different varieties of stuff on the website. You can check it out right here. The links are all gonna be down below. Thank you, my friends. And now let's get back into this video. What's up guys, I'm Mosarji. Welcome back to another late night paranormal investigation. We are in the United Kingdom with my friend Dan from Exploring with Fighters. Big shout out to him he's been taking us all over the UK poor guy's been driving non-stop he won't let us drive but it's okay you know what we're gonna give him a big shout out a really big shout out guys please go subscribe to him if you haven't subscribed to him and go subscribe to Aldo today we are actually gonna be going to a really haunted house called the three sisters house the house of the three sisters the house of the three sisters can you tell us a little about this house so this is very local to me um, notorious hotspot for paranormal Three sisters once lived here, one uh, went slightly delusional, killed the other two in the middle of the night. That was apparently in the 1960s to 70s um, and they've never been able to rest and there's now two poltergeists inside the house. And there's not much information of how these sisters actually died. <gasps> so we're going to go inside and investigate and try to put some puzzles together. See how if we can kind of walk in their footsteps, see if we can communicate to, with anything paranormal and see if there's anything actually inside this house. Apparently it's super scary. I've never seen what it looks like, but you guys know we don't let you down. We give you the best of the best. And because of that, I want you guys to smash the like button, comment something positive down below and get yourself the new UK merch or the 4th of July merch for all you Americans. Um, the links are gonna be down below. I love you guys. Let's get on with this adventure. So before we get inside of this house, we literally just realized that there is a light on inside. No one is supposed to be in there. There is literally nobody supposed to be in here. It's an abandoned house, long abandoned. We don't know what happened to the one sister that killed the two sisters. Three sisters used to live in this house. One decided to snap one day back in the 60s, I think, and murdered the other two sisters. Now, I don't have any more information about this. All I know is that there could be like a poltergeist in this house that's causing this. We wanted to go inside, but we're kind of scared right now because we did see a light right inside upstairs and it's still on right now. I'm going to show it to you. Look, you can kind of see. Yeah, there it is. You can kind of see a light. Someone's in there. Dude, I'm thinking the sister came back. Yeah, the sister that killed the other two because nobody knows what happened to her. What if she came back and is living here now? I know you guys can't see too much right now, but we're thinking... Someone's doing a ritual inside this house. Like actually, like there could be like it looks like there's candles lit inside the, the window up there. So we're kinda sketched out to go inside right now. Um it's a terrifying place. Like I said, this place is mega haunted. And the fact that like three girls were in this house, one snapped and started killing the other two when they were young, it scares me. Dude, what if there's someone dangerous in there? We should announce ourselves when we go in there. You think like, it's a good idea? hey, we're here. I reckon we just we go in. Yeah, let's just stealth. 
All right. Well, if there is anyone there and they're hostile, blind them with a flashlight. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah, guys, we're trying to get into this place. It's mega haunted, but I think there's somebody in there. I've been wanting to come here for a while. <laughs> and I'm sh my pants right now because we don't know what's waiting for us in there. I don't know. It doesn't look like there's lights on the side, but from the front, you can clearly see a light. I'm knocking on the window right now to see if anybody's in there. The light's off? Yeah, the light's off. Guys, let me show you. There's no light. Oh, what the hell is that? A dead bird? What? Or no, that's, that's, that's part of a the house or something. Yeah, those are... I don't know what they are. Oh, it's like angel wings. Bro, that's like a costume. That's from a little kid. Bro, this might be like something to do with the ritual. Like someone is probably wearing the wings. Part of the ritual. Yo, this is freaking scary. And why am I always first? Well, everything's left inside. All right, I'm gonna check every corner before I go in. Yo, look at this door, it's so creepy. <laughs> I've never been to a house where I've been so scared to go in. Bro, because why are the lights on? And I'm off. Right? Dude, if we go in there and there's no lights in there, oh my God, look at the hands, the handprints on the walls. Look right there. Oh my god, yeah, I see that. What the hell? That's freaking terrifying. What the hell is really in there? Yeah, I just I just heard a footstep above me. Really? I don't know if it was me, but it sounded like it came from the yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe it was me? Yeah, it's probably just this. Hello? Oh, there's the handprints. Huh? Is that window open? No. Yo, that, that inside is terrifying. I thought it sounds like I've, I've, I've never seen a house like this. This f***ing terrifying. So we should just all go in. The yeah. strongest three, right? Instead yeah. of just me going in by myself. Alright, so this is the kitchen. I saw I, I thought I heard a, like a footstep. What? It says help me, I'm upstairs. Oh great. Help me, I'm upstairs. God dang it. Yo, that's where the light was. Yeah, I know. Yo, that when I just looked inside, that light wasn't that door, guys, I'm shaking. That door wasn't open. It's open now. That front door, when I first looked in here, that wasn't open. Bro. Now it's open. Hello? Anyone here? We saw someone turning on a light. We're just here to investigate. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna go left, you guys go right. Yeah. Holy shit. Hello? We saw a light here. Yo, this reminds me of Tom's haunted house. Dude, this is terrifying. Oh, look what is that? Says six six six. Yeah. Bro, this is a virtual house, one hundred percent. It feels like the house is rumbling. So we, like, we all agree we saw lights upstairs, right? Yeah, boys. What you we all agree we saw lights upstairs. Bro, yeah. hundred percent. I caught it on camera. Even our audience will comment down below. Guys, you saw a light upstairs, right? Oh. Like one hundred percent. Oh, yo, look, they've done rituals on every doorway. Look at that, another 666. You trip those, it's like walking into a portal. Bro, I'm telling you, we probably walked in on our live ritual and ran away. Ran away where? We didn't see anybody run out. Maybe they opened the door and ran outside. No. Hello? We mean you no harm. Oh, we got blood. Oh my god. We got blood all over the walls here. No, are you serious? No, boy. This is real blood. What the flip is going on here? Yo, we got blood everywhere. Dried up blood. Really? Yeah, look at this. Yo, 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 yo. 
Kill that door, just open by itself. Where's Dan? Dan, are you okay? I'm still here. You're still in there? Yo, Dan, have you that door just opened by itself? Yeah. You saw it open? When was the last time you were here? Two years ago. And did you see the blood in this room? Where? Where is the blood? I don't see it. Oh! Yeah. What the hell? There's blood everywhere, all, this, all over this door. What the? Oh, this is the ritual house. We got Yo, my... yo, yo! Huh? Mom! What? There's blood in the fridge! Oh my god, you're right. It that's smells, what, you smell that? Yeah, that's old. I was wondering what that smell was. I yeah, thought I was gonna find like a raccoon or something. Somebody probably put a body in yeah, here. That's old dry blood, dude. Oh my god, guys, look at this. This is legit dry blood. Yo, it's all over the door. Yeah, it's all over the door. Oh my god. On the opposite side. Yo, something is here, man. What the Is there more, sorry. Is there more blood on this door? Yeah, look, look. All over. Holy crap, guys. I can't believe this. Jesus Christ. Okay, we need to keep investigating. What's inside here? Um, washing machines. Oh. You want to do your laundry? No, no, there's a door here. Did you open this door? That goes outside. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's keep going. What a terrifying freaking place. I don't know why, this place just scares me, guys. There's something about this that just scares me. You need to figure out where that light's coming from. Huh? You need to figure out where that light's coming from. It's upstairs, but I want to, I want to at least film this. As we get upstairs, in case we have to run out, at least we'll have something in Zalcos. Yeah, ghosts. Ghosts. Hello, we're coming up, we mean you no harm. Is your friend up there? I swear, on my kids' lives. I have a feeling he's up there. No, I swear on my kids' lives. Okay, you sure? I swear on my kids' lives. Okay. Because I don't have to punch someone. <laughs> huh. I swear on my kids' lives. No one is here that I know of. Okay. Yeah. Swing so, it. So you swing away. Yeah? Yeah, if I see someone, I'm going to swing yeah. at them. If they're, if they're going to be hostile. Yeah. Hello? Guys, this is the weirdest freaking house. This is definitely haunted. <laughs> like 100%, this is haunted. Yeah. Like you can't get more haunted than this. Well, it's notoriously haunted. Torch? It's notori notoriously haunted. Yes. Yeah. I mean, first of all, we got 666 on every wall. Every wall has 666. Every room just spells paranormal to me. It's giving you the chills, man. A little girl became possessed and killed her two sisters. She was a little girl. What? Oh, no, she was, uh, she, I think she was like 20 years old. Oh, she was 20. Yeah, okay, I mean 20 is so little. Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, some, some, some girls are little, yeah. So are we, like, here to have, a, like, a campfire, or are we going to go and find out what that light was? Okay, I guess, basically, right now, we're all kind of just procrastinating, kind of afraid of going upstairs. Because we saw a light. There's no one in here. It's driving me insane. Well, no one in here so far. There might be someone upstairs. Or something. This house is still in pretty good condition. Yeah. Like, for an abandoned house. Yeah. Okay, well, should we go through? Uh, you lead the way. Okay, but you guys are going to follow me right You now. can follow him too. I'm waiting down here. No, come on, people. There's some blood in this house. This I know. Like, I'm scared. This is like one of the most haunted houses I've ever seen. I've never, like, I don't remember. Alright, we'll all go together. We'll all go together. Let's okay, go. do you remember the last time you went somewhere and there was literally blood on yeah. the walls? Yeah. I don't remember the last time I went to a place. Um, Tom's house. Yeah, that I don't was know. so there, long ago. There's a lot. Yeah. Yo, guys, I have bad news. What? And good news. Good news or bad news? There's no light? There's no light. How? We got it on camera. There's literally no light at all. Hello? Is anyone here? Does that Loki want to show you what we look like right now? <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's just go, let's just go. I've never been more afraid to do something like ever. I'm not afraid of anybody. Oh shit. My phone's got stuck in the door. Hello? Okay, so which window was it from? I think it's directly in front of you. Right there? Yeah. Oh my god. Careful, Dan. Hello. Oh, my legs are shaking. Guys, please don't try this with yourself. We should split up. Okay, this is just a bedroom. Okay. Do you know the concept of split splitting up? <laughs> we, should, we should split up.
There is definitely something sinister in here, 100%. Hello? 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 Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the f? You at the door! That dude just slammed behind me. Shit. I watched it happen. Something's moving over here. I just saw a shadow. I, it was probably mine. I scared myself with my own shadow. Okay. There's a really big attic place. Bless you. Bless you. Okay. Yo, it feels really warm in here. Why is this door closed? It's a little hard to explain right now because I'm actually being scared. Wait a second. So a bunch of paranormal stuff already happened. Oh, the windows are boarded shut. How do we see lights? Yo, that's so true. Every window is boarded shut and we oh, saw lights. How did Impossible to see a light. It's literally impossible. Every window is legitimately boarded shut. This makes no sense. Okay, no. Yeah, let's see if I flip this. No, nothing happens. Dude. How is every window like? How do we see a light if every window is boarded shut? You know what I mean? Huh? Is this one? There's, look, that window's boarded shut. That window's boarded shut. That one's boarded shut. That one by the fireplace is boarded shut. I don't know if you come here, you can just about see the moon through there, but but it was a lot bigger of a gap. Yeah, it was a huge gap. No way in hell. What? Yo, yo. What? Yo, why is that moving? What? 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 Right there, right there. <gasps> yo, yo, yo. Shh, shh, shh. If a noise comes, nobody say yo or nothing. Just be, listen. Second, it's really more. Remember I said last time I heard a girl? Yeah, that would sound like a girl. Wait, 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 guys, that thing is moving. Shh. There's something in here. Should we try to talk to it? Well, we haven't, ex we haven't seen every room yet. Something's moving, something's walking, guys. I swear to God, something's walking on the boards there. We mean no harm? Hey, let's turn off our lights. Uh, what? Because who? if there's something else here, they're not going to be in the, in the dark, right? Like right. if someone's here, so we might have a light too. Let's turn off for a second. What if it's a ghost? I mean, then we're f but let's just a brief second. Okay, fine. Like 20 seconds. Do you want to hold my hand? Huh? Shh. What's that? There's something in here. Bro, I heard footsteps, man. Okay, so far these two rooms are clear. No one in here? Dude, this was the room where we were seeing the light from, by the way. Oh, that's the front that was the front? That's, no, that's the side of the house. It's so boarded up. Are you sure? From, yeah. That's the front. This window here. It doesn't even make sense. I don't get it. I'm so confused. Go straight down the stairs. Yeah. From doors there. There's no, there's no way it was a reflection of light from. Over here. Let's go in. Oh my God, this is a mess. Oh, look at these arches. Ancient house. Yo, there's a, there's a star thing on the floor here. What the hell? I'm kind of worried there might be somebody in the attic. Oh, oh my god. 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 Oh, oh my god. No, no, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh my god. What the? I, oh my god. What the? Yo, holy yeah. shit. If there's anything in there, open that door back up. Bro, that door was moving by itself yeah. while you were standing here. Yeah, I know. And Dan was all over there. I know. Make it open again. Make it close again. Whatever's in there, close that door one more time. Oh! <gasps> oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! What the f What the actual f Bro, there's someone behind there. You think so? Yeah, okay. Sorry. I'm not cutting camera. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I swear to God, I'm keeping going. Is there anything there? Nothing. Nothing and nobody. Just a bathtub. And look, guys, I wanna show you something just because I know someone's gonna comment. It's just the weight of the door moving by itself. Look, guys, the door naturally is not moving. Yeah, naturally it's not. Here, look, I'm gonna open I'm gonna open it up more. Watch this. Naturally, it's not no, moving. No, it's literally not moving. Yeah. Let's ask it. Let's ask it to open it. 
I mean, it's probably not going to do it again. Can, can you close this door back up? Close the door. Dude, it's not going to do it again. Damn, where are you? Have you had something like this happen in here? Huh? Someone downstairs. Someone downstairs? Yeah, they had someone down downstairs. You heard something? Yo, like, like legit, legit? Yeah, legit. And seeing someone's downstairs running around. Okay. Did we check all these rooms? Not that it matters, there's someone downstairs. Hello? Yeah. There's a freaking attic. I know. Did you guys notice? I know I did, but there's someone downstairs right now, guy. Focus on one thing at a time. <laughs> hey, who's down there? <gasps> oh, that's it's a oh, little, it's little. The bug, it's the bug. But you heard somebody running. Yeah, someone ran. Someone ran. It sounded like they ran from the back of the house to the front door. Wait, is there a basement? Not that I know of, no. You might, there might be. No, not that I know of. Okay, so there is an attic. But there's no basement? So, do we know where these girls died in here? Oh god, that attic is terrifying. There's like a secret door, a secret room. I kind of want to get up there. Have you ever been up there? No. I, you saw that door closing, right? Yeah, I saw twice. It. I saw it. That's crazy. I can't believe it happened twice. Okay, so who's downstairs then? What's in this room? Did we check? Wait, sorry. Did we check this room? Guys, come smell this right now. It smells like someone was just in here. Yeah. You know? This is the room that said there was smoke, kind of weird. But, it, but it smells like somebody was just in here. Oh, look, we got, a, we got a satanic pentagram on the wall here too, by the fireplace. Where? Right here. Oh my God. This is where I've had a lot of activity. So maybe this was where she was landed. Maybe it's one of the bedrooms. I got an EMF meter, let me see. You got an EMF meter? Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, spirits of this house. Did you guys just hear that? Oh. Spirits of this house, are you here? Make my K2 meter go off. <gasps> that was your. Oh! Right here on the wall? I'm gonna turn off my light. Alright. You should we should all sit in the dark. Like try to talk to the spirits. Hey spirits of this house. Touch that cat ball if you're here. Are you with us? Is anyone there? Okay, let's ask specific questions. Did you kill your sisters? Was that you lighting up the room earlier? What does it say on the floor here? Red. Somebody ripped off this like wallpaper for a reason. Yeah, this is murder. Murder? Yeah, red room. Red room, yeah, murder. Oh, red room. Red room. Murder. I think that's from a movie. Red room. Or a game. I don't remember. I'm kind of interested to go downstairs and see if there's a basement. Okay. Like, I feel like we kind of like went through the basement, that downstairs quickly. Yeah, well, we were scared to be honest. We all saw the lights outside. We all saw everything happening. That's 
still doesn't make sense. How are there no lights on here? But you said you heard someone running, right? Yeah. yeah, and I smelt someone. And this door wasn't open. Might not have been. Let's let's look and see if there's a basement. Oh yeah, that's that's the door that opened by itself earlier. Oh, it's just a crawl space. Yeah. Surprise! There's no basement. Do they not build basements in this country? Not always, no. No, not always. No. We've checked every inch of this house. Yeah, I think so. I think there's a secret area that we haven't checked. I really want to communicate with these kids on the spirit box, possibly. All right, well, I'm kind of like more relaxed now that um, there's nobody here, but look at behind you. It says help on the wall, 666. Every door, doorway says 666. Like these are all like kind of portals, you know? Oh. Hey, little girls. Did you die in here? I want to communicate with the little girls that died in here. You want to show yourself on camera? You want to say something to my... What are you guys doing? What is that? Huh. You want to show yourself on my audio device? Like say something maybe? Are there any little kids here? Leave. Who's here with us? Get out, get out dead. Are there three girls here? There's the two girls here. I really want to get to know, I really want to get to know who these girls are and what their names were. Come here. Come here. Yo, ask it if it was the person running downstairs. Why don't you ask it? I'm kind of scared. Okay. Was it you running downstairs? No. Who was running downstairs? We heard something. It's going to happen? What's going to happen? Are you guys okay? Everybody okay? What the hell just happened? Guys, something in here just flipped over. Yo, that literally happened right after is that it, thing it's going to happen. It's going to happen. She said it's going to happen. Bro. Is that what you meant by it's going to happen? Dude, we should have found it upstairs as well, but not under the floor. Oh, oh, what the What the Sorry. Yo, my bad. I just grabbed you. I know. I, I, that hurt. Sorry, man. I'm, I'm sorry. This one. Yo, yeah. Where are you down there? What's going on? I think the spirit box is making the spirit box crazy here. Okay, we need to get the money. Guys, we just got some of the crazy. <laughs> We're not safe in here. There's something violent in here, bro. Bro, the that happened right after you said, after it said, something's gonna happen. And then the, this is the sisters, the, the poltergeist. Okay, guys, here's what I wanna do. What? You guys stay down here and explore. I'm gonna run upstairs and explore by myself. Okay. 
All right. And see if we can capture something. It's better to have one camera down here and one camera upstairs. Okay, me and Dan are gonna keep an eye down here. Okay, I'll go upstairs. Uh, I don't just want to leave. Like this is crazy. We're catching all this on camera. I don't want to leave. Do you guys see what happened with that door by, back there? Bro, what's crazy is it all happened at the same time. So I honestly don't really remember what happened. Like it all happened really yeah. quickly. Yeah. So that door got ripped off the hinges, as as you can see. Yeah. And then that door got slammed shut. How how hard is it to open and close that door? Yeah. Oh, this is a big door. That, that's a big door and it's like stuck on stuff. That's heavy. What the hell? All right, um, you guys have fun. I'm gonna go upstairs. The only thing that's worrying me in this place is the attic. Oh, because we haven't checked it. Yeah, should we actually go to the attic now? Yeah, there's somebody up there. There's somebody up there. I, I can see them through the hole. Are you serious? Yes. There's somebody up in the attic. Hey, come on down. Do you, is any of your friends here, Dan? No. Seriously? I swear to you. No one's Bro, with us? Bro, I promise you, I swear my kids' lives. There's somebody in the attic. Yo, I thought I saw something in the attic earlier. Is anyone up there? Who's up there? I can see brick walls. Just come down, the, the prank is over. No. Uh -huh, very funny. I don't think this is a prank, dude. I think there's actually somebody here. Like somebody with us. Someone living there? Possibly someone living here. I literally said I'm gonna come up here by myself, but I'm too scared now. Homelessness is at an all-time high. Not in this area, though. I don't know. I, uh, I'm not from here. This is the UK, after all. When I was down there, where, where, the, where's the other opening to the attic? I saw someone. Or there's something. an opening here, and then there's an actual attic door up here. An actual attic. When you were standing there, I thought I saw something, but I wasn't sure, so I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to like. You know, I thought my, maybe my mind was going to me, but now that you're saying you saw something upstairs, like maybe mm -hmm. I did see something. Dan, are you scared to come up here? Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you. All right, spirits, we're going to leave you alone, I guess. We'll see you guys later. Everything about this house reminds me of Tom's house. Just the way it's built. Not the arches, maybe, but just the oldness, the way it looks, all the wood panels. If you guys don't remember who Tom is, dig deep into my channel and you'll see who it is. Oh my god, that's the biggest spider I've seen in my life. Whole Did you guys notice all these spiders up here, by the way? No. Nope. There's like giant spiders everywhere. Really? I just noticed that all over the doors, the walls. Look, 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 look. Oh. Do you guys have poisonous spiders here? Because that, that looks poisonous as hell. That looks huge. Oh my god. Yo, that's a massive What the? Check this out, you guys. I found some magazines here from 1988. Wow, that's a year after I was born. Whoa, check this out. We were so scared all day that we never noticed that there's a massive safe over here. Whoa, this thing is big. Oh shit, there's a safe. Yeah, it's really big. Okay. Wow. This thing is so heavy. We were so scared we never noticed it before. Really? Yeah, I turn it on, it just suddenly shuts off. Okay, there we go. Wow, that's weird. We're not getting any more paranormal activity. It's been a while. We're trying to read the safe. There's a, there's a name on the safe. And that might be the girl's name. Like right here. If you look right here, there's a name that we're trying to read. But I can't exactly read it. It's like weird text. Let me know in the comments below. Maker Bolton. W. H. Hannesworth. W. H. Hannesworth. Maker Bolton. Yeah. Look at this, a satanic symbol right on the bolt. On all the bolts. Look, really? one here. Oh, what the hell? What the hell, I just turned off again. We've got a satanic symbol right here on this bolt, and one here on this bolt, and another one on this bolt. They all have like like uh, pentagrams on them. Yo, that, that is weird. That's strange. Why? I don't know, I've never seen that before. No, the camera is turning off. Dude, that's paranormal. Bro, this is like the seventh time. I, I understand, but that's paranormal. Your battery's fine. Your battery's like You guys new. can hear it, right? Yeah, I can hear it going off and on. I thought you'd just been turning it off and on, but... No, I'm trying to film. I'm scared to look that way. What the fuck, man? How much of battery life do you have? I still have like 60% left. Look, let me show you. Yeah, I'll turn it off and on, so I'll show you. It's 56%. 56% battery life. Oh, yep. turning off. That's paranormal, dude. That's what happens. They start to drain cameras and things up for you. Bro, maybe it's because we caught evidence. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised if it like destroys your, your, your format.
Yeah, like if my video goes corrupted. Let's hope. Let's hope it. We caught something on our camera. Well, I mean, catching a door slamming like that wasn't enough. Yeah. It probably wants to erase our data. I think if we stay here long enough, we're gonna get some more activity on camera. Is anyone here trying to ruin my camera? Oh. Whoa! What is that? What just happened? It's like something knocked this out of my f***ing hand. Yo, I think I caught that on camera. Did you? I think so. Like literally, it looks like something knocked it out of my hand. I thought you got punched. No, no, no. It looked like you got punched. It's kind of confused because Dan's over here. Notice how we're getting a lot of stuff happening in this area here. I really wonder how this one girl killed her sisters. I kind of wonder, but also don't want to know. Dan, what do you think? Do you have any information on that? I don't. No? No clue. It must be related to the safe. You know what? Um, back in the day, like the easiest way for like a sibling to kill another sibling would be like drowning in a bathtub. I was about to say the same thing. Drowning in a bathtub. There was a bathtub somewhere. Where did we see That's that? the room where we had the door closed. Oh my oh. God. Oh, well, we got to go. That's where that door was closing. Yo, that's so true. Actually? Yeah. Dude, we, we actually just put together like a puzzle. And you know what? Downstairs, before you go in, it says, come find me. Oh my God, look what's in the bathtub. What the it's, hell it's like clothes that are burnt, almost like ritualistic. You know, there actually is a ritual called the bath, the, the bath. I think it's called the bath ritual actually. But it's like something's burnt cold in here. Meaning, somebody lit a fire in here. Attacked by those giant spiders, which I totally forgot about, by the way. What the f? You okay? What happened? Someone just came down the stairs. What? Someone just came rolling down the stairs. Bro, I'm still, I'm still here, right? The Make camera died again. Is Bro, camera just died again. Yo, my camera keeps dying. Make sure you're recording because I'm stood here, right? Making sure no one's gonna sneak up on us, right? So it just came rolling down the stairs. And right as you said that, something turned off my camera. Something rolled down the stairs. What the f is that? Not me. I'm still filming Yo, you. Yo, something just touched me. Really? Is there a spider? Hole in this area? Right there. Something just touched there's my no head. There's nothing on you, dude. I'm literally filming you. I'm still recording you. Is your camera still dead? No, it's on right now. Something literally just hit my head. Are you sure there's no spider in my hair? No. I can, I can see from here, dude. There's nothing on you. What the hell was that, man? What did it feel like? Bro, it literally felt like something like hit my head or like jumped on my head. Like I thought it was a spider that just jumped on my head. No, that could be something paranormal. So, yo, why are you trying to turn my camera off? We'll turn off Moose camera. Like seriously, what the hell? Why me? By the way, like Spirit, if you're here, I'm kind of like new to this whole haunted exploration thing. It was all Mo's idea, so go. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Listen, I've had enough happen today. We had a freaking door fall. Guys, I'm like throwing Mo under the bus here to the do Spirit. Want, do you guys want to just get the hell out of here? Because I'm, yeah, I'm man, really man, like, bro, I am feeling what time sick. is it? What time is it right now? Half 12. Huh? Half 12. Half 12? It's past midnight. Past midnight? 12.34. Yeah, I think that's enough. Like, honestly, I can't, like, we've had a lot happen already. Yeah, no, I agree. And my camera keeps turning off. Like, this is going to be really annoying to edit. Cause, and I think half my footage has been cut out. You know, you know the final and ultimate test of this house is, right? What? We're going to go outside, back to where we originally started, oh and see God. if there are any oh, lights. Yeah, the there. lights, yeah, yeah. Oh. Because we're leaving now. There's no, we justified that there's no one in here. No light can get in or out. Let's go see. You know, I almost forgot that we were scared standing outside like dorks. And because of the light. I totally forgot about the light. Yeah, let's go Let's go outside and see if we can see light through the window. For the record guys, there is a full moon in the sky. Look at that. You can see it clear as day. That is a full moon. And... I was going to say, because of the full moon, paranormal activity is normally completely amplified. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So you don't see any lights right now, right? Bro, if we... <gasps> Something just... Okay, okay. Vine, vine, vine. Just a vine, just a vine. See, that's the window. That's the window where we saw the light, right? So we've just realized that the lights are now off, which is really strange. Like we came in here and there were lights on, but like we just, like the windows are boarded shut, dude. It's impossible for there to be lights in there or for us to see them if there were. So I don't know what's going on with this house. This is probably one of the most interesting houses I've ever been to. So I just, I just took a bunch of night photos of this, this uh, house. It looks like daytime. It, this is actually literally right now still. Okay, so slide here, bottom right corner, nothing. 
Nothing? Look at that now. Look at that. Hold on, let me zoom in. What is this? White thing. This shadow figure, white thing. Where? This thing here. That's not in any of the other pictures. Look where my thumb is. You see that white thing? Oh, okay, okay. I see that. I see that. Yeah. Okay. This is not in any of the other What's pictures. What's the other photo? Look, not there. Oh, what the? Not there. Not there. Yo, that is weird. Not there. It literally appeared in that last photo, guys. There's too many unexplainable things here. That's that's a ghost, guys. That's a ghost. I caught a ghost. That's literally a ghost. Like no bullshit. Holy crap. As I was out for a jog earlier in the morning, I noticed cops and security arriving to the bridge in a panic. It's got like silver bars on it, that's no entry allowed because there was uh, apparently over 100 bodies found. This is probably the scariest place I've ever been to by myself. Did I just freaking hear a ghost in there? Because I'm pretty sure I did. So I am now about to walk onto the haunted Clifton Bridge. I recently heard that the haunted Clifton Suspension Bridge is the most haunted bridge in the United Kingdom. So I decided to jump on a plane and go and investigate. Between 1974 and 1993, 92 men and 34 women fell from the bridge, all suspected suicides. For reasons unknown, the suspension bridge became so busy with people apparently jumping off that in 1998, barriers were installed to prevent jumpers. There's this crazy factual story about a bankrupt grocer, Charles Brown, decided to reduce his outgoing expenses by killing two of his five children in September 1896. He took his two daughters, Elsie and Ruby, to the bridge one night and had them walk along the bridge in the high winds and before picking them up and flinging them over the rails. Somehow, the high winds saved their lives and they fell in the river close to some boats and were quickly rescued with minor injuries. There are a lot of speculations that the military was conducting mind-altering experiments in a nearby base, as well as a tunnel deep in the mountains under the bridge, which I will risk my life in an attempt to take you guys in there. Right, so here's the thing. Many people have legit died on this bridge. A lot of people don't know why so many are attracted to it. Is it because it's high enough to throw yourself off and possibly die? Or is it because there is a paranormal attachment to it? I personally believe there could be something in this mountain that's leading people to come to this bridge and eventually to their doom. Just earlier today, as I was exploring this bridge out for a jog, I literally saw someone attempting to feel his way around these metal wires as you guys can see and as soon as he did so security came rushing in and eventually stopped him was he about to jump we don't know it's possible he was thinking about it as i was out for a jog earlier in the morning i noticed cops and security arriving to the bridge in a panic so i immediately knew i had to get onto the bridge as it may have been someone attempting to jump off and just like always i was right As you guys can see, this man is clearly talking to someone that's not there. Is he seeing ghosts, or is he on something, or does he need actual help? It's clear that alcohol or some type of drug abuse is a factor here because you can see an entire bottle in his hand. Now it's very strange that the cop did not even try to take that bottle from him. I'm not sure if it's a UK thing where you're allowed to carry alcohol with you in public, but in North America, that's definitely not a thing you're allowed to do. But I think he's, uh, I think this guy's contemplating jumping, like legit. So I'm just gonna document as much as I can. I think it was a false alarm. Yeah, guys, they don't mess around here. They have cameras everywhere. The second they see someone acting suspicious on the bridge, um, they come they come after them. And they actually have a number here where you can call someone in case you're feeling like you are you want to jump off. It looked like he was on some sort of drug, some type of alcohol. But you know what? I'm very thankful the security that was here was here to stop him. Eventually, four to five cop cars showed up. And I think they were trying to just patrol the bridge because it was on high alert. Now, there are a lot of stories that come out of this bridge, whether it's paranormal, whether it's just urban rumors 
a lot of things do happen here. When people jump off the bridge, it usually has no water in it. Yet last night when I was here, there was no water in this bridge whatsoever. And what happens is, is when people jump off, they don't die from the jump. They might break their bones, completely become handicapped and decapitated. But the thing is, a lot of them go in head first and they end up suffocating from the mud because it's very thick. They can't get out of it and it almost becomes like quicksand. So as you can imagine, there are a lot of reasons here to why someone could die, why someone could be persuaded to jump off. And keep in mind, there's also the mental health aspect of it as well. If you need help, please go get it. There's always someone out there to help you. I'm here to help you. I'm making this video to be able to help people out that are thinking about doing the unthinkable. If you guys remember a long time ago, I did a video on the suicide bridge in California, in Los Angeles. The video got 2 million views before YouTube decided it was not good for children. So they age restricted it and they blocked the video from getting any more views, which doesn't make sense because I'm out here trying to make a video to help you guys, to spread awareness, to help people that are depressed and need help. And we all know I've been doing so from the beginning of time since I've started making videos on YouTube I've wanted to help people with my message live a little I did not create this message just for fun or to sell merch I created because I live by it I'm out here traveling day and night to give you guys content to keep you guys happy and to help change your mind when it comes to things like suicide and when it comes to things like hurting yourself and depression I want you guys to live just like me and I want you guys to live a little yes this place is a beautiful view it really really is it is probably one of the nicest things I have seen in a very very long time across my travel being here in Bristol in the UK it is so beautiful and magnificent but it is very dark as well because people have literally jumped off of this bridge now down that way under the bridge way down below there is a tunnel way down there there is a tunnel I tried to get some shots of it on my drone I don't know how I'm gonna get myself down there I really do want to I don't have a car but I think I might actually walk around the entire mountain and walk down this way. Now the word is there's something paranormal in this tunnel. There's something that the military created a long time ago that attracts people to this bridge. From experiments that they did on people which um, have been documented in other videos that I've actually made, we actually went to the legit Area 51 of UK, the entire facility. We snuck in and we rang their doorbell and we tried to get access to the tunnels. Now I don't know if that video has been released by me yet or maybe I'll release it in the future, but in that video the military has come clean about doing mutations and operations and experiments on people that have led him to this bridge like I'm not even making this up area 51 of the UK is here in Bristol just a little bit outside in the countryside is it possible that the military did something to a lot of these people that causes them to come here and jump off the bridge or is it something simply paranormal or is it both Okay guys, jumping into the day, I'm still here on the bridge and I actually just ran into someone that's been a fan of mine since she was nine years old. Hi. And she's 18 now and she still watches the video, so I really do appreciate her and I appreciate each and every one of you guys that come to watch these videos. But she does have some stories about this bridge, so I really want to hear them. So what do you know about this bridge? So there's one story of a girl named Sarah. She was the first person who tried to ever commit suicide on this bridge. So she tried jumping. But because obviously the big Victorian dresses things, yeah. they're made of like sheet metal and whatnot. And they're really big and heavy. Yeah, it basically turned into a parachute and saved her life. Um, but when she landed, she was conscious still and stuff like that. She was just in the mud. Now I heard about that, people falling into the mud. And they don't die from the actual fall, but they end up suffocating in the actual yeah. mud. Um, but she was, she was still conscious, she knew where she was, um, she knew her name and stuff like that. She just was in shock from the fall. She lived, but she lived until she was 84 and then was wow. buried in Avon Cemetery. So you jump off this bridge and you end up surviving. Was she paralyzed by any chance? No. No what? broken bones. No broken bones? No. And I told you guys, there's a lot of mud in this water. I think you'd have a better chance of surviving in the mud than in the actual water. So I have a theory about this bridge and I'm only saying this because I actually snuck in to the Area 51 of the UK the other day. I don't know if you guys know about that. It's outside of Bristol. So it's basically, the, have you heard about it? Yeah. So this place is high security and we snuck in there to get into their tunnels. We actually rang their doorbells. They told us to get lost and the cops came. Anyways, long story short, they've actually done experiments on people, which they've actually openly admitted to. And apparently some of these experiments have led people to come to this bridge and jump off of it. I'm trying to figure out, is it something paranormal or is it something actually done by the military? It could be a little bit of both. And there's also a tunnel down below that people have told me there is a paranormal attraction from the... There's a what, sorry? Have you guys ever been down to the tunnel? No. 
All right, so that's my mission for today. I'm trying to figure out how to get down in this tunnel because apparently there's something in that tunnel that's paranormal. I, it could be just a story, which is what's leading people to also jumping off amongst the other reasons, the mental illness stuff and stress and the depressions of life, which really, really does suck. So underneath, there was 12 vaults discovered. Only two of them have actually been open to the public. What are these things? Vaults. Vaults? Yeah. Okay. Um, they're, they are the same size as three double-decker buses. Oh, wow. Um, that's all. I don't know what was found inside or whatnot, but so I also know the pavement slabs had to be redone. Um, one of them was found to be a manhole. Oh, wow. Which went into the tunnel. Okay. And apparently there was uh, either a fake skeleton or a real skeleton found, but no one knows. Nobody knows like what the actual place is used for or how to be used for in the past. So since so since I've been here in Bristol, I've been to a lot of tunnels. Like this whole entire area is just full of tunnels. Now the military base that I went to, like that's close by, there's 25 miles of tunnel. Yeah. Just keeps going and going and going, which the military says they deny it, but they've actually exposed it accidentally and then they had to come clean with it. Yeah. And Bristol underneath here is just full of tunnels. We actually took a raft inside of one the other day because um, it was all water. So we took a raft and we just went in deeper and deeper and deeper and it was very ancient. So I don't doubt that there's tunnels in this mountain over here besides that one that's over there, which is yeah, the Bristol, tourism. Bristol was used a lot back in the day for um, smugglers. Yeah. And stuff like that, like smuggling all the goods. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense, right? Like, you, you never know who's died in these tunnels, going in them, who's been murdered in them, and also who, who died actually helping build them as well. There's probably a lot of deaths. By the way, I'm talking to her dad across the camera, so he doesn't want to be on camera, but yeah, it just looks weird. <laughs> oh, he doesn't want to be on camera, yeah! That's awesome. So these guys have so many cool stories to tell us for this adventure, but later on at nighttime, I'm gonna be going down to the tunnel by myself because this is a solo challenge that you guys wanted from me. <laughs> Will I die tonight? You're gonna no. be creeped out. I'll be creeped out. That's You know what? If that's the best thing that would happen, then okay, I'm fine with that. And you're probably gonna hear a lot of noises. A lot of noises. Yeah, I, I do have sure. one thing. In the portway, if um, either somewhere down there or down that way, there's a cave that's been buried up. So I seen it on that side. It's been fired off. But I know there's a cave down there between those bushes. Yeah. So you see that little entrance there. Yeah. Did you see the rock climbers? Oh, it goes up there. About years ago, they used to take people in there for tours to explain what happened during the war and stuff. Because further down there, yeah, they've got a hole in the wall that people used to go inside there and hide from the bombs that were getting dropped during Makes World sense. War II. Makes sense. And obviously they used to take tours in this place to show people around. Yeah, and there's like people um, climbing the mountain there too. Yeah. So and basically when you get to the top, it's just a massive cave underneath this hole right here. Okay. It's absolutely enormous. So that cave is closed right now. I can't get to it, but I may be able to find a way into the one that's on the bottom. I have some tricks up my sleeves. It's got like silver bars on it. That's no entry allowed because there was uh, apparently over 100 bodies found. So here's the thing that I've learned about the UK. If it says you're not allowed, you still can go in. Yes. Because if cops show up, they don't really do anything. They just tell you to leave. Yeah. Oh, like in Canada, they want to send us to jail for doing these things that are so much fun. <laughs> Big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much you for welcome. being a part of this video. That's so awesome. She's been watching since she was nine years old. She's 18 now. Have you ever thought that one day you would be in a Most RG video? No. No. <laughs> no, a lot of people definitely say that. not. <laughs> well, now you're in it. So when I seen you in Bristol, I was like, I'll get on that. Yeah, there you go. It might happen. You never know. <laughs> you got to follow me on Instagram and watch my stories because if I'm in your area, you might make it into a video. Okay guys, jumping into the night, I'm about to try to get to these tunnels that are apparently causing some of the paranormal on this bridge. I am currently here. The bridge is currently here. That's where I just was. And now I gotta walk all the way down this way, around this, because I don't have a car, and then down to this highway, and somehow make my way down into the tunnels. Now, keep in mind, I am by myself. I have never been to Bristol before, other than these last two days, and I have no clue where I'm going. Now, if you're wondering where my friend Aldo is, Aldo decided to stay home and edit a video. My friend Dan had to go back and see his family. My friend Andrew is with his family. I am solo on this one, so if I get into this tunnel, I'm hoping nothing bad happens, so pray for me. Smash that like button, get yourself that merch. The link is down below. Let's keep moving forward into this video. You know, sometimes it's kind of cool filming on my own, a little bit sketchy because I'm in Bristol. There are some very shady areas here in Bristol, but there are some good areas too, which is where I'm staying. My Airbnb is literally 20 minutes away from here. Uh, 20 minutes on foot. Yeah, look at this, guys. I'm by myself trying to give you guys a paranormal adventure, hoping once we get down to the tunnel, like the game plan is, 
I don't want to kind of like disrespect the dead, the people that kind of jumped off this bridge. Um, I don't want to do any of that disrespect. But what I do want is to see, see this tunnel. If I can get into it, and if there's actually anything inside of this tunnel that is causing the paranormal activity. Now, um, off camera, I was talking to Kelsey's dad, and he was telling me that the person that built this bridge, um, someone that was kind of famous and kind of rich, the, and he was an engineer or an architect, the guy that architected the bridge, the guy that made it, he basically died midway during the bridge being um, created. So apparently, and this is coming from workers that literally built this bridge, they kept saying during the building and the construction of the bridge, they kept saying that they could see the man that died, the owner of the bridge, on top of the bridge, and at nighttime, he would tell them to keep working, keep working, keep working, which is pretty crazy. So even though the guy died, he was still trying to get his employees to freaking keep working. Eventually, the bridge got finished, and apparently people till this day continue to see the guy that built the bridge on top of the bridge. How insane is that? So I'm almost at the base of the mountain. I am doing a lot of walking for this video and I would really appreciate it if you guys let me know in the comments below, do you like this type of content? If you do, smash that like button. Oh baby. I am pretty much almost underneath this bridge and that means that tunnel should be somewhere down here. Ooh, how the hell am I gonna get down here? Okay, all right, this is a mission. There's the bridge. And the tunnel should be down this way. That is a high mountain. And that's just to show you guys how big this fucking thing is. If you were to fall down this thing, you're toast. I don't think the camera can literally even show you guys how high this thing really is. It is massive. On the drone shots, it did not look that scary. It did not look that high. This is absolutely bonkers. Imagine jumping off of that. That is scary. Through those bushes is that tunnel that I'm talking about. And obviously there's a bunch of cameras up there. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. <sighs> All right, this is sketchy. The only weapon I have is my fist. Holy sh Okay, so it looks like the tales of the tunnel is true. <gasps> oh. Someone's shoes. What the hell? These could be, these could be the shoes of someone that have jumped off the mountain. What the hell? There's the bridge right there. And there's the tunnel entrance right there. Oh god, now I'm scared. All right, here we go. I don't know if it's gonna be wet. It looks like it's wet. Oh my god. Holy oh, shit. Hello? Oh. What the hell? Oh my god, it just keeps going. So the only way into this place. Hello? Is walking on these rocks. Okay, that's just a bathroom. How weird is that? There's a bathroom. This is crazy. I don't want to get my shoes wet. These are the only shoes I brought with me on this trip. This is probably the scariest place I've ever been to by myself. Hello? It's my only pair of shoes, what the hell with it? This is what I live for, right? This is what I do.
that goes nowhere. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so terrified right now. All right, down I go. Medical officer. So this was a military barracks and they might have actually been doing some type of mutilations on the humans here. Whoa, city treasure to the ground floor. Yeah, just another like attic here, but I'm not gonna go up every attic I can't. Oh, it's gonna get deep. If this doesn't go up, you know, it's gonna get very deep. Fuck, I thought I heard something. Guys, check this out. 1928. 1928 box over here. Wow. Interesting. So this tunnel goes throughout this entire mountain. This is unbelievable. So I don't want to spend too much time in here. Hello? Yeah. So each and every one of these rooms are completely empty. What I'm looking for is for objects. Some type of object that could explain what's happening around here. Read what it says on this door, but there's no objects here. Education and libraries. Look at this old box. Title deeds. This is all military stuff. So that's here from back in the day. And there's a safe at the end of the tunnel. Wow, just to show you guys where I am right now. There might be something up that way. Look at this, there's a safe at the end of the tunnel. What the hell? I hear something moving. Hello? Oh my God. Whoa. Whoa. This is unbelievable. Someone's tried to punch holes through this. Check this out, guys. There are all these old military bombs. What the fuck was that? Hello? Fuck. I'm scared. There are all these old military boxes here. Yo, please God, protect me. Protect me from anything evil. Look at all this. That's creepy. They're all empty, of course. My goodness. I have never seen anything so fascinating. It ends, it's, it just ends. So, this proves the theory. This place might have had some type of experiment done on people. I'm gonna keep the camera away from my face because I need to be able to see what's ahead. But this in here, not on this floor, but somewhere on this mountain, I guarantee you it goes in deeper and they've just sealed it up where that safe was. That safe could have been a door that opens up 
into the mountain. Um, they could have been doing experiments on people, which was causing people to jump off this bridge. Oh my God. Now, I can't see anything in here that would be the cause of that, but you never know. There could be residual negative energy, something very evil that's doing that. Okay guys, I'm gonna make my way back outside of this tunnel. I'm gonna see if there's anything that I missed. I possibly could have missed something. fact that there's a safe at the end of that and no one's been able to open it you can tell you can tell no one's been able to open that because it's got dead bolts on it this is crazy all right here we go time to head back out dinner really so much in there hello thought i heard something that could be wrong Now there are, so I was probably up here just now. That's where I was. Now there are other rooms with ladders that go up like this one, but I don't think there's gonna be anything in them. So I'm not even gonna risk like climbing up. I really only have two hands here, so. Hello? What the f Okay, I'm out of here. I just got the hell out of there. That was f***ing terrifying. I don't know what was in there, but I'm pretty sure I got a voice. I'm pretty sure I heard someone in there. I checked every corner and every inch of this place. There cannot be another human being in that place without a flashlight. It is impossible to see anything. Did I just freaking hear a ghost in there? Because I'm pretty sure I did. I really thought coming outside of the tunnel, I would find two guys standing there, but there was no one there. I heard voices. I'm, per I'm like, I'm not going crazy. I haven't reviewed my footage yet, but I literally did hear voices. So am I going crazy or what? Or is there actually something paranormal in there? I believe there is something paranormal in there. Will I ever go back in there alone? Hell no. That freaked me the hell out. Oh my god. So this is kind of like the Bermuda Triangle, but like... We're having engine problems already. So you're saying we're stranded. We're stranded inside of a tunnel right now.
What is up, Sergeants? Welcome back to another video from the United Kingdom. Woo! And today, we are giving you guys an adventure. And by we, I mean Aldo and I, because Dan... <laughs> Dan is too scared to go on this adventure. Bro, I don't fit on the bowl. He, There's like... You don't fit on... Bowl. No! You'll, You'll see. see. Is that why? Yeah. No, I think he's scared. Just wait. Scare the tunnels we're about to go Just through. wait. You, you tell me. Suffering catfish. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're, we are doing a suffering catfish of an adventure. <laughs> we're taking a boat, basically. A, a friend, Matthew, um, you guys might have seen him already from the cave video. He's going to be taking us on a boat through some weird, haunted, creepy tunnels under the city that not too many people know about. And it's going to be a wild adventure. Now, I was going to post this on my vlog channel, but I think you guys deserve an adventure like this as well. So smash the like button. Go subscribe to Dan. His link is down below. Um, he's basically, guys, like he's been showing us around everywhere. And I really respect that of him. And he's such a cool dude. And he also touched my peepee. -pee. You asked for it? That may be a fact. But also go subscribe to Aldo. His link is down below as well. Um, he's coming with me on the boat. Dan, unfortunately, has some work to do, which is why he's really not joining us. Mm -hmm. It's not because he doesn't fit on the boat and he's No, scared. no, it genuinely is. I can't fit on the boat. It's really? It, bro, this boat... You... So it's not You'll a boat, see. it's a You'll raft. See. It's Wait, a dinghy. It, it's a dinghy. <laughs> Oh, oh my boat. god. I, I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want you saying, okay, right, we're canceling this. I was going to let it be on the water. <laughs> so you have no choice. Duh. This is like me telling my friends, come help me film a video. I'm going to give you a milkshake, but I never actually give them the milkshake. Oh, All right, oh, smash like man. button. Merch down below. If you guys haven't already known, the Live a Little UK merch is on the merch store. You can get it right now. Hoodies, t-shirts, tanks, and maybe some thongs. The what? Guys, yeah. this is like getting catfished on Tinder. This is getting catfished right now. Guys, link for merch down below. Smash like button. Once again, everyone's links is going to be down below as well. Let's get on with this adventure. It's going to be a cool one. Yep, just airing up our dinghy. Pray for us. <laughs> this is going to be a fun adventure. <laughs> Are we going to drown today or what? Just a bit. I can't swim. Maybe you're dead already. I'm joking, I can swim. Yeah, I, yeah, I swim okay. real good. <laughs> we are getting ready to get on this dinghy and go on an adventure. It's getting cold, so I have to throw on my new little, little hoodie, of course. The thing is so cozy and comfy. Obviously, you guys can get it in the links down below. This is what we are going to be adventuring on. And if it's one thing I've learned in life, is when you adventure on something this small, you're always going to have a great time. So I can't wait for this. Crystal Castle, which um, has now been demolished, uh, it used to be part of the centre of Bristol and Bristol is full of uh, lots of tunnels that go from one side of the city to the other and a lot of them are blocked up now but it used to be rumoured that you could actually walk from one side of Bristol to the other going through all of the underground tunnels and some people used to live underground and they said that you could live there and all day you'd be in darkness walking through the tunnels, deliver food, get food, go to work and you'd wow. never even see daylight. Wow. And we're going to go and check out some of the old uh, castle tunnels which got uh, built over. So they basically put roads and uh, buildings on top of these. So we're actually going underneath shops, shopping arcades, all that sort of stuff is going to be above us and roads. Just toss it in the water. Alright, nice and slow, steady. This is going to be interesting, dude. We've got one battery to get us there and back and one just in case just for good luck yeah <laughs> just for good luck. oh god it's a battery powered dinghy by the way i've never been on i've never been on a dinghy period i've been on wraps i've been on kayaks boats yachts cruise ships never a dinghy by the way speaking of cruise ships and stuff if anybody has an abandoned ghost ship somewhere around the world no matter where it is i don't care if you have access to it, I need access to one. I need to get on a big cargo ship, an abandoned one. It's a long time dream of mine, and I want to go and sleep on one for the night as like an adventure. That's what I want. Somebody make it happen right now. As we were about to get into the water, a male dog carrot appears, and he was angry. Why do we use it? Because we own it. Oh, right, okay. Well, it's very nice, but isn't sharing caring? Even though we had permission to use this dock, he thought he would try and intimidate us. I think you're missing the point. I did, I did ask a gentleman just now, why don't you? Well, you haven't asked the boat house committee. Oh, I, I can assure you that. If you ask the committee, then we'll be here forever. Sorry. No, you won't. Who are you, anyway? Me? Yeah, who are you guys? Matthew. Matthew who? Matthew Williams, who are you? I'm the chairman of the boat house. So, and there you go. What's your name, then? 
I'm Dave Miles, so I want to know what you're doing on our private pontoon. Can't you read? It says private pontoon. Private. I, I honestly didn't see anywhere where it said well, that's a lot. The whole harbour's Absolute private. Line. It's complete private property. The whole harbour's owned yes. by somebody, isn't it? Yes, and we the have begin. licenses and we have agreements with the harbour master that this is our pontoon here. So, so you just basically want to make a big deal out of it. And no, make I don't it, want to make a big deal. deal. I want to know why you're using it. Oh, boat. There is a sign, yeah. Yeah, boat. No. Boat. No. Fun. I've been coming here for the last four years and I've never had one of you guys come up and say this before. In fact, everybody's been really nice. You should be using the public You're the segways. Oh, really? That one up there, which is not, not accessible. There's also the harbour mass that's down there. And that's miles away. It is. Agreed. Yeah. So, I mean, come on. Yeah, you come on, guys. No, you come on. Because I've never had one of your guys be funny like this I might not have been here when you've been using it. Oh, I'm sorry. We, we could have been gone already like this argument is just wasting a lot of time for you and for us like we could just be gone by now instead of just arguing and we're not causing any we're not causing any yeah yeah well like we're not we're not causing any problems we're just, when, I, when i first came here that was close there's a phone number up there on the wall you obviously haven't used that you? So, you know, why make it such a big thing out of just people putting a boat in the water? Because we get a lot of trouble with people using our pontoon. The boat, the other harbour master that have licences in these boats complain all the time to us about people being on this pontoon. In the end, the guy that originally gave us permission told the male Karen we had permission and he just left. How embarrassing. Oh, that was awkward. <laughs> You want me to sit on the edge? Yeah. Okay. Like you wasted all that time arguing when we could have already been gone by now. All right, guys, we are on the water right now. We just had a run in with some guy that thought he could just tell us what to do. I mean, we've been seeing public coming in and out of this place using this dock, and there's no problems. Like, he just wasted a whole bunch of time for nothing. And I told him, you're wasting more time arguing than you are freaking, like, you know, we could be out of your way and out of everybody's way. So I feel like when I said that, he kind of like decided to just walk away, right? Some people like to uh, be the boss man, you know, and it's kind of like, yeah, it's a yeah it's a you have to ask our permission. It's like, well, when we first came here four years ago, and I've been coming here maybe three or four times a year, I've never had anyone come up to me before, and I've never had anybody say, this belongs to us. So, well, unfortunately, you know, we just do what we got to do, and we, we keep other people's you know, way, and we're not causing any aggro. So. You know what's funny, Aldo? Well, that was the first time we ever interact with a dock Karen. Yeah. There's a Karen a of a dock. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is so quiet. This is a, an electric dinghy. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. I gotta buy me one of these. Yeah. You don't hear a thing, and that's actually good because we need to be quiet when we're sneaking into these tunnels. Yeah, we don't want to meet any more Karens. Yes. Yeah, that's true. No more Karens. You know, a lot of times on this channel, I take you guys magnet fishing, and I usually go to like the clearest lakes ever and quarries, and we find really good stuff. Imagine now was to bring my magnets here in this bay, in this canal. Imagine the type of things that I would find out here. Probably. Knives, probably a lot of knives, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of stabbings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of stabbings yeah, in the UK. Yeah. What are you doing? Say, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Yep, a lot of stabbings yep, 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 in the yep, yep, UK. Yep. <laughs> I don't know, you kept saying it the whole time. Yep, yep, yep. Not when I'm on camera. I'm, try in my head, I'm trying to make a documentary here. It's like the aliens off uh, Sesame Street. Yep, 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 <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Oh, that's where you got it from. <laughs> no, I got it from that, that workout guy. The guy that works out. What's his name? Oh, uh, uh, Ronnie Coleman. Yeah, Ronnie Coleman. Yep, yep. yep. Black work, baby. <laughs> so, yeah, imagine like finding a whole bunch of treasures down here, magnet fishing. It's very possible. It is. Dude, knives. I guarantee you there's going to be lots of knives here. Does anyone swim here? They do actually, there are people that swim in here. It's considered to be fairly clean. Um, it does take in water from the sea, but a lot of this is silt because um, it's a very muddy bank yeah, on the, exactly. uh, the yeah. way in, so it just washes a load of silt in. Silt? I still yeah. wouldn't ever swim in this. God knows what's in this water, like swimming around your legs. Yeah. But uh, now all the rivers, apart from this one, are underground, so they're all hidden away. So are we going under the castle? We're going under the old castle, yeah. Oh, cool, look, there's a tunnel right there too. Yep. Damn, under the castle. For the record, this isn't one of those tourist type of like guide trips. Like yeah, this, this is our friend. This is our friend he's not showing us. Him to tour guide us. Yeah, <laughs> he's our friend. He's literally showing us around. He's showing us stuff that people don't know about. Like this it's isn't secrets. like a tourist attraction. All right, guys, we are about a minute or two away from the actual tunnel where we are going to be going inside and exploring. I'm very excited about this. Let's be on the bridge over there. You you can't tell that there's a tunnel from here. Most people don't even know that this exists. So this is a treat. Sergeants, as you can see. 
right through that bridge where the no trespassing sign is, <laughs> is where we're going. <laughs> Do not go here. So that just looks like a nice <laughs> sign to me. I yeah, am I actually colorblind, yeah. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, uh, you know, that doesn't look like Wait. anything dodgy to me. How do, well, it says no public access. We're not the public. We're YouTubers. Oh, no, we're special. We're, no, we're, the we're, guy said this is private access. Private. So yeah. private, private individuals. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's right. We're, we're, okay. we're not public now. now. What we need you to do is lift that chain up if you can, and we've got to lift it up over us and then kind of go underneath it. So what the if hell? you can. Oh, yep. 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 Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, it's a little tight. It's weighted. Yeah. It's weighted. Why not? It's just tight today. We should have to duck underneath it's it. Tight. You have to duck underneath Yeah, we gotta duck underneath it. That's this tight. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Alright, we're doing this. Under the chain. You gotta, you gotta duck okay. too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me get that camera. Now, should we go back up so we don't fall? Or? Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we yeah. won't fall, don't worry. Back up now. Watch your camera. Alright, you got this. Alright, all right. All right. we made it. We made it. Oh. <laughs> Alright. I guess that guys, please do not try these dumb videos yourself. We're taking a lot of risks. <laughs> There's a reason this is off limits. Oh, look, we got it. What our, I meant. our first creature right there. What? It's an alligator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <gasps> We're taking in water. We're drowning. No. Yeah. Yeah, stop. Nothing's <laughs> We're almost at the tunnel. Oh, shit. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, There's a the tunnel right there. Oh, my God. We're getting close. Yo, literally, if we didn't have Matthew, we would never discover this. No, never. This is like, cue the Zelda sound. <laughs> Are we having engine problems? No, no. I'm just getting it up out of the water so so that it will uh, push us along but without picking up oh, yeah. the bottom silt. Yo, that is terrifying. It's going to be stinky in there. Because it was off limits, right? Yeah, it's it's off limits and uh, I think there have been about uh, 20 people who've gone in on boats but they've never never found them since. In well, here? The, in the, yeah, the bodies were never found. So. Oh, my oh my god. I think there have been about three boats that have floated out here but without the... Oh, it looks so creepy down there. Look at that. Oh my god. So this is kind of like the Bermuda Triangle, but like, the duck is like... Oh, did you get through it? That was creepy. That wasn't one of you guys. No, no, no. Look at, look at, oh my god. Look at all the pigeons in there. Guys, I'm gonna put my uh, hoodie on because it's also dripping like the ceiling. I there can't there are pigeons everywhere, dude. Starting to get a little nervous. Matthew did not tell us that 20 bodies went missing here until it was too late for us to return. It's a very smart tactic, Matthew. All right, let's turn the lights that way. Oh, boy, baby. <laughs> Hello, ghosts. We come in peace, birds. We come in peace. Please don't poop on my head. These ones, these are really fat ones right up there. We're so eating good. All the pigeons come and hide. We're eating really good. They're like, hey, who's disturbing us? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Please don't poop on me. Yo, Matthew's got the brightest light on earth. It's, it's like a freaking the sun. Yeah. It, it puts my light to shame. You, uh, do you want to use this one? No, I mean, you can just use it the way you're using it if you want. Bro, what the hell are we right now? Dude, are you sure? We're having engine problems already. We're in a ghost tunnel and we're having engine problems already. Hello? Sounds like someone's dying in there. This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. So you don't want to fall into this water. Look at all the garbage. Oh, that's so gross. Right? How many infections do you think you would get if you fell in here? At least seven. All of them. All of them. <laughs> Is that a ladder? There's a ladder. Yeah, it goes up to the, the main street, I think. What the? You think there's like... Have you ever heard of those people who live underneath the ground? The, the yeah. mole people? No, no, there's like the children who live in the core of the earth or something. The mole people. Uh, is that what they're called? The mole yeah, people? Yeah, the mole people. That's from The Simpsons. Is it? Yeah, the mole people. There's actually a lot of urban legends about that. Like yeah. people who live, they're like children and they live in the core of the earth. Yeah. So you heard of that? I don't know if it's true, but. Well, dude. Dude. dude, let's keep going. Bro, this is something out of like the scariest documentary ever. It looks like we're turning a curve right now. This is how quiet it is without, without the engine. Camera won't even work. This is so creepy. Oh, shh. You guys love doing that, right? This is scary. Are there any spirits in these tunnels? If so, flip our boat over. No. No, <laughs> don't flip our boat over. <laughs> Just like maybe smack Mo in the head for suggesting that. <laughs> you guys were having technical yeah, difficulties? My, um, my wheels down and they're just catching all the crap. So you're saying we're stranded. We're stranded inside of a tunnel right now. Well, we've made it this far, I guess. But we can't go any further because the engine's clogged up. Oh my god. 
I will be able to, but it's definitely getting riskier, I'll tell you that. Kind of forgot. Only Dan knows that we're down here, and Dan went home to sleep. I don't think anyone has told anyone anything. Oh, we're, we're literally stranded. We're, we're stranded right now. Wait, what do you mean? I heard, I'm hearing a lot. Oh no. Oh no. What? I'm hearing oh no. Okay, guys, we need all the luck we can possibly get right now. Leave, <laughs> leave a positive comment for us. Right? <laughs> yeah. Five minutes into dinghy and chill and we're stuck. <laughs> Pray for us in the comment. Everyone comment comment down below. Good luck Mo and Aldo in the comment section down below. Good luck Aldo and Mo. Comment down below. That was, that was close. You got the engine in. I got it oh going. Oh my god, thank god. Yeah, yeah. That's, I, that's a relief. We've been stuck for like 10, 15 minutes we right now. Gone, to be honest, but we got it. It's not fun. Like it's fun. It's fun to be on this adventure and kind of get stuck in this tunnel. But it's actually, nice. like we can't get out unless we were to swim out, and nobody wants to swim in this dirty, filthy water. Last, last remnants of daylight. Goodbye, daylight. Goodbye, yeah. hope. Goodbye, future children. Goodbye, future wedding. Oh my god. Goodbye, parents. Dude, look. It gets narrower and narrower. This one's just getting worse and worse. Hello. What if somebody like replies? I know, right? Is anyone there? Oh! 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 It's a dead fish! That's a big one! No way! That's a big dead fish! That's disgusting! That thing came out of nowhere! That's big! Yeah! Why is there a big fish Bloated here? Bloated up! There's so much garbage here! How did a big fish get in here? This is ocean water! What if something ate it? And then spit it, it out? Because it was not good enough! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. If you see our um, nose go to hit the wall... Yeah, not only do we have... Demons to worry about in here, but we also have the boat from falling apart. Dude, I feel like I'm in like the Lord of the Rings or something right now. It's Dude. weird. The tunnels are so old. What's that? What's that noise? There's a noise. I just you heard that too. Yeah. If this thing was motorized, it would be annoying to film in here. But take a look. Very noisy and smoky. Look what's behind us, guys. Nothing. Just more darkness and tunnels. Just darkness. So, sergeants, we're finding candles on almost every ledge that we pass by. You can see a candle over there on the right, and then behind us there was like ten more. It's almost like people are doing these kind of like ritual ceremonies down here. Like Weird. Right there, you guys see that? There's a candle right there. Why would someone come down here and put in the effort to put a candle right there? On every one of these steps, too, by the way. Unless it was kind of like a ceremony of some sort. Where? Where's oh, that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? It's just a, a bottle. bottle. I thought it's it was a, a jellyfish. It's just a bottle. Jeez. It looks a little bit cleaner in here though. Now that we're like progressively further from the rear. Oh, that's gonna fall on someone. Oh my god. This is why you should not come in here. I mean it's not like there was a sign saying we shouldn't come in here. There are numbers on the uh, more kettles telling you how far it is to the uh, to the exit. I wonder if this is by meters or feet. Is it me or is it getting colder? Yeah, it's definitely getting colder. <clears throat> Do you hear something? Just wait for a second. I thought I heard a woman's voice. It gets smaller. This is getting weird, guys. So right now we're approaching parts of the tunnel that either are more flooded or are actually smaller, as you guys can see at the end of it right there. God, this is weird. How old could you say this place is? Probably about 200 years. 200 years? Yeah. Oh, it's dripping. Watch out. Yeah, those are the stalactites. Stalactites? Uh huh. Stalactites, 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 that's like a tongue twister. There's stalactites and stalagmites. Stalactites and stalactites? Yeah. You know what it means, tights? Tights hang down. Tights hang down? Yeah, as in like tights hang down. Oh god. <laughs> Matthew, you cheat you. Is that another dead fish? What is this? Oh, <gasps> someone's hat! Oh, oh I've been someone's hat! I've been needing a new hat. Got lost in your home. That could be it. Oh, we're, oh, we're about to go. Bag. There's a bag. We're about to go over a really big bag. A bag. Watch the propeller. Okay, so far we found a hat, we found a dead fish, and we found a bag. So the tunnel is getting smaller. Look at that. It's like they're like, yeah, we don't want to put in the effort to make it bigger. We're just gonna make it smaller. There's something down there. You saw something? I've just seen a shadow at the end of that. Like actually, there's a shadow at the end of the not. tunnel. No, I swear to God, I did. For real? I swear, I'm not like like like, like low key. I saw a shadow of something moving at the end of that. Are you okay? Oh, 
Push off, push off. That's the bag I told you. That's the bag I told you to lift off from. Careful. This is not a place you want to be stuck in. Nope. Oh no. It's oh wrapped God. up nice. Yeah. No. Yeah, we just pull it off. It'll take a minute. So one major malfunction and this adventure is over. We're gonna get stuck in here. This is why you should not try this yourself. Alright guys, we are steady going, we're going, going. We got the engines rolling again. We are now progressing. Oh man, what the hell? Yo, what? Yeah, that goes up to the street level. And sometimes these tunnels go up into the basements of buildings. So we, so we can sneak into a bank right now if we want to. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> so, boy, you, 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 yo, yo, you said you saw something, right? Yeah. There's also an opening right there. And I saw a shadow going to the right, which is where that opening is. Okay, oh, shh, don't say anything. Maybe it's still there. This is getting really creepy. What the hell? What the hell? What is that noise? Oh, what the f was that noise, bro? That came from that tunnel. Bro, that's the tunnel that you said you saw something. Yeah, something's definitely in there. Really? Yeah, there's a there's an underground river. You so have to walk it though, right? You have to walk it, but when you drop out the other side, it gets quite deep. Like a waterfall know? type thing. Yeah. That isn't real. Do you guys think that has to do with the spirits of the maybe the kid that went missing here? The shadow? Yeah. Possibly. Because you said you saw something. Yeah. What the hell is this? Oh, look at that dude. A life raft. <gasps> like uh, one of those things that people float on. A, a life preserver. Uh -oh. Why would there be a life raft somewhere that's supposed to be Dude, off limits? Someone that was trying to survive. Oh my god, what's this? That, that looks sharp. Oh, it's, ver it's very shallow. It's very, very shallow here, Watch boys. Out. Is this the end? Oh! What He's gotta raise it up because we're very shallow here. Look, there's a wine, wine bottle in the water. What? So are we gonna have to get off and put the raft on the other side? No. Okay. Uh, yeah. Man, to be honest, this kind of feels like a spot where an alien could be. Do you guys believe in aliens? Yes. Do you believe in aliens, Matthew? I do. I've seen you before. You know what? I just I think that space is just way too vast. Oh, we're stuck on a rock. Don't move any further because there's a very sharp um, stick in the ground. Okay. Okay, so we don't want to get stuck in the stick. So we have to go backwards now. But look at that, guys. There is a, a buoy or, a, or a, a floaty that belonged to someone, I guess. So as I was saying, guys, I think space is just too big. Oh. It doesn't make sense for a oh. Dude, there's a kid's bicycle in here. No, you're not there. I swear to God, I just saw it. Yeah. Do you want to hold on to that? Don't push away. Oh, don't push away. No, no, no. I just saw a kid's bicycle in here. Like so we'll, uh, oh, we're gonna go up the stairs. Yeah, yeah we're going up the oh stairs. Watch, watch out for the metal here. We don't want to uh, pop this thing. Alright, alright. Uh, okay. So, uh, so, oh, look at that spider beside you, all the way. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, that's, that's huge. It's massive. Okay, so you want to just climb up? Yep. Yeah. I'm not afraid of spiders, as long as they're not poisonous. Oh man, look at that huge one. There we are. Thank you. I'm recording as well. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Where'd that big guy go? There's one here. Okay. Oh my god, guys, here, I wanna go to that side. Yeah. Guys, we are now exploring more of this tunnel, this time on foot. And I did see a kid's bicycle, dude, in the water, right there, actually. Where? Look at it, it's just down there. Oh, there, right there. Yeah. Oh, I see it. Damn, guys, look at that. There's a kid's bicycle right there. Damn. I wonder if that belonged to whoever's hat that we found. Maybe someone sacrificed it. Whoa. Look at this side of the river. Oh my god. Let's go down. Let's go down. Whoa. Well, this is what we came here for, for an adventure. 
This is really cool. Someone's been here recently. Unreal. Imagine this thing just started flooding right now. Oh, another dead fish. This is an ocean fish. Wow, look at that. That just goes all the way down that way. Wow. I was not expecting this adventure, Sarge family. This is the type of place where you find dead bodies. Like, actually. Unreal. There's like a, what is that? A baby stroller. That's a baby stroller. There's a, a baby stroller down here. Why would that be here? And then there's something else over there. And then there's other stuff over there. And there's trash everywhere. Why is there a baby stroller though? Jeez, I can, I can hear somebody walking through here right now. It's weird. Someone might have drowned in here. That's why this thing is here. Okay, it's time to go through all the spiders that Aldo's walking into right now. Oh my god, there's spiders everywhere. This is disgusting and creepy at the same time. Oh my god. Look at this. So next level underground stairs. Oh, there's a door. A door, a magical door. We have been saved. We can literally go for like dinner right now and then come back. Oh my god, look what it says here. What? It says danger. <laughs> Explore. It says Caution, explore. Keep out. That means go in, right? Well, in their language, that means explore. Uh, should we open this magical door? Yeah, let's do it. Is it going to lead us to Narnia? So this door is usually locked. And you can't open it from the outside, apparently. Hey, you guys remember in cartoons where you go underground and you have a child? What the hell? Whoa! Don't close the door. <laughs> do not close Whatever you do, do not close the door. <laughs> where the hell are we right now? What? Hey, we are... Don't close, the don't close it, don't close it. Oh. Hey, there's another door. Yeah, there's what? bits of tunnel going all or, all underneath here. There's there's more tunnels around the corner, and uh, there's actually bits in the park which are gated off, so you can see where the tunnels are going underground. But you oh, can't that's go amazing. There. Yeah. So this is cool. Um, we fa we freaking ended up in a different part of the city here in Bristol. I have no clue where I am. Not like I did to begin with, but now we're gonna get back into the raft and get the hell back to where we came from because. We don't want to spend too much time because once tide goes up, we would be trapped inside these tunnels. Hey, listen, if tide goes back up, we're stuck in here. We're literally screwed. So we, we gotta go right yeah. now. Yeah, we got yep, uh, yep, yep. limited time. If you wanna go if you wanna go down, just Yeah, thank you. This is freaking whiz. I took a whiz in the water. <laughs> Whoa. Um just pull it to Wow. Imagine you just like just cannonballed into this thing. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so bad. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna sit right over here. Okay. I think it was the uh the this branch. Is... Yep. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna push away. Push away. Oh! My ass just got wet. We we're both sitting on this side, it's not good. Nope, nope. Okay. Okay. Don't get on that. Don't get on yet. Okay. Alright, come all right, now you can get on. Okay. Now we're done. Alright. I'll, I'll hold on to here, you hold on to there. <laughs> My ass went into the water. <laughs> Alright. Beautiful. Yep, yep. Okay. There's that tunnel again. Listen. Can you hear that? Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Go, 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 right now. Go. go, go. go. Right now, Matthew. Okay. okay. Come on. Full speed, please. Oh my God. No, it came from down there. What is that? Bro, it came from down there. Remember when I told you I heard of something? Okay, is that the fastest that's this thing goes? Fastest. That's the fastest. Okay, you'll go. Yeah. What the hell was that? Oh my God. You, we all heard that, right? Yeah, we all heard that. I think it was coming down the tunnel. That little one, right? The little, little one, yeah. That, that leads into the big river, so I mean, you know, anything could be in that river. I don't know if I camera or not, but something's here, guys. Get us out of here, dude. Something is in us. Matthew, have you ever encountered anything that can make noises like that down here? I haven't heard anything quite like that. I've heard uh, splashes, like things like fishes come out of the water, but nothing that was like that loud. Is it still behind us? I don't hear it anymore. I don't know. I I think it might have just given up because we're moving, we're moving quite fast. Maybe it was Sean say leave or something. Yeah. Like, uh, not please. We should, we should, like, like, sit quiet and see if we can listen in. 
Okay, okay. Good idea. Dude, silence is ter more terrifying. I know. I think we're Did in the clear. Did you clip. hear that? Shh, shh, shh. The camera's inside there. Yeah. <gasps> what the hell was that? It's like a moan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, I don't like this. Can we please go? Yo, let's just go, man. This is okay. Too like usually when you're on land, at least you're on the. Like, yeah, we're like sitting ducks here. Literally. We are almost out and clear. Um, I'm happy that we're gonna be out of this. I, I enjoyed this adventure, but I it, this was a scary one, dude. Yeah. This was really scary. Thank you, Matthew. No worries. I'm glad we got you out here. At least we're well, not I haven't lost anyone yet, but yeah. uh, that noise back there was, was something. I've never yeah. heard anything like that. At least yeah. we're not going to be like those missing, like the guy who lost his hat. Like well, you still have your hat, that's good. Yeah, but we're not out yet. Like we still have that whole way. And then the rest of the canal. So what did you think about this place, Aldo? Okay, you know what? At first, I thought, hey, this is not that bad. But then once we actually got in and got deeper and deeper, I realized how much more in trouble we are. And then that sound, that really freaked me out. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's terrifying altogether. The most scary part, though, is this, the garbage. The garbage everywhere. The garbage stuff. Oh, it stinks so bad. What's <laughs> down there? Flash it. Can you flash it? Oh, there's something dead here. It, was it the fish? Ew. Or was it something else? Yeah, my eye. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm about to puke. Oh my god, get it. We need to get out of here. Peace out. I think those are the birds. Those are definitely the birds. <laughs> what? What was that? What was that? What the hell was that? That definitely wasn't that bird that did that. There's no way the bird did that. Yo, it came from the ladder. What? 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 Did something run up the ladder? Jesus. Oh. Yeah, let's get out of here, guys. Come on. Is Come anything on. here? Something spooking the birds. It's not even us. That was a big sound. Sergeants, we are out. Finally, we survived. We finally made it. I'm <laughs> so excited to be back. Almost on land. Almost on land. We, we have a long way to get back and we might have the Karen to deal with at the end. So don't go anywhere, sergeants. If that Karen is still on the docks. The Karen do of the docks. The dock Karen is his name. Oh no. We're going to call him Daryl. Daryl the dock Karen. Daryl the Karen. Dock, dock <laughs> yeah. Daryl the dock Karen. Hopefully we get back and he's not waiting for us with the police because that would really suck. Um, stay tuned. We'll find out soon. I wouldn't be surprised if he's standing there with all the police. Right yeah. There they are, right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the ones. Uh, the, those are the uh -oh. scallywags. <laughs> They're about to watch us do this extremely oh. sketchy thing. Yeah. Let's do the extremely sketchy thing now. All right, first we're stopping it. Stopping complete. Scrambling the chain. Uh, oh, nothing to see here. Just a bunch of guys. <laughs> doing, doing some tiny trespassing. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you're supposed to live life. All right. Show me your game. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Oh, oh man, that cabbage. Yeah. Oh. No, you were not lying about the cabbage. Yeah, cabbage makes you fart, dude. It needs to come out. <laughs> All, right. All right. I got you. Let's go. That wasn't me, by the way. <laughs> Mushroom propeller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm caught on the back. Oh, yeah, you're good now. Yep. Oh, nothing to see here. Don't worry about it. Just a couple of guys enjoying the scenery. They know his vehicle. They know we're here. And these guys are watching us very, very closely. Guys, I just stumbled upon one of their secret bases here in the mountain. Guys came out with rifles, came up to the window. To you. Up to, up to the window, and I had like guns. Like they're pressing it. 
We just rung the bell of Area 51. All right, so literally any minute now, the police will be turning up. It's just a matter of where they're gonna catch us, how they're gonna catch us, and what they're gonna catch us doing. Today you guys are in for a real treat. My friend Aldo and I, and our friend Matthew, which is sitting inside of his car right now, we are about to do an excursion, basically infiltrate the Area 51 of the United Kingdom. And when I say infiltrate, I really do mean it. We are gonna be going onto the property of the actual Area 51, basically where Men in Black, the whole movie series, originated from. We, I can't believe we're doing this. We're kind of on the grounds right now, but not really, we're still outside of it. We're gonna be driving into the facility, and apparently, we might have an interaction with the cops. We don't know yet. My friend Matthew has done this many times before and he tells us that they have tunnels underground like that go 25 miles deep and he's actually been in some of them. Guys, this is an alien research center. This is a high risk video, guys. So please, we need all the luck we can possibly get. Show, look, show them yeah. all the fences no, and look, gates. Look. We just, we just, yeah, we just, had, we just had like a, he was staring at us. He's like, what are these guys doing? This is all off the of danger. And there's also apparently a guard dog. I don't know. <laughs> I think the guard dog is the least of our worries, but if there is a dog, we're pretty screwed. But we're gonna be trying to get into, this is an airbase right now. We're not gonna get into an airbase. That would be stupid because the RAF would completely obliterate us. But there is an Area 51 facility a little bit further away from here that we're gonna try to get into. So smash the hell out of that like button. We are on an adventure like no other here in the United Kingdom. We're finishing off our trip with a bang and hopefully um, in a jail cell. Well, not in a jail hopefully cell. <laughs> back home on the plane home and not in a jail cell. Yeah. Or underground in the tunnel, bro. What if they got what if we actually film something secret and they say, hey, we can't release that to the public and they take us underground? But they do have secret stuff underground. They've yeah. admitted it to they it. They do. And for the longest time, they've denied that there's secret bases underground, but they actually came out publicly, it's now public records here, that they do have a 25 mile long tunnel with secret documents inside, and there's just a lot more going on. Once we get more to this video, we'll get Matthew on camera. He'll tell us his experiences that has happened here, and uh, we're gonna document everything that happens yep. in Area 51 of the United Kingdom. Yep. So smash that like button, get yourself some of that UK merch, links are down below, and go subscribe to Aldo, his link is down below. Right now, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be hopping back into the van with Matthew. He's gonna be taking us throughout the Area 51 area that he calls the Area 51 area and actually it is actually known as the Area 51 area. I think this Area 51 existed before Area 51 of the USA. This we're, we're being watched right now. And uh, yeah, so before the Area 51 of the USA existed, this place was here and they were doing like experiments on people and they were actually doing a lot of UFO stuff. So anytime there was a sighting, oh is she coming? Right, let me get that. I'm just gonna pretend like I'm up. Should we, should we go? Yeah, Alright, let's go, let's go. Yeah, we gotta get in the car with it. Matthew, we got someone coming. Yo, yo, she's coming! Go, go. Hurry, 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 hurry! Get us out of here, get us out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yo, that was quick, she came out of nowhere, you saw that? Yeah, yeah. bro, she means business. She does not want us here, no matter what. That was a bit dodgy. I don't know what her plan was. Like, is she coming to tell us to get the hell out of here? Is she coming to report us? Is she coming to get your license plate? I hope they didn't get your plates. We got a military chief up ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, real. shit. It's pulling over. Yo, let's get out of here. Can we get out of here? Yeah. I'll go down this way. Man, what the hell? Oh, this is like a James Bond movie. Yeah, literally. They're coming after us already. We haven't even done anything yet. Oh, no. Oh, and obviously, the classic movie scene where there's a guy in a wheelbarrow blocking the way. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's trying to stall us so that the jeep can get That's us. So true. 
<laughs> we know you work for them, wheelbarrow guy. Screw you guys. Yeah, but that that guys, that actual Jeep saw us and it's just turning around, so we gotta get out of this area. Um, we just encountered a truck. He's blocking our way. We're reversing right now through this road. He just came out of nowhere. Registration is gun. Okay, guys, as we were trying to, uh, oh, that's true. It does say gun. Guys, the license plate says gun. Yep. Yep. Yeah, this is this is one of their people. As we were trying to get in, oh, uh, it's like a truck just came out of nowhere. Let's see if we can squeeze by them somehow. Guys. They're completely blocking the way. Bro, even even their front windshield is tinted. We can't even see with their faces. Oh my God! It's a government SUV already. Don't worry, guys. We got this. This is getting crazy. We're literally reversing in the middle of this road just for this. Uh, is this road like legal to be on, or is it legal? Yeah, it looked like a military and guy. And he was wearing all brown, like a military yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. But Damn. but I don't think he was after us. They yeah. they they already know we're here. They, Trust they, me. They, know, they we're know we're here. They every time I come into this place, I get followed around wherever I park. Police car will come up. They know we're here. Damn. Man, man I got. I, that guy look, looked like one of those camo guys from like Area 51 in the in the USA. So I got kind of like stressed seeing him block our way like that. But he just let us go for some reason. But wherever you go, um, I've just been driving along, parked up, police come. Yeah, so they always know when I'm in town, so they know we're here now. So they're and if you think, you already. Yeah, but if you think that's crazy, right? Dan thought that was crazy and I said, no, come, come, you know, you'll see what happens because Dan got, uh, they went into a bunker once and these guys dressed in black, like men in black, they were outside the bunker trying to catch them. So I said, now they got your number plate, see what happens. So we drove around town, this bloke jumped out in the road and he was like, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? And I said, Dan, that's the beginning. That's the start, oh! right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Yo. so I said now we need to drive cross country. So we went through lanes and we got about 20 miles and we pulled into this place we were gonna, we were gonna go and have a look at and all of a sudden police cars surrounded all the cars guys with dogs you know and they were like yeah yeah what are you doing and they oh said my God. where have you been today have you been to Corsham they said <laughs> I was like there you go Dan so, so they're watching all the time the moment yeah. we get into this town they're watching yeah they know his vehicle they know we're here and these guys are watching us very very closely hey no matter what happens if we get arrested today we love you guys we're doing this for you we're giving you guys the most epic adventure ever and this is why we're out here today so early in the morning uh, sneaking into area 51 <laughs> We're still near the Area 51 facility. We haven't gotten officially to their grounds yet, but I want to show you guys something really cool. There's a tunnel here. It was an underground railroad tunnel where apparently they used to use it, the military, to bring in gear, bring in stuff that has to do with UFOs. And a lot of the locals did not know about this place. They didn't know that it existed because it was never officially on the actual map. So the military always denied it. So I'm trying to get as close as possible and this tunnel, keep in mind, it goes 25 miles deep underground and it's somewhere over there. I don't know how close I'm going to be able to get to this tunnel, but we'll find out. The fact that you had UFO sightings, experiments on humans, and a lot going on here because of this secret Area 51 facility just interests me so much and I want to know more. Well, that's interesting. This path leads me to like a dead end. <sighs> Don't know where I am right now. Oh shit. Did I just stumble? There's a bunker right there. What the hell? That is so cool. Look at that. I think I just stumbled upon a military bunker. Screw it. I'm gonna go and check it out. Oh wow. Oh, we got cows up there. What the hell? This was one of the military bunkers in this Area 51 facility. And we're not even in the actual Area 51 right now. And yet, this is here. Whoa. I don't know if there's anyone in there. Uh, check this out. I'm inside the bunker right now. Now, these used to have, there used to be a way to go down underground. They might have sealed it shut. Or there's a, some type of access panel nearby. So imagine, 
an invading army coming through and you can just see all this you can see all around and they can barely see you i almost didn't see this place wow okay time to get out this is what living a little is all about you guys giving you this awesome adventure now let's go see if we can get into that train tunnel Somebody coming. I gotta go. I heard two men talking. And I heard them coming. I gotta get the hell out of here. You guys would not believe what I found. What? I found a military bunker and I went into it. Are you no serious? Way. I'm not even joking. Like a square square thing Oct with octagon. Octagon with a little portal. Yeah, yeah those those were the gun uh, emplacements. They would have like guys in there with guns. It looked like it had an access down to the tunnels, mm. but it's been sealed shut. Yeah. Damn. I just kept walking this path. I thought I was gonna get to that main train tunnel and then out of nowhere up the mountain, like I hiked up there. Mm. There was like a whole freaking turret thing. Yep. Damn. But then I heard two men coming. Two men were talking there. All I saw was cows everywhere, but then there were two men there that were talking, and then I left. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, in, in the past, they would have had guys with uh, guns there protecting the railway line because the, there would be bombs coming up and supplies, and they'd be taking them into this secret bunker in the hill. Okay, well, I think I got made, so we should get the hell out of here. We just got to the RAF Rudlow Manor. As you guys can see, there are vans surrounding the place, and apparently these vans are never here, and the gates are never, never open. Now, this place did become abandoned, but this was actually, if you want to think about it in terms of Men in Black, this was the Men in Black headquarters. Just like in the movies, they have their headquarters, secret facilities. This was it right here. But Matthew's telling us that there's not supposed to be any vans here at all. There's not supposed to be anyone. So either these guys got word that we're in town and we're coming to check out the facility because we were planning on coming here. But I think, I don't, I, I don't think it's going to happen. Look at this. Holy crap. And directing jets to intercept UFOs. And then they also send out officers from this place to uh, interview witnesses. And they would turn up plain clothes and uh, tell these witnesses not to talk about their sightings. So you can understand why they kind of, that story about men in black, they come to talk to you, they silence you, you know, and they were investigating from this place. Now, Nick Pope, who worked for the Ministry of Defense, when he worked there, he said he didn't know anything about UFOs and Rudlow Manor. However, we got some documents from the Public Records Office which proved this place was investigating UFOs. And when Nick finally left the MOD, he said to us, yes, guys, you were right. This and a few other places were investigating. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I hear a military vehicle. Oh, they went the other way. Shit. Yeah, we're about to walk into this headquarters. The Men in Black headquarters. Whatever happens, happens. Let's do it, guys. Live a little. Yeah, these are definitely, definitely military, military vehicles. Yeah, we just got kicked out. So there's people doing renovations on this property. This did belong to the actual um, military. It, it was their secret headquarters for anything UFO related. Anytime there's anything UFO related being investigated, it was done here. And they told us to leave. This guy was literally like, hey guys, you should probably get out of here. The guy who always comes out here, apparently a bunch of people came here looking for Area 51. And he has a shotgun, and apparently if we keep going, he might come after us, so we should probably get out of here. Yeah, we actually should. You know why? Because I was down there exploring. I was trying to go around it, and when I went around it, there's like a, look, looks like a military jeep, and then out of nowhere, another little military off-roader showed up out of nowhere. So I hid by the bushes, and they turned left, mm. but I got them on camera. Yeah. So we really do gotta get, get out of here. here the guy Check out this view right now. This is unreal, unbelievable. This is not the most beautiful view ever. Like, wow, we... That is so gorgeous. <laughs> Timothy Good, one of the most famous UFO authors in the world, when he researched Rudlow Manor, he just pulled up like we did and just had a little walk around, went back to his hotel. In the evening, two plainclothes officers came, arrested him, took him back to the base and questioned him, why are you here, what are you doing? 
So, so if that facility was still active, we'd be getting questioned right now. We'd be quite good. We questioned. might get chased by a van, yeah. and someone's gonna start following us soon. Like, hey, what are you doing here? Why are you doing? I still feel like we will, because we've been like we've had a couple of weird situations. But even though we were there, we you got you guys talked to some guy there, right? Like some yeah. renovation guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The and maintenance he, guy. The maintenance guy denied anything about aliens, but then he said how he worked there for 10 years when it was active. Yeah. And then he said, oh, he, they have a shotgun in there, by the way. If I were you, I'd best leave. Yeah. So. I, I went up to him one day and I said, can you can you tell us about the UFO stuff that went on here? And the guy on the gate just went, just wait a minute, like that, right? And about 20 seconds later, land, two Land Rovers pulled up, screeched to a halt. Guys came out with rifles, came up to the window. To you? Up to, up to the window and I had like guns, like pointed at me that close. Like, you know, just pointed at our heads. Damn. What yeah. the hell? Yeah. I hope that happens today. This right here is the actual base for Area 51, right? Well, this is where they used to operate from, but they used to keep this bit run down because they used to tell everybody, there's nothing going on, it's all shut down, yeah, folks. It's yeah, it's abandoned kind of, but it's well, actually not. It was all going on underground. Underground. So right, right now, they're yeah. doing God knows what underground in the oh, tunnels. Oh yeah, this is where all the military communications for the whole of the, the world, for the Ministry of Defense, goes through this site. Now, um, since we publicized a lot of this, they spent a billion pounds on ramping this base up. Now, what um, little base has its own fire station like that? What the, yo, can you drive here? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, you I think? can drive. Let's pretend, let's see what happens. Yes. All right. See, oh my God, we're driving maybe, in. maybe try to keep the cameras a, a bit low key. Yeah. This we're is. driving into the base. We're literally on Area 51 base right now. Shit. We're not, we're not meant to be here. Yeah. Let's yeah. just pretend like we're lost. Yeah, why don't we have a fire yeah. truck? Like defense, fire and rescue. The, the, go, go tomorrow. The, ca the, the camera spotted why, us already. Why have they got that there? Because they've got an underground base. And they go back. Look, look, look at that big bunker right there. There's a big oh, bunker. There's a bunker. This, and then this, this is part of the base right here. The police entrance. And in there is a lift shaft that takes you down into the bunker. In oh that my police God. thing. Why did you go deeper in? Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> we would be in. No, we, we, no going Let's back in it, twice, dude. Yeah, let's push it. Dude, the camera, all the way yeah. down. The CCTV camera spotted us. You know, okay. yeah, yeah. They got wind of his, his car now. Yeah. So. Now, this is the real base. And behind here, uh, there are lots of entranceways into the underground. So we'll start to see a bit more of it. Danger, and oh, no drones, too. Yeah, no drones. That's because of me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is it. This is it. This is the active Area 51 base. See all those guys standing outside. We should have yelled at them. Be like, Ministry of Defense guards. Oh my God, yeah. there's guards everywhere, guys. Area 51. <laughs> this is crazy. And this is a data center, and they say it's public, but it's not. It's for the Ministry of Defense. This place is huge. We know who you work oh, for, we're lady. Get inside. Do you know like the NSA? Yes. Yeah. This is like the British equivalent of the NSA. God damn. Oh look, the gate's open. Drive in. Yeah. What? Drive in. Drive in. Oh my God, no. Do are it, we? do it. Are we? This is, do it. This is the um, data center, but we're not going to get in there. Let's yeah. see how far we can get. Yeah. You need IDs, you need IDs. Yeah. Okay, we can't get in there. Okay. God dang it, guys, this is risky. Yeah. I'm so nervous right now. Oh, oh there's a guard. Look at all the barbed wire everywhere. Yeah. The oh, there is a guard. There is a guard. Put your camera down. Yeah. yeah. Put your camera down. No, it's okay. Put your camera down. Hello. <laughs> uh, okay, we need to get inside the pop. Dude, this is too close for comfort. I'm scared right now. Oh my god. I've my got god. a daughter, another daughter on the way. I can't go to jail. <laughs> oh my I have god. a baby face. I can't believe we're doing this. Matthew's saying right now, uh, guaranteed the cameras have caught us because he every time he comes here, he, they know his yeah, that's, vehicle. That's another entrance. And they come there. after him. Yeah, they got nice. So it's only a matter of time before the Area 51 cops show up. The camo man. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, guys, oh, let me see them. Guys, Matthew is saying that uh, they've seen us now. So if we suddenly see a military truck, or uh -oh. A, oh, is that it? Um, no, no, men in black. No, that's not it. But we're on their radar right now. Yeah. Uh, just over the back of this, there's a lift shaft that goes down into the underground. I'm not sure if we can get in that little building, but in there is an old fire panel, and it tells you about all the underground bits. Like if a, a light lights up, there's a fire underground. Okay, so. Matthew, just drive really fast and crash into the fence. I'm kidding. <laughs> ah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Can I do this? Yeah. It looks. Hey, it looks like you can walk in back there. Yeah, walk it might be. It. Might be open, but I'll take you to a tunnel entrance up by here. Okay. You'd never know it was here. You just drive down this lane. So yep. we're gonna take the tunnel and try to go inside. Yeah. And they're gonna be waiting for us in there. We're in the forest of the facility around Area 51 here, and there's a tunnel entrance right up ahead. Sergeants, this is the type of adventure that you guys subscribe to all these years, so I hope you appreciate this. Oh, it's locked. Oh, there it is. 
that's one of the entrances. I used to be able to get in there, but after I, after I went in and got inside the base once, they put big bars up and it's all metalized now. But on the other side of there, trust me, that's the way into the massive 25 miles of underground tunnels. I've been in there. So we just got to get across this somehow. Yeah, it's all metalized. You'll, you'll never get Like down there, again. even down there, it's sealed shut. And you know what? Every time we seem to, well, a lot of times we come here, the military police will turn up and they'll be like, all right, what's going on then? You know, and they, oh, they want to make sure you're not trying to get in there. You see? Yeah, because so. like if they didn't, that would try to get in there. Oh. So they could literally pop up in two seconds. All right, so literally any minute now, the police will be turning up. It's just a matter of where they're going to catch us, how they're going to catch us, and what they're going to catch us doing. Good thing these aren't electric fences. As you guys can see, the fences have been sealed up multiple times over. Oh, I hear someone. Okay, so I don't know if that's just a normal person's car. Now here's the thing, everybody in every house that's on this property, they work for Area 51. And everyone here, whether it's alien stuff, whether it's military defense stuff, whether it's anything that has to do with the government, it's all here. So <laughs> you just never know who is actually onto us. Like it's almost like a Mission Impossible spy type of thing. So don't trust nobody is what I'm saying around here. So those 25 miles of tunnels literally begin right underneath us. Some of them are inactive. Some of them are abandoned. And that's what the military was showing to the media all these years. Oh, there's nothing going on down here. We're not doing any experiments on people. But they were because they ended up getting exposed and they actually admitted to it. And they actually admitted to it on the news. The hell is this thing? Yo, it would be really nice if we can get into this tunnel. I'm really bummed out that we couldn't. I know, man. As if that right there, it's so close. But so far, the secret entrance to Area 51. Well, maybe if uh, there is one other place I can take you to. Um, now, you get so close, you know, that you can actually hear the fans oh, from the interior going. So it's the air extractor fans. So the you ventilation. can actually tell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. So, um, so I can get you close to some, some bits. But, like, you know, you, you, if you break through that wall, you're into the base. And that's bad for us, right? Well, it's kind <laughs> of... Uh, you won't be going back to Canada anytime soon. <laughs> Yo! Okay, so let me get this straight. You have a way in, but it's extremely risky. And there's a higher probability of us getting caught, but it's the we're basically going to be in. Yeah, if we, if we got you as close as we can, and then you can see the wall, and you can decide, if I go through that wall, I'm inside. Yo, should we do it? Should we do it? Yo, let's do it. No, 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 here, let's see. Let's see. You do rock, paper, scissors. If you win, we do it. If I win, we don't do it. Okay. All right? <laughs> one time, one time. <laughs> Rock, rock, paper, scissors. scissors. Rock, rock, paper, scissors. scissors. Oh! <laughs> that was live. That was live. Okay, we're going. Yes. All right, screw it. Let's yes, go. Let's going. go. Okay, we're going to do it. Smash the like button, guys. Leave a positive comment down below. And comment free Mo Sargi. Hashtag free Mo Sargi all over social media because we're getting arrested today, 100%. But before I do, I need you guys to remember that I do have an Instagram, at Mo Sargi. I am verified. Go and watch my Instagram stories. I do be posting about everything I'm filming and everything you're gonna watch in the future on my Instagram story so you can always get ahead and know what's coming and when it's coming. So yeah, go to my Instagram. It's gonna be down below, at Mo Sargi. I do have a blue check mark. I'm verified. All the other Mo Sargi accounts are fake. They're not real. I am though. So this is one area we don't wanna be spending too much time in. As you can see, all the barbed wire. It's crazy, I don't see any cameras, but there's like an abandoned facility here. We're gonna try to sneak into it and see if there's any access into the tunnels from here. Dude, look at this. This is like a place we don't want to spend too much time in, right? Dude, there might be an entrance through this building down into the tunnels. Well, yeah, because the tunnel is literally like down there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's grilled off. Grilled off, yeah. They've sealed it up. So there's definitely a tunnel entrance in here, but it is shut off just like the rest of the tunnel entrances. Now, Matthew has been inside, guys. He has been. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much time here. This is, this is really scary. Honestly, I've never been so terrified. I want to make this video. I don't care what happens. It's just, we're waiting on it. Like, when are we going to get caught? You know what I mean? Like, is it going to happen? <sighs> but you know what? It's another 
cool facility that we checked out in the Area 51 of the UK. This guy, there's no reason for him to be walking up there. He works in the bunker. He's going underground the in the bunker. Just, uh, just casually, maybe we can follow him into the bunker. Yeah. Guys, I think we found an area to the secret bunker that we can actually go into. That's how you get in, but it's going to be crawling with agents in there. Yeah. Well, let's try anyways. There's a hidden bunker inside this garage door right here. Yeah. And they kind of made it look like a garage. Yeah. You yeah. know. But wait, the bunker's in there. Yeah, it's yeah, in yeah. there. That's an emergency escape, for, so they blended it in. So then this is one of their safe houses. Yeah. Wow. There's just so much hidden out here. It's crazy. No, it's like they don't even want you to see it. Mm. Again, I'm still surprised we're not in handcuffs yet. Yeah. <laughs> well... We're going to keep pushing it. Right, so where we're going to go now, we're going to park as close as we can on uh, private land and we're going to go down a lane and there's no sign saying MOD base, there's no sign saying keep out, there's no anti-photography signs, but when we go down there, they'll be clocking us on camera. We should get the police will come there within a minute or so, so let's check it out. Yeah, are you guys uh, sure about this now you want to proceed? Because, you know, once we go up here, there's there's no, no going back. Let's yeah? do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Wait, yeah. this is where the guy was walking. Yeah, that's where yeah. the guy was walking. Oh my walking. god, here we go. And he, and he disappeared, like he's disappeared already. Oh my god. This is it. There's no going back. Ah! It was nice knowing you guys. Oh my god. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, let's go, let's go. All right, we've made it across the fence. No, we're inside. This, oh. this, dude, this is a military road. Yeah, we should probably hide, no? Now every hidden CCT camera is literally... Oh yeah, we, we, we've been spotted, dude. Look at the cameras ahead. Ahead, 12, my 12 o'clock. You know what? They put signs up saying it's a Ministry of Defense, please. Oh, oh yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah, we're... CCTV cameras in use? Oh, shit. Guys, should we do? This guy's literally walking us into a trap, dude. They actually put signs up. Finally. They don't give you permission to do it. Gates are open. Oh god. If it open gate is an invitation. And, this is uh, a stupid idea. There's your bunker. Hey Matthew, when's the last time you were here? Uh about six months ago. Six months ago, and they didn't have those. Yeah. yeah, there's the bunker entrance. Oh shit, there's a guard up ahead on the right. There's a guard on the right. That's the bunker entrance right there. And we got a guard right up there, guys. He has no clue we're watching him. And we pro he probably knows now. I'm not, take, I'm not taking photos, I'm doing video. Yeah, it says no photographs. It doesn't say anything about videos. Yeah, this is... I'm, I'm scared. Like, legit, legitimately scared. Even the birds out here could be spies. I don't know, man. I, I think we spent... I, don't, I wouldn't touch it. I don't, I don't know. what if they actually open the gate? Oh, shit. I think someone's coming. Matthew, I'm pressing it. You just rung the bell of Area 51? Oh, we're, hit, we're caught, we're caught. They're coming, they're coming. We got cars coming. These guys are ringing the doorbell of Area 51. Literally. You know, just they're not answering. They're not answering because they know Matthew. Well, they probably see us on the camera. They recognize my face. Yeah, I'm all for just getting the hell out of here right now. Like, no, no, it's true. <laughs> you know, when you play GTA, we probably have five stars right now. Yeah, we have five stars. They're all scrambling right now to come and get us. Like. This is it's weird, isn't it? It's like an active bunker, but we won't answer the... We're ringing the we doorbell. The, the phone to us. We're ringing the doorbell of Area 51. Oh, can I help? Oh, yeah, yeah, we just needed to uh, do an inspection of the bunker. So, open up. Weird, isn't it? Can we just, just leave? Say like, hello, and then they just come I, ju I just want to leave because now they're now they're now they're assembling. <laughs> now this guy just. Oh my god! Okay, I'm I'm out of here. I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah, they're gonna come up from these tunnels any minute now. <laughs> Only in the UK can you get away with this, I think. Anywhere else you couldn't. Is that guy denied that there was a bunker? Remember? Yeah, he, he didn't say anything about a bunker. There's no bunker. Oh shit. There's a guy, there's a guy all the way down there, but he's just standing. Hey, oh. why don't we just walk down there? No, 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 no I, I, I can't, this is too much for me, I can't. This is too much for me. Way too much for me. At least if the cops show up and I'm behind the gate, it'll be a different story. Okay, so I'm behind the actual gate of the Area 51 facility. There's still cameras right up there. So they're watching us right now. 
Right now what they're doing is like, hey, there's these three idiots attempting to get into a bunker to film it for a YouTube video. Go get them. They're gonna show up any minute now. Look at this dead end here. This whole like town seems so fake too. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna stay here. I, I can't, sorry. Like I did, I did my best <laughs> to get in and give you guys a scene, but this is all I think I can do. I'm genuinely scared. Cause like, Matthew's had interactions with them before. They show up with guns and everything. And I don't know what they're gonna do after that. Oh, 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 oh. There's employees down there now. Yep. But it's strange, they're not doing anything because they're not the police. They're just people that work in the tunnels. vehicle the yeah maybe yeah. I hear a vehicle what did that who's that lady I don't know but she was wearing military gear she was wearing military gear yeah she was wearing military gear Yo, so. why don't we walk down more you have to be no I, at, least, at least at least at least they know we're here at least if we get caught out here you know what I mean it's a different story it's better than being caught in there Yo, Matthew is a savage. He literally told <laughs> the men in black people that he wants to do a bunker inspection. <laughs> I 100% want to inspect that bunker. I mean, hey, what if the BBC can come here? Why can't we? We're technically yeah. journalists too. Yeah. Yeah. We've got this. We got this place on the news. We just realized those cameras literally turn and follow us. Oh my god! And Matthew's making fun of them. Oh, this is a bad idea. I want to get the hell out of here. I say we just leave. Mm. Is that they're them? Going the they're going to the gate. Oh, they're coming. Oh they're, do they're doing a U-turn. They're going to the gate. <laughs> I think they're looking for us. They're literally looking for us. But they're <laughs> <laughs> no, they're looking that, that, took them, that took them uh, 12 minutes. They're, we, they're slacking. Should we, should we get the hell out of here? That took them 12 minutes. Don't run after them, you yeah. silly Sally. You'll, you'll park his car and then you'll come up to us. Oh, fuck. Cops are here now. He's gone? Is he gone? Huh? Is he gone? Went to the where we were standing. The gate? For us. Shit. Well, our five stars have been activated. <laughs> so either we wait for them to come give us a ticket or we get out before uh, they get us. What do you say we escape the ticket? I say we escape well, the ticket. I'm really sorry. I told you they'd be here in two minutes. It actually took them 12 minutes. But I say we get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's yeah. Get let's jump the fence. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, he was doing a U-turn down there. Go, man, dude, go, go! <laughs> oh my god! We're gonna get caught down the road, 100%. There's no okay, way we're not. We escaped one of them. The cop showed up. Hopefully another one doesn't pop up. Was that a police officer or just a guard for the actual base? It said police on it. Ministry of Defense Police. Shit. You didn't see it? It literally said police yeah. all armed, over the vehicle. Armed with, with, uh, with a dog in the back, probably. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. okay, let's go before they find us. Get us out of here, please. Shit. This is like out of a movie right now. Let's go, let's go. Guys, this is why you should not cut these videos oh. yourself. Let us do the stupid stuff for you. Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to try this video. I think we're just a bunch of idiots looking to get in trouble. Let's but <laughs> so far, all good. We haven't been caught yet, but they could be waiting around the corner. Air training ops. Yep, air training corpse. For the record, we're still on their land. This is all military land and part of this Area 51 area. It just they just have houses for all their employees that work here and higher ups, all that's the generals that are ranked up higher. That's where he drove down that, that he, road. He drove down this road. Oh, a black fan, a black fan. Black fan, black fan. Oh back shit! Back. He looked like he was turning this way. Yeah. I am stressed. Even this garbage man. I do not trust right now. I think I think he's trying to delay us so the police can get up, catch us. I think they sent out this garbage truck Bro, to get us. Yeah. That's a little bit far fetched, but I, yeah. I, I would believe it. That's like a plot of the movie. That's a plot of the movie, but I believe yeah. it. <laughs> Dude, why are you going so slow, man? Is there anybody behind us?
I'm Mo Sarji. Hey, that's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, hide right now. to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions, those ghosts, your spirits, would tell her, build this, build this, to fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, we lost the no! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, top, my boy! Live a little. Sergeants, welcome back to another abandoned exploration. Today I have something really, really cool right behind me. As you guys can see, there is a giant castle right behind me. Look at that. Look at the way that looks. I have this huge castle right behind me. I'm here in the United Kingdom still, and I got the boys with me. Gang, gang. Everybody's links are just going to be down below. We got Aldo, Dan, and we got Andrew. And we actually drove a long ways to get out here to this big castle. Look at this thing. Now, it's weird because we um, expected security and cops. All we found is a bunch of kids inside this place. Like, this place is crawling with kids. I don't know why. There's a castle with kids everywhere. So, we're going to go inside. We're going to explore it. I've never done it. I think you guys have done it. You've done it? Oh, you've never done it? You've yeah. done it. Okay. And the last time you were here, alarms went off. Yeah, and you do not see extendable ladders in my arms right now. No, no, that's not a that's not an extendable ladder. Not, we're we're just gonna put a blur on that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only way in is to get a ladder. Like it, this place is abandoned, completely abandoned. Like there's literally kids just chilling over there, and there's kids inside of it. And I'm excited to go in and show you guys this place. I've never been to a castle that looks like this. Look at this. So basically, the story is is a rich aristocrat lived here. I don't know if he was by himself. But he was alone that night and these guys came in here to steal his artwork he had a bunch of artwork a lot of art that was very expensive inside and what happened was is that somebody showed up at nighttime basically entered into his home like four guys tied him up to a chair tortured him beat him real bad and then eventually he was found by the police and ambulances he wasn't found dead but he made it to the hospital but eventually he died from his injuries inside of the hospital and that's it, apparently the story with what happened and uh they do say it is haunted at nighttime i don't think we're going to be here at nighttime because by the looks of it we got karen over there just walk by and we have all these kids over there it looks like cops are probably going to be coming really really soon so we're going to have to film this one very very quickly so i hope you guys appreciate this adventure look at this <laughs> this is so cool. Smash like button, Timo Sarji merch, and UK Live a Little merch in the links below on my website. You guys can find yourself Live a Little merch, UK version, the camo version, which I haven't even worn for you guys yet, and we have the new July 4th version. So all you Americans, you can get yourself July 4th merch really, really soon before July 4th is up. So it's going to be in the links down below. Get it now to help support these adventures. Let's get on with this one. Just set the alarm off. Are you kidding me? These idiots these kids just set off the alarm do dude we drove like two hours do you want to film them freaking out trying to get down the ladder well yeah. you know what on the bright side that means they're all gonna leave so if we leave and come back back maybe they'll be gone oh, is that possibly it? i don't think security the, the let's go let's go see let's go see this is so stupid <laughs> so we knew about these alarms and we usually avoid them <laughs> yo security's literally right outside yeah right <laughs> <laughs> what door did you open yeah, it looks like the alarm. Sure. I can't. Wait, come on. Come on, do it. Was it the front door? Yeah, it looks like the alarm, bro. I don't even know. Look at that woman. We're exploring around the sack of floor. Yeah, there's some alarm just went ringing the place. Yeah, yeah, there's a woman, like, she looks like a, a, like a crazy Karen. Where did I say that? Put it down, but what's up with it? God. She's brave. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll be okay. They got this. She got this. So there's a lady calling. I think she was phoning the cops. So I think I think the cops are probably gonna come. But we can just chill outside though, no? Until they leave, maybe. So sergeants, these kids that were here, they just left. They were, they were inside, kind of trashing the place. There's a couple of cameras on the front here, and a couple of security alarms um, as well. 
I don't think it's actually connected to anything. The cameras are real. Apparently there is someone that watches them, but we're so far in the middle of nowhere that cops are not gonna show up or security's not gonna show up while we're here. The kids are gone. I think we might still go in and film. We're just gonna wait around a little bit and make sure no one shows up. But like this place is too good to not film. It is abandoned and kids are destroying it and it's probably not gonna be here within the next year or so because people are just very destructive and it sucks. I do wanna get inside. I came all the way here from Canada to go and check this place out and I'm gonna do it. There's a huge lake down below and I'm show you guys a really nice view once they get to the top. But for now, let's try to figure out a way into this place. It's not every day you get to film an abandoned castle, but you know, when the castle's available, you just gotta take the opportunity, no matter what the risks are. All right guys, now that I got all this drone footage out of the way and those kids are gone, I think it's time to go in and explore this place. We've been here for a good hour. I've met some awesome people coming in and out of this place, but security didn't show up, cops ain't here. I think it's time to go in and explore. Look at this, this is like my dream right now. This, I wish I could have something like this or own something like this. Imagine that, a castle, you have your little stable back here. I'm not sure what this is about. It might, might have had some animals at some point. Oh yeah, there's poop everywhere. Something. Yuck. <laughs> I don't want to go in there. And uh, there's like a little makeshift ladder over here. All right, guys, this mysterious ladder appeared out of nowhere. I don't know where it came from, but it's good because I can get into the castle. Oh my God. It's... Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, so when you get in here, there's a huge hole in the floor. So be careful. I am now in the castle. Wow. Yeah, you might wanna watch out for that hole. This is cool. This is my first time in a castle like this and I am completely by myself until the rest of the guys. Oh my God, people have destroyed this place. Why? Why must people destroy such beauty? Wow. All right, so here's the plan. I am not gonna go anywhere near the bottom door, because that's where there's an alarm. I'm just gonna explore this top and main floor and maybe basement. There's a basement, but no one's ever actually been to it. Look at this, look at the wallpaper. So the legends are true because I ran into a couple of guys, really nice guys that were talking to me and telling me how apparently the guy and his entire family that owned this place were murdered in the house. Now the real story is, and it's funny because stories get twisted so easily through person to person. The real story is only one person died. He didn't die in the house. He actually died at the hospital, which is what I told you guys earlier. Yeah, he died at the hospital from the wounds that he succumbed because of the vicious attack and from the theft of his art. It's really interesting because I'm upstairs and I guess this is a kitchen. I don't know if they used to just do that back in those days put kitchens upstairs or whatnot, but yeah, there was a kitchen or it was a bathroom. I think it might've been a kitchen. There might have been like the stove over here, but I could be wrong. What is this? Room 10. Whoa. Yeah, definitely gotta be careful walking here. So the castle is very big, so it's easy to kind of get lost. Oh, gotta be careful. Yeah, it's like a whole building in here. Wow, check this out. I love the fact that I'm in here alone. All the other guys are outside right now. I don't know if I'm gonna try to do anything paranormal in here, like maybe investigate. It would be cool because someone was beaten and then was murdered outside of the house. Ugh, I'm not so sure yet. We'll see guys. I hope you guys are smashing the like button because I would really appreciate it. Look at this room. I love the architecture. Architecture like this does not exist anymore. Oh, oh this floor feels very dodgy. Okay, I gotta be very careful. This floor, oh my God, look at this. This drywall, 1910, 1901, 1913, 1900. What the hell? You definitely don't see stuff like this anymore. All right, let's keep moving on into this beautiful castle over here. By the way guys, I gotta let y'all know that I am posting behind the scenes stories on my Instagram and sometimes on Twitter. But on my Instagram, at Mosarji, if you guys follow me, turn on all my notifications and turn on my stories. You can watch all my stories of what kind of videos you guys can expect in the future. So if you wanna know and when the videos are gonna drop, if you wanna know what I'm dropping, you guys can go to my Instagram. Please do it actually. 
I would really appreciate it. Let's help my Instagram get to half a million followers. It's at like 333,000. It's been stuck there for a while. I don't know why I gain followers like every day, but I would appreciate it. If you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, if you're just watching this video, if you're just tuning in, I'm OSRG. I give you guys adventures across the world and I hope you appreciate it. Go to my Instagram at MoSRG. It is verified, so I do have a blue check mark. Any other MoSRG Instagram is not real. So I would really appreciate it if you guys go, went and followed me so you can keep up with my future explorers. And yeah, man, you can just support the adventures by doing so. You don't have to do anything else. I'm risking my neck to give you guys content that you watch and enjoy for free. So why not go subscribe? Wow, this is beautiful. Look at this, like you don't see anything like this anywhere else on YouTube. Wow. I need to remember that there is an alarm in here and I gotta be careful where I go because I don't accidentally want to set off the alarm. Look at that view. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. This is a beautiful explorer. So apparently like two years ago, a lot of the stuff was still inside this place. That's what I was told coming here. But seeing all... Ooh, there's a weird echo here. Seeing all these kids coming in and out of this place today, I knew right away that this place was gonna be trashed. They've destroyed it. Nothing left. And unfortunately, you know, this is why a lot of good spots get torn down because kids just come and destroy places like this. I don't know why they do it. It's such a beautiful place. Kids, stop destroying places. We're not gonna have places to film and you guys won't have places to hang out with your girlfriends or boyfriends. <laughs> Literally. Anyways, let's keep moving. Look at this hallway over here. This spells haunted to me. We got a boring bathroom over there. I'm not even gonna bother. Oh my God. What the hell is this? Unreal, unbelievable. This is wild. As if, hey, I like this. I've never seen a castle like this before. Boring room over here. Look at the arches here, guys. Is this not the coolest thing ever? Wow, so beautiful. And then you have this that probably has some beautiful stained glass over the gears. And now there's no more glass. It's just all destroyed. It must have cost a fortune to build this. This is only the type of stuff that you get in the United Kingdom. I have a big respect for the UK now. I've always known that I have a huge UK fan base and everywhere I've been going, I've been meeting you guys. I haven't done the fan meetup yet. I will be doing it at the end of my trip. I am actually leaving earlier than expected. I'm leaving about a week earlier than expected. So I have about a week left here. I was supposed to be here three weeks. I'm probably only gonna be here for two weeks. My wife is very pregnant and she's about to give birth any minute now. And I don't want her to give birth while I'm on this trip. You guys can understand that. But I will be coming back once baby Sarge number two comes along. Now, if you guys wanna keep up, with baby Sarge number two. And if you guys wanna keep up with my life, I do post daily vlogs on my second channel, The Sarge Family. Go ahead and subscribe to that. The link is gonna be down below. On that channel, I post everything from my day-to-day -day life, basically behind the scenes adventures, um, places that I film, but don't make it to the main channel. I posted them on that channel right there. So go ahead and subscribe to The Sarge Family. Okay, this is the point where we really gotta be careful where we walk. This feels very dodgy. Look at this floor. This whole floor has caved in. I just want to make it to that window. Yeah, this floor is not safe to walk on either. What's up, boys? Yo, what up? How collapsed was this house when you were here last? Not, not very at all. So this room here is completely gone. What? This Actually, room here? Oh, yeah, this wing here was a no-go. Uh-huh. Yeah, this room here is a no-go either, too. Okay. Gone. There's a lot of other rooms that are gone. Totally destroyed. So you mean like the floors missing? M missing floors, yeah. Have you been downstairs yet? Not yet. Oh, there's a good room downstairs. I don't want to set off the alarm, so I don't know which door the alarm's at. Uh, it's on that side. So as you come down the stairs, don't go straight ahead and, and to the far right. Okay. All right, guys, something I've been dreading is going downstairs because I don't know where these alarms are. If they go off, I am running. Ooh, where is this alarm? Oh my God. I'm nervous and my battery's about to die. Oh, shit. and I'm still by myself, by the way. Um, all the guys are outside. I'm exploring this castle alone, which is what I wanted. Where is this alarm? I just heard something inside.
So what I'm looking right now is for an alarm. Oh my God, look, there's a hole here. Here, alarm, where are you? Jesus Christ. Scared the crap out of myself. I don't see any alarms over here. So I've been literally sitting here contemplating if I should go back downstairs. I just had to go and get another flashlight from the car, but I'm still in here by myself right now. But honestly guys, what if I told you I was kind of like scared to go down there. Like I literally heard somebody walking around and there's also like a security alarm. <sighs> I guess I just got to man up and just do it. You know what I mean? Like. Hello? Okay, I've got a headache right now. Oh. Last night, I was in a haunted house. I had something very weird happen to me, which resulted in some tears coming out of my eyes. First time that's ever happened to Mo Sarji. Mo Sarji doesn't tear up, what the hell? And now I'm in here exploring this alone, and um, I'm probably gonna call for backup for this one. Yeah, I don't wanna go down there alone. It's, it's freaky. Okay, so none of the guys want to come in. I'm going to go down by myself. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully I don't die. The hell with this. Literally, they're all just chilling outside. I don't think they want to film today, so I think they're tired. They're tired because most RG does not get tired. I keep on going. People just can't keep up with me, I guess. I don't know. But I'm thankful to Dan for this really bright flashlight that he lent me. Okay, now this is stuff that I couldn't see earlier because my flashlight was dimming. Look at this room. Wow. Is it safe to walk here? Hello? I don't want to actually walk into the wrong room. I don't want to walk into the room with the alarm. That might be it there, actually. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which room, because I don't want the alarm to go off, and then I'm going to have to like run out of here, because I don't know if the security is going to come or not. But I really want to film the rest of this place. Hello? Hello? Who's here? Oh, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Where are you? Downstairs. Oh. Okay, I'm downstairs. Okay, come, come. I'm, uh, I'm like scared shitless, dude. Okay, all those joining me. Yo. What the hell is this place? I'm downstairs. This is the main foyer. Oh, there you are? Yeah. Dude, what are you doing down there? I'm scared shitless because there's literally like somebody walking around down here. Okay, I'm doing I'm coming. I heard some noises too. Bro, what the hell? All those now joining me. So what happened? Bro, so I was flying my drone around the area. Like yeah. I wasn't even doing an actual like video. And some lady came and she was talking to Andrew. She pulled up in her SUV and she was she pulled down her window and she was asking Andrew if she saw her missing boy. And then he told her to turn around that he didn't see anyone, but that we'll go look for her. So then that's why I came inside here. So looking for the missing uh, boy. Was it like that dark colored SUV? Yeah. I, I was flying my drone when she pulled up. You so saw that, yeah, right? Yeah. Did you catch on your drone? I think I may have. Maybe. Yeah, add it to your drone so everyone can see. If, if, so if her person, son is missing? Yeah, her son was missing, so she came looking. Remember that? What's with this finding like parents with their children missing in abandoned spots? That's right. Remember that uh, video we went to that lady lost her daughter? Yeah. And then uh, out of the bad place? Yeah. Same exact thing. And she kept looking for her son. That's why we keep telling people, guys, please do not go to the bad place. You will, like, there's a chance you can go missing, and then your parents are gonna come looking for you. And okay, listen, we have a bigger danger here. I was walking by here by myself. My flashlight was dying, so I had to go get a new one. There's somebody walking around down here, but also there's an area that's alarmed. So if we trip the alarm, we have to run. There's an area with an alarm. Yeah, I don't know where it is though. It's supposed to be near the front. I haven't gone that way. I've went. That's so creepy. I know. I haven't gone that way, but I've gone this way a little bit. But I got scared because I heard somebody walking around. So we got to really pay attention and see where these alarms are and not to go in front of them. Because okay, okay. if we set them off, we're screwed, dude. We got to be careful. Especially since this is where some missing children are. That's only like, the most recent one. There's a bunch of other reports of missing children here. 
So we gotta be careful. So I don't know if the alarms are here. Oh, I think that might be it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, that black thing. That's a, that's an alarm. Where? So stick your hat. Yeah, stick your head up right there. Oh, oh, that's I an see alarm. That. Yeah. Wait, look, there's an alarm right there. You see that? I think either that's an alarm or a camera. Don't stick your hand out too far. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. that might that might go off. What the hell was that? Do you hear it? Man, I really want to go down that way, but we can't. Let's go around. I wonder if we can go around. Go around yeah. Supposedly there's a basement, and no one's ever found the way to the basement. It's been like sealed off, apparently. The missing, what missing children? The lady's missing son? Yeah, there's a missing son. That's just the most recent one, but there's a bunch of other reports too. Okay, wait, 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 wait. That's wait. the one we caught on camera. Oh, see that? See these wires? This is electricity. Actual, real working electricity. That's going to an alarm or a camera. Okay, so. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. The, alarm is, the alarm is here to the right. I just saw it. It's green. It lit up green, but it didn't go off. It didn't get me. Oh, wait, so is it like visual if it sees you, it goes off? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Can we point our cameras out? Um, not too, go. not too far. Let's go explore that side first. Okay. I guess that wasn't the alarm. Okay. This is the so alarm. The alarm here. is over there. Yeah. So in case it goes off, oh my god, it's scary me because it's something green just like lit up in my face. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh. So that must be where the basement entrance is okay. to the alarm. Oh my god, this is insane. <laughs> okay, so then what the hell is this if that wasn't? Because look, there's electricity here too. Maybe they're both alarms, dude. Does that have power connected to it? Oh yeah, look, see see the red light? It's the camera. Oh, yeah. Look, there's a camera in there. It's got a red light. <gasps> look at the light. Oh, right <laughs> here, right here. So we're trapped. Oh my god. <laughs> well, bro, we're just trying to look for the missing children. Why is there an alarm here? What do we oh, do? Oh wait, bro, it makes sense. What? Bro, the reason there's an alarm here is because of the children that went missing. So now there's a security guard that protects the area to make sure that more kids don't go missing. Or they just don't want kids to come in here and kill themselves and go missing. That's also probably. I heard something this way. Bro, that's where the alarm is though. Okay, so I'm actually like nervous because there's a camera in there. But there were kids in here earlier. I think if the alarm goes off, we just gotta make a run for it or we could just like take our time. Okay. Should we just go even though there's a camera? Like what are they gonna do really? We're in yeah, the middle of nowhere. We have a good excuse. It's not an excuse. Like we're actually missing. We're not missing. I meant to say. Okay, airplane. Okay, sir. Even if there is an alarm in here and a camera, and it goes off, like it's not like cops are gonna be here within seconds. So we're in the middle of nowhere. Exactly. It's gonna take them a while. Should I throw a rock in there and put it to the test and see if anything happens? Bro, what if you throw a rock and then the alarm goes off? Okay. Maybe it's. What if it's heat activated though? <laughs> <laughs> this is so scary. Like, it's not gonna hurt us, but it's just gonna be loud and, and annoying. Okay. Do you wanna go first? Okay, is there any other ways we can go around? No, no. This is the only it. there, there. That's the only okay, way. If you had to place it back, because I didn't see the other alarm. Which one do you think is the more active alarm? This one or that one? The other one was flashing and blinking green like okay. crazy. So maybe it. this one we can. That's the largest alarm. That's the largest alarm. Yo, catch your, catch your flashlight. Catch your flashlight. That was the largest alarm I've ever heard in my life. It's so freaking loud. <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> we couldn't even make it to the basement. It's time to go. <laughs> oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that was so Bro. scary. That was literally the scariest thing ever. <laughs> that was that was funny. <sighs> we threw a rock first. Nothing was set off the alarm. And then we were just sitting there talking. What? Dude, there's something down there. Yeah, um, you want, might want to come out, bro. You might want to come out. Bro, just think about it. There's like a demon in there after your eyes. Get oh, out. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh no. <laughs> this has been the funniest video ever. Like, so scared to go down there. And when I go down there, I didn't even get to explore the entire house. You were in there for ages, though. Bro, because I, I, I was trying to get like B-roll shots and stuff. I was on my phone with my wife. 
and like just waiting around and my lights went out oh. and I was scared from that alarm. It's so loud, it like numbs your brain. Well, yeah, it's gonna echo so bad in there too. Yeah. It vibrates in the floor. It's like a very, very like scary, scary alarm. Okay, guys, I really tried to explore the entire house. You just saw that the alarm went off. That was so scary, Time man. to get out of here before security shows up. What the hell was that? Bro, that was, that was so, so scary. I've, I've, I've tripped alarms before, but never that loud and like mind frying. It was really terrifying. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the like button. This is what we live for, for adventures for you guys. Live a little UK merch in the links below. If you want more adventures, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one. What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another abandoned adventure and a haunted one right behind me is the creepiest abandoned mansion I have ever seen. And you can only find places like this in the United Kingdom, which is where I am right now filming with my friend Aldo over here and we got my friend Dan over here with Exploring with Fighters. Their links are gonna be down below, guys. This place is one of a kind. I've never seen a mansion like this before. We haven't explored it yet. We don't know what's inside. We don't even know if we can get in, but if we can, we're certainly gonna give you guys a really cool abandoned slash haunted adventure and that's if it is haunted. So I'm hoping there is paranormal activity inside of this place. All I need from you guys, smash the hell out of that like button. I flew all the way to the UK to give you guys adventure and all I want is for y'all to smash that like button. And before you smash that like button or after, Go down to the links below, get yourself the new UK merch, the LEL merch. I also have July 4th merch as well on the website. Links are gonna be down below. Get them right now while you can, they are limited. Let's get on with this adventure. We made it into this massive mansion. This place is already giving me the scariest vibes ever. But you know what? This is what we came here to the UK for, to give you guys the adventures. Are you boys ready for this? That's crazy. I've never been to a mansion that looks like this, by the way. Me neither. I will say, the only thing that's worried me a little bit, this looks fresher than the abandonment. Yeah. And outside of here, a lot of like fresh aluminium or aluminium. Alright, the adventure begins, I guess. Let's go for it. The door's not open. So, this is. Uh, it looks like a kitchen slash like a hospital room. This is the weirdest mansion I've ever been to. It's definitely a kitchen. It looks like a place where they like cut up bodies and throw them in the freezer. You know what I mean? Don't know too much about this mansion. Like I said, we've just heard stories about it online and it's a very, very high risk place to get to. So that's why we're kind of like on edge too. Very ancient, as you can see, they don't make manners like this anymore. Like look at these windows. So we gotta be extremely cautious and careful where we go. Somebody really rich. What? I didn't hear that. I, I know it, it's like I told you guys earlier. The door was wide open, so somebody could be in here. Or something. This is, guys, keep in mind, this is an English manor. Mm -hmm. Like, very ancient, very old. Could be a million spirits in here. Could be gens. Um, I do want to explore the bottom area before we go upstairs. Because in case, if there's something dangerous up there and we have to run out of here, I want to have a video for you guys first. Oh boy, I'm on edge. I've never seen videos of this place, so I don't know what to expect. It looks like there used to be a dead bird here. Look at this, very old 
office. It looks like there's been a lot of natural destruction. No graffiti, which is cool, right? What the hell was this, like a reception? This place might have been repurposed over the years. Could have been a mansion for someone at one point and then repurposed for something else. So from this point out, I'm gonna keep my camera rolling just in case I capture something. Cause a lot of times when I turn off the camera, the scary happens and I miss it. Of course, there's a basement down there. This is such a massive place, wow. Look at the floors. Unbelievable. Damn, there's so many rooms. Yo, what is that, dude? It's a house. Of this house? Yeah. That's not this house though. This is this house. This looks completely different on the on the on the drone footage. Unless this was like a, a mock-up that they're gonna try and make it look like, or originally look like this. This is crazy. Because when you come to the side, we veered around. Hey. What is that noise? Oh, it's just an airplane. Airplane. <laughs> look at this. I don't know if this is a mock-up of this house, but. It's definitely something. I don't know. No, 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 dude. This is too grand. This house, like, this house is big, but not, not like that. Why would this be here? Like, out of everything they left behind, they didn't take something like this, like a big art piece. That's what I mean. That's what I don't understand. It's weird. Dude, I feel like this is one of those things where, like, you push a secret button and, like, the floor opens up and you go down to like a secret lair. <laughs> right here underneath it. Yeah. Very interesting. Well, let's keep going and see what else there is. There's got to be like a secret tunnel. Somewhere. Oh my god. Yeah, there's gonna Yeah, there's there's gonna be a tunnel. Yo, look at this room. Whoa. I don't know. Dude, go take a look in there. What the hell? Yeah. Wow. This is where you find buttons and secret passageways and knock on them. This is only the main floor. And we haven't even scratched the surface of how big this mansion is. It is really mega. This place is 100% haunted. <laughs> Can you imagine how beautiful this place must have been like? Oh, yeah. When you're like living in here, the windows are open, the lights are on. Yeah, there's definitely a normal house. I'm gonna go upstairs and see what's up there. No. What do you mean? The door was closed. Really? Yeah, I wonder why you shut me in. I did not close the door. Well, I swear to God, the door was closed. Really? Yeah, no, I'm not stopped cutting. I'm, 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 I'm the room. Bro, I was looking around here. And I turned around and I was like, why is he closing me in? The door was shut. Now that I think about it, when I walked in, that door was not closed. But I walked out, like, from this side. Wait a minute, I'm a trip in. I'm sure that door was closed when I came home to the door. What the hell? Hello? Spirits of this house? Yo, I'm getting a headache all of a sudden. <clears throat> Actual proper headache. <clears throat> Bro, it's the first time of possession. I don't want that again. I want to get the f out of this room. I need to keep exploring and get out of here. This place is no joke. It's, I mean, look how, look at how grand this is. You don't ever see anything like this, ever. Well, maybe here in the UK, but never in Canada. What a strange room. It's like a room for, for phones, like to phone someone. Is that normal here in the UK? Like having a, a room just for telephones? Uh, no, not necessarily, but you, we would call that a pantry. You know, this reminds me of a hospital, kind of. I mean, it could have been a care home towards the end. Because on the opposite side of the house, I don't know if you've been there yet, there's an entire waiting area, a desk, 
area. Oh, no, I'm seeing that. So it might have been a hospital at some point or a nursery. Isn't this brain gas so that you heard somebody walking? Something like that, but you said. Like a weird silhouette. Hey, something's walking. Oh. oh. Something's coming down the stairs. Don't move, don't move. It sounded like something was actually walking down the stairs, dude. Something was walking. We just can't see it. The f was that? What? What is that? That came from that room? Yeah, it's a piece of a shovel. It's a shovel. Where the hell did that come from? I haven't even seen that in here yet. Maybe it came from this room over here? Yo, this is We definitely heard something coming down the stairs, boys. You know what I'm here? And something just got thrown. Okay, this is freaking creepy, man. So we heard something coming down the stairs. Hey, hey! Hey, there's a guy in there. There's a, yeah, hey! We mean you no harm. He's hiding behind the door. I just seen his face. Hey, dude. Must be a homeless guy. Yo, we're not security. Hey, we mean you no harm. We're not security, man. We're just exploring, like you. I think he's a, he's a homeless guy. Yeah, he was peeking, he was peeking through that door. Yeah, we walk him in that room. We'll just leave you to it. We're just gonna film around the area. Sir. We're not gonna come into your room if you're in there. We'll leave you be, but we're just exploring this house. I seen him peeking through here. Yo, my the flashlight's starting to be weird. Huh? It's just like flickering by itself. Okay, it's back to normal. It's like changing setting by itself. Excuse me. Hello? Hello? I swear to God, I saw a man in here. I swear oh, are you to God. Sure you he, yeah, he was peeking through this window, dude. Uh, not window, the, the, the cracks here. What the hell is up with this? He's flickering right up. Hello? Coming in. Oh, hi. There's someone down there. My flashlight just turned on. Hi. In that window there, the door, the door. Hello? Someone's still behind you. Yo, maybe he ran that way? Look. Which which door? The, the, the glass door one? On the left, yeah. The, 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 the white one? Someone, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shiny, can you turn that on? Bro, it's What's just, going on with it? It keeps flickering for some reason. Look. What the fuck? That's also flicker. That's, I'll just charge that. Because, so where the fuck is the guy that was in here? He's not here. There's nobody in here. I, I swear to God, I saw a man looking at me through the crack. There's no way he could have gotten out of here. I saw him in this room. What? This is where you saw him, right? Yeah, he was peeking through that door. Like, I thought it was a proper homeless guy. And man, this is flashing like he was dying on something. What the hell is that? That's so freshly charged. It's saying E, like... Fresh footprints. Are you serious? Yeah. Muddy, muddy ones over here on the right. <gasps> We're not alone. Look at the machine on the ground. Over here. Oh, yo, those are fresh. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's a third floor. Oh my god, there's a third floor? Yeah, I think we should kind of stick together. You guys want to go up to the attic? Yeah, you guys want to? I mean, I'm down. Yeah, let's do it. We haven't even explored the, the whole entirety and like we thought we'd seen something over there. But we should definitely go. Whoa. Bro, someone's f***ing was in here. That was right behind you, bro. Yeah, I know it was. It was either someone shuttling along or someone threw something We just heard something upstairs. Huh? Listen, we just... Oh. Somebody's up there. Someone's like, shh. I heard that too, it's like a... Alright, let me go first, let me go first.
Hello? Oh! Got a dead carcass. Oh, crap. There's something in here is feasting. There's another dead one. Oh my god. Yo, this is getting weird. There's another dead one. Bro. Something here is eating. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Something just moved in here. Oh my god, bro, I tell you, we, we heard something up here. There are dead animals everywhere in here. Bro, something in here is eating them. Eating them. <laughs> Oh! Son of a bitch, it's a, it's a pigeon. <laughs> it's a what? pigeon, yeah. Pigeon in here? Yeah. Oh, there's a pigeon. Oh, yeah. Where is it? That's a pigeon. Yeah. Where is it? Where is there, well, there's two dead ones there. Bro. I think we're about to wait something. You know why? Huh? Because look, there's a lot of dead birds on the floor. And that bird is alive for now. Something's about yeah. to get it. And look at this. These doors are numbered. This might have been a hotel. This might have been a hotel. What could eat pigeons in here? Fox, maybe. A fox. Sometimes they kill, they kill each other, eat each other. Pigeons? Yeah. I've never heard of a pigeon eating a pigeon. Yeah. Something is eating up these monsters or these pigeons and just throwing them aside. There's the traps in here. They eat each other. Yes, it is. <laughs> Holy That was creepy. Dude, there's a whole nother like, house up here. The floors feel very soft, by the way, so be careful. Another dead one over here. God damn it. Yo, I just heard something, but there's no picture. There's a lot of bugs there, too. Very careful. Yeah, because of all the dead pigeons. <laughs> Oh, floor is soft, be careful. Oh my god. Dude, it's like a bloodbath in here. It's like pigeon blood everywhere. Oh, look at the floors. I know. There's just blood everywhere. <laughs> it's like dead pigeon and pigeon poop. Yo, this is like the prime place for an evil entity to be. Hey, look, eggs. Oh There's eggs. So creepy. There's eggs here. Some type of egg. Bro, well, some monster is here. This is upstairs. That is big. There's another floor. Yeah. Staircase over here. Oh, it doesn't go anywhere. Never mind. What an interesting house. This third floor has shit all over it. Another dead pigeon. Got a bathtub here. I feel sick being in oh, oh my god! What the hell, dude? Yo, this pigeon's dying. We got a dying pigeon over here. Yo, are you okay? What is going on with all these pigeons? Look at this thing. Its wing is broken. You okay, Mr. Pigeon? Oh, Well, there's something in here is killing the pigeons, naturally. Yeah, and this one just died in front of me. Really? Like, it just, it was sitting up here, and then it just jumped off. And then it couldn't fly. I just found the creepiest little room ever up here. It just keeps going still. Oh, more dead pigeons, but... Yo, there's another part of a house here. Hello? Oh, it's a secret little house. 
That's what I mean. Like there could, there's possibly tunnels in the basement. Oh, there is. We're gonna find them. Yeah, yeah. There's like so much hidden stuff in this place. It's like this house is unending. It just keeps going and going and going. What the hell? I've never seen anything like this. Like the whole layout of the house. You guys saw from the drone footage how it looks, and it just. It's mind-boggling, like there's got to be more like hidden like secret layers and stuff and we're gonna find it today Dan is on a mission and he wants to find it too, so Anything in here? Oh, let's see my head Hey, who closed this in? Oh, oh. Who the hell closed that door? Look, look at how hard it's... I know. Oh, you can see, look. Yeah. You can see where it's not, it's not yeah. been closed on this door. It's been stuck here for a while. Then all of a sudden... Did you close this door? No. It's like something that shut this damn door, like, really hard. It's the second time that's happened now. Do you feel like we're being kind of stalked? No, not at all. All right, so we're going to make our way down the basement. We're going to see if there's tunnels. There's a staircase here. You what? We should go down to that room down below where I saw someone in the door. Okay, let's go. You want to go down this way or the other way? Yeah, we haven't gone down this way yet. We're walking on poop right now. It's gross. More dead pigeons. What the hell? There's like a whole other staircase that goes to another side of the house that we've never even seen. Unbelievable. This place is just full of surprises. <laughs> it's almost like this house is unending. We got another staircase that goes down that way. It's like a labyrinth. What the hell is this? It's like a maze, right? It is. I really thought there would be actually like more stuff inside of this house. It is pretty empty, but... And another staircase and another side of the house. What on earth? This must have been a hotel. But from the research that we've done, which is minimal, we know that this was a mansion, someone really, really rich back in the day. There's a whole nother wing over here. <laughs> like, this is a giant room. Giant, giant freaking room. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm so confused. So not only can we get lost in this place, but we're also kind of like, holy moly. Wait, we were here. Yeah, this is where we were. Okay. There's so much like secret like rooms and, and passages. Oh wait, this is where we came. This is where I saw someone in the room. Yeah, that's that's that what I was saying. Staircase. That was the staircase where you saw someone. So he saw bless you. So earlier he saw someone through this window here. Through this staircase. The problem is it's big enough that if someone wanted to, they could be running around in circles with yeah. tricks. And yeah. You never know. And I, I thought i seen a homeless guy earlier. Like, I'm not I literally saw that face. All right, guys, it's time to go down to the basement. We haven't explored that yet. Where is the basement? Oh, we came in through the basement. We, we came in, but we went right up the stairs. I mean, we're literally walking on asbestos everywhere. Really? That's, yeah, it's every abandoned house you've ever been to. So, is that where we're going to get cancer? Probably. Perfect. But hey, at least we had fun. At least we had fun. Okay, here's the basement. Danger, keep out asbestos. Thank you. Alright, let's go down to the basement. We only came in from a door and we went straight upstairs. <clears throat> is this where we came from? Yeah. We have to find tunnels here, man. Old places like this always had tunnels. Well, this is a little tunnel. 
Oh yeah, I found this. It looks uh, like a crawl. Maybe you can crawl out This is there for the basement? Coffee. It's impossible. So I'm pretty sure on my drone footage, I spotted what looks like a bunker outside. We're gonna explore outside and see if there's a bunker. No way. No way this basement is this tiny. There's gotta be like a hidden entrance somewhere. Might have been blocked off, right? Yeah. There's no way, I don't believe it. We're back upstairs because we don't believe that this is the basement. The f was that? It came from downstairs. Something like exploded down there. What the hell? Did you catch it on camera? Uh, I'm pretty sure I caught the audio, yeah. I don't think I was feeling. Yeah. Okay, we just literally went down there. We came up. It's like something didn't want us down there. That was like violent. Something like exploded. It sounded like glass. Yeah. It did sound like glass. I don't see any glass. Hello? Oh, what the hell is this? Anyone been in here yet? No. It's strange for a house to have a bathroom like this, no? Yeah, it's pretty good bathroom. I still find it strange that there's like a brand new fridge in here. Fridge door. Locked. You need a key for it. And uh, we just don't know what's inside of it. Like, there could be some something shady inside of this place, right? It's all concrete. But we'll, I guess we'll never find out what's in there. Something that actually just caught my eye is there are bars on these windows, like a prison. What the hell? Guys? Wait, did these guys leave? Hello? What the f is that? Guys? Guys are... I'm in here by myself right now and I'm freaking out. Hello? Guys? These guys go. Hello? Guys, where are you? Hello? Guys? I'm pretty sure earlier I got spooked by something. I saw something moving over here. What the hell is that? Something just moved. What the f is going on? I think my, my fear is playing against me right now. Guys? Guys? Yeah. Where the hell are you guys? Yeah. What the f guys? Yeah. I thought you guys were f***ing with me downstairs. Yeah. Literally something got thrown down there and I heard some noises and it sounded like there was somebody a bike on a motorcycle or a bicycle outside. Well, yeah, there was some weird noises coming from that room. Yeah. No, I swear to God, bro. I caught something moving on camera, I swear to God. Yeah. There might be actually somebody here. I heard a strange noise. Yeah, I'm done, guys. Where is it coming from? From that main hall room. Before 
Moses and Carly Farm were a shock. You guys are really weird. Like Moses and Carly said you heard someone outside riding a bike or something. I heard something, dude. It sounded like something spinning and stopping. Oh, let me take my flashlight. I don't want to wait. There might be another like entrance to a tunnel system. Hey, what about this door on the left? This tiny left. Did you look into this door? No. This door here. Because the toilet have a little the door. Is that a toilet? Open it. Yeah, a little closet. Oh. A little closet? Yeah, it's a closet. Okay, bye. So we are outside right now, thank God, because we survived. I'll show you guys what this place looks like from down below. Like, it is terrifying. But we heard something pull up to the other side of the house. It could be somebody here. Dan just pointed something out. This used to be a police dog training area, or at least it says it. That's, you know, in that fridge, there might be something in there. Yeah. What the f Do you imagine if we're in there filming and dogs come running? Yeah, we're absolutely okay, screwed. But like, this definitely wasn't built for that purpose. This was a manor at one point. Yeah. And look, there's another house too. Look at how scary and big this place looks from the outside. Wow, we. Oh, oh, oh. What? Van, van. Just, no, don't, 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 don't. Get over here, get over here. Duck, duck here, stay here. I see him. Duck, duck, duck. I see this. Really? Sorry. Should, we, should, should we just run? I see this. This Yeah. A van just pulled up. But that was a strange encounter. We just had that van. A van just pulled up on us, saw us, looked very shady, and just turned around and left. And this is a secure, like, gated off area. You can't, you can't drive in here, so we don't know what this guy's deal is. We're gonna get the out of here, though. Guys, take a look at how beautiful this is from the backside. This is not a beautiful house. Dilapidated, it's abandoned, so but yeah, it's, it is pretty. So it is so pretty. Yeah, a camera doesn't do justice to how big and beautiful this mansion is. This is the thing that we were inside of right now, and it is absolutely mega. And this is why, like, we kept finding all these secret rooms. Like, look at this, dude. There's so much here. Absolutely too much. But it's a shame that we didn't find tunnels. I can't figure out what noise, because the room that I heard the noise from wasn't here. That's the room. So, like, there's nothing out here. We did see a van, but it wasn't the van. And it was shady that there's a, a van that just came in and looked at us on left. It could be somebody hiding something in that refrigerator. Hey, it just dawned on me that that refrigerator could belong to whoever that guy in the van was. Maybe he's hiding something in there. Oh, oh yeah, you're right, the refrigerator. That's a good, that's a good shout, actually, because uh, them new vents on the outside as well. Yeah, so maybe that's he's maybe he's got product in there, like drugs or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. And he, he looked at us, he's like, oh, there's three guys, I'm out, I'll come back with backup. How, how many people were in that van? Like I didn't take a look at them, I just hid the whole time. Yo, that was a creepy looking van too. I think there's two of them in the van. Uh oh. Dogs? Yeah. Yo, it said over there, could be police, police dogs, let's get Yo, out of here. No, that's, that's definitely police dogs. There are police dogs coming right now. We're pretty sure that was a police van. Oh my God. That was a really close one. We were like exploring this abandoned mansion. Things were going wrong inside. Things were happening. We found a lot of dead carcasses and this random van pulled up. I don't remember if I hit record. If you did see the clips, then then the van was there. Um, we believe it was a, a cop scouting out the place to see if we were there and he just left. And all of a sudden you hear dogs. It's almost like dude sent out dogs and we That's got scary. the hell out of there. That was terrifying. Like ghosts and stuff is one thing. Homeless yeah. people is another. And then dogs, like. They're gonna be biting us. It sounded like hound dogs too. Yeah, it was. Hound dogs can be dangerous if they if they got your scent. Hope you guys enjoyed that adventure. Big thank you to Dan for bringing us here. His link is gonna be down below. All those link is also going to be down below. And the link for my merch, get yourself the new UK merch and also get yourself the July 4th merch on the merch store right now. There's also camo merch that I've launched. I actually don't have any on me right now, but I've got the live a little and, and Timo Sarji camo merch. You guys can find that in my links down below. We love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to be you, do you, stay positive and just live a little. See you on the next one. I guess this is where we're sleeping tonight, boys. Yep. Yeah. It's like something stalking us. Jesus Christ. Shh. That was a woman.
What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another abandoned exploration coming out of the United Kingdom. I've been having such a blast here in the UK filming non-stop bangers for you guys. Like literally I've been filmed like two, three videos a day. There's so much content here. And today I'm giving you guys a really cool video throughout this forest. I got the boys with me back there. We are actually going to a really haunted mental asylum, a place that has so much history, a place that's like literally like 500 years old, maybe even more. I don't know exactly how old it is. We will find out once we get inside. Apparently this place has seen a lot of suffering throughout the years. People have died at the abuse of the officers that were here. Apparently some of the patients that were here at one point in time still come back and hide out in here because a lot of them actually escaped. A lot of these patients went missing over the years and honestly, I'm really hoping we don't run into anyone here that's gonna possibly potentially hurt us But if we do we are gonna document it for you. I'm gonna to try to make this video as long as possible I love you guys. Thank you all for the love and support that I've been getting on these videos and don't forget UK merch links down below the adventure begins look at this completely surrounded by this massive forest really creepy trees and a big asylum building right there. I got Aldo exploring with fighters and I got proving demons with me today. The boys and I are on this road trip throughout the UK. We're gonna be in Scotland soon and we're just gonna be filming nonstop. So I hope you guys are subscribed and I hope you have notifications turned on. Whoa, this place is massive, bigger than I expected it to be. It just keeps going on the other side. And the weirdest thing is, is that there's an active prison down that way. So we have to stay clear of that side because there's literally police and uh, we don't want to get in trouble here. But look at this, guys. This is a giant abandoned asylum. And I'm told there's beds and stuff and like things left behind. So there should be some history to look at here. All right, boys, y'all got your diapers on today? Yeah, I'm ready. I uh, forgot mine, sadly. Uh, I got my tampons, so. Okay, that's um, yeah, weird. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very weird. <laughs> I got Dan improving demons, as you guys already know. Oh. Guys, so listen, if we find any people in here that are gonna be like aggressive, let's uh... Well, you know, I haven't pissed all day, so I can piss on the, I mean... What? what? No, no, no. 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 Wait, on aggressive people, on it's, aggressive uh, Aggressive people, yeah. yeah. It's the aggressive golden shower. And aggressive golden Why is this turning? Wait, okay, stop. I don't want tampons and golden showers in my damn video. <laughs> but yeah, guys, this is such a cool place. Thank you to Dan for driving us out here. How big is this place? It's, it's huge. It's big. I mean, it's it, really looks, big. it doesn't look too big here, but it stretches way off It that goes way. all the way up now, there. Now, is that what she said, or is that? That's what I like to think. From personal experience, he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no more sexual dumb jokes. These are all dad jokes, by the way. I think me and Dan are the only two dads here. But yeah, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna explore, and it literally looks like there's someone looking at us from up in that window right now. That's crazy. Have you ever had any paranormal experiences here? Oh yeah, oh, tons. Yeah. tons. Oh yeah, tons. Like what? This is notorious. This, this place is one of the most haunted places in the whole county. Really? Like this is no joke. Like this is also doable for a nighttime. Day or night, haunted is haunted. Yeah, of course. Girl, Demons don't just go away because it's daytime. I camped in here. No way. Yeah, yeah, I camped overnight. I stayed the whole night. And this is the only place I've actually physically been touched. I had someone pull on my t-shirt behind what me. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, it freaked me out so much rotten. I didn't come back. This really? is the first time back since then, yeah. Do you think it's the spirits of all the crazy mental... Actually, you know what? I think, I it, was a, I think it was a child because there was a child wing over on the far side. And it, it, it came from down below. It was like something pulled from the, the bottom like a child like pulling you top. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we might see like a little ghost of children yeah. here. And I mean, it, it might look pretty bad here like this, yeah. but the further you go in, the more untouched it becomes. Oh, you know? Well, good thing I have my Live a Little UK merch on because it's going to protect me from anything here today. Yep. All the merch is blessed by a priest. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. All right, here we go. We are about to get inside of the asylum. Look at that. Wide open. All right, so I think we're going to split off into twos. Want to come with me? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Right. You guys go together yeah, for a little bit? Nice. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna split off a little bit, meet up again, and then we can like kind of switch teams a little bit. It'd be kind of cool to have like different oh, perspectives. Yeah, and if you need any help, just scream. Mm -hmm. All right, Dan, where do you think we should go? We'll probably stick to this level in the basement. Okay, let's okay. do it. I feel like it's been a while since I've been to an asylum. This place looks like it's suffered damage. But then again, asylums always do. Like when you come to these places, it's a chance that you'll, you'll find stuff or you won't find stuff. Let me get my flashlight out here. Yeah, this looks like it was just a bathroom. I'm going to try to keep this video as long as I possibly can for you guys without kind of boring you. Um, yeah, there's not much going on in here. Are there any like beds and stuff left behind? Uh, yeah, in some of the more untouched areas. Oh, there's, so there's areas that are kind of not like destroyed. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. I mean, you, you, the, the thing is, it looks more destroyed because a lot of this paint, I don't know if you know, it's got lead in the paint. Yeah. So that's why it all crumbles like this. It's yeah. like Silent Hill. Yeah, it's like super illegal to have this paint nowadays. Yeah. I don't think they make it anymore anyways. It's almost like they wanted to poison people. They just put lead in everything. 
So guys, for those of you that don't know, I have an Instagram and it's called Mosarji. It's got a blue check mark, I'm verified. There's only one and I have like 333,000 followers on it. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna be posting stories of future locations that we're gonna be filming so you guys will always know what we are filming before we even drop it. So I would really appreciate if you guys went to my Instagram, followed me and turned on notifications and spam me with something, spam me hello. I will always reply to you guys. I've seen a lot of penises before, like my friend Carlo for instance, but never a penis on legs. <laughs> I love it. Hey Dan, do you think I should do it? Yeah. Do you think I should tell them about the horses? Yeah, you should tell them about the horses. All right, all right. So listen up guys, here we go. Okay, listen, I have this friend named Steve. And Dan oh, is also- Good old Steve. Good old Steve, we both know Steve. You guys have seen him in my videos a long time ago. Steve's one of the coolest dudes ever. Now Steve loves horses, oh. absolutely loves them. Loves. Like I'm talking about actual horses. Mm. So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to go and show Steve some love on Instagram, even on Twitter, at Steve Ronan. I'll leave his Instagram down below. You guys can go and spam him nonstop, and he loves this because he wants a lot of these. He loves pictures of horses. Yeah. So spam him nonstop with pictures of horses, but don't tell him who sent you. Just, just, just don't tell him. Okay. I mean, he, he particularly likes like funny looking horses. So you, if you can find the funniest looking horse, like a horse smiling or you know showing its teeth, you know sending them falls, or showing its it. arm. Yeah, he, I mean he will love it. Honestly, he'll really appreciate. Yeah, it. He would really appreciate it, and like he falls back anyone that sends him pictures of horses. That's true as well. So whether you want to spam him for a day or a week or an entire month, it's all up to you guys. Yeah. Just keep spamming him with horse pics. And comment down below when you've done it as well. Let us know that you've done it. Yes. So we can show you appreciation too. Yes. Hey, this looks like a classroom. Kind of, maybe. So creepy. Even though it's daytime, haunted is haunted, guys. And there's going to be some paranormal activity in here, for sure. You know, weirdly, I've had more paranormal stuff happen in the daytime than at nighttime. Dude, me too. And when you're not even trying, when you're just like, us two talking like this, yeah. that's when stuff happens. Yeah, exactly. It's like trying to get your attention. Exactly. And that's why we sit here and joke around sometimes, because we know, like, when, when you're just, like, joking around, like, the spirits are watching. They're like, hey, let's do something, you know, when these guys are watching and not actually trying to summon us all the time. But look at the way these hallways look like. All burnt, dilapidated, glasses broken. These arches are kind of cool. This is my first UK asylum. Wow. What? What's wrong? Hear something? Yeah, that's what It almost sounded like something took a step down there. I thought it might have been like a bird or something, but I don't think so. Hello? By the way, guys, this is the morning. We're here in the morning. No one comes to these places in the morning. Yeah. So we, we are alone. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. adventures. This is the 10 a.m. challenge. And of course, we got a pentagram on the wall. <gasps> we got Nazi signs everywhere, which is interesting. And then we got the 666. Always with the 666s. Whoa, look at this. So much destruction. So this is what you don't see in like asylums in Canada, like arches everywhere. You know, you find it in the US a little bit, but it, it is different. It was the Victorians. The Victorians were obsessed with arches and vaulted ceilings. I am too. I wish I would bring that back. If you're going to start doing architecture, start doing stuff like this. It's so cool. Look at this. We have an elevator. Do you know how old this place is? It's not like a 500 year old building. No, no, no. It's no. like 130, 140 years old. Okay. I said 500 at the beginning. Totally wrong. Forgive me. <laughs> I just always think everything's like 500 to 1000 years old in the UK. So Dan's telling me that this place might have been built in 1903 and apparently this area suffered a fire which is new a lot of damage we got some old machines here no clue what they're all about Whoa. you know this thing is real when you got biohazard bags this is what they would put like the waste in so like are there stories of torture yeah of course so a lot of the asylums in the uk got closed down because of abuse and torture what they would do is they would get towels wet them and they would wrap them around patients that would scream and they would basically like rear naked choke them with a towel until they pass out and fall asleep what the hell? Um, they would put methylated spirit a flammable liquid in the pockets and set them on fire just just for fun to watch them and these were the officers that this, were doing yeah this. this was like just the nurses and stuff uh, the staff here to entertain themselves yeah it was really bad why were people so evil and vile back then i really do feel like if there wasn't actual overwatch over like certain not all of them like certain nurses nowadays and like doctors i think they'd still be doing stuff like this because there's a lot of evil people out there that pretend to be good and to do good and they oh. actually end up like i'm sure there's patient abuse even now and now in oh. modern times i've been to a couple of active asylums like 
back in the day before YouTube, I used to deliver pizza for a living. And I used to deliver pizza to this one asylum. And I was always so terrified going in there. There was this dude that would order pizza once a week, never said a word to me, but would look at me like a really weird way. Like I was genuinely scared. And he would order the same thing every week. And I would have to go through the asylum. Like they would let me go yeah. and just to give him his food. Wow. It was terrifying, but it's weird looking into their eyes. It's almost like they're having some issues, but it's almost like you can tell that they're kind of being abused in yeah. a way. You know what I mean? Yeah. I hope that's not the case. I hope people aren't being abused nowadays in, in these places, but I'm sure they are. I'm 100% sh guarantee it. Do you know the crazy thing? One of the key uh, reasons why a lot of the females were put in these places is if they got pregnant out of wedlock, so if they weren't married and they were having a child, they would be put in an asylum. Why would they put you in an because, asylum? Because they would see, they would think that you're not of, uh, you know, mental stability because you're having a child out of wedlock. So they would put them in asylum jail. It was really bad on females back in the day. Yeah, and I can only imagine. Like, imagine they gave birth. In these, oh, they would. If you gave birth in this place, your kid they would. might be stuck here, or they might take your kid away. They, no, they truly would. That's what happened. They had they had children wings, and the child would grow up in the asylum and become a patient as well because they would. That's all they knew. Yeah, it was really bad. And then once the, once a child finally gets out, if they get out, they're yeah. all like mentally unstable because they've only grown up to know oh, yeah. the life of an asylum. And that's why there's such bad residual energy in asylums. That's why they're so rife with paranormal activity because of the stuff that happened here. And that's why you guys need to listen out and keep your eyes wide open throughout this entire video from the beginning to the end. If you spot something, if you hear something that wasn't said by any of us, let us know in the comments below. Whoa, well, we're going into like this dark zone over here. Suffered a lot of burns and damage. It's funny, we haven't run into any of the other guys here yet. No, it's massive. We should uh, we should take a detour down here into the basement. Dude, let's do this it. This is recently opened up. It's not smashed the wall. Whoa. Did you film the basement? Uh, yeah. Oh, somebody smashed up the basement. So they had war sealed it up when it became yeah. abandoned. Yeah. I wonder why. The fact that we are going down to the basement through a hole, but then again, it doesn't surprise me. In the UK, all we've been doing is tunnels and holes and caves, which I love, I absolutely love. Even the door that gets you to the basement has been opened up. Interesting. Wait, where's the basement? Oh, that is weird. What's down here, nothing? Rolling. Metal. All right, let's keep going. Wow. It's time to go into the basement. Oh, this is the power plant. All right. Spirits and ghosts. We are in your basement. Dude, there's mud everywhere, so let's walk on these like rocks. <clears throat> it's like playing the floor is lava in the basement here. Well, this is what proper exploring is. Holy, it's a tunnel system. We have to walk through this? Yeah. All right. Let's go through the tunnels then. I love tunnels. You guys know me. Tunnels are cool, but I hope it takes us somewhere. Where, where should we go, right or left? I've never been down here so long. Oh. Let's so, explore. All right. Well, I see light over there, so let's keep going. Just to show you guys, I'm literally working out my thighs right now. Oh, wow. This gets you into like a power station. Oh, this is a strange tunnel. Is it gonna take us anywhere beneficial? I have no idea. I don't think so. I think this is gonna take us like... It's the underbelly of this island. This. Yeah. But I think what it's gonna do is it's not gonna be actually underground basement. I think these are just like tunnels that get you from place yeah, to place. Yeah, it's all maintenance stuff. Maintenance stuff, yeah. So we decided we're not gonna keep going down the tunnels. It's pointless. It's gonna break our backs for no reason. Um, they're just going to get us to places that are above ground, basically. So we're going to jump down here. This is a proper adventure in the UK. All right, we got this. Watch out, this thing's a little bit wobbly. Yeah, Dan. Wow, look at all these old machines. Pumps. This is like the electrical area or like a water pump area diesel big big ass engine over here someone's really knocking these down like it's hard to break this open watch out for nails kids whoa where the hell are we oh we literally went in through that 
Okay, so that was pointless. That got us nowhere. There is probably a proper basement somewhere else we have to find. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we have to find it. I, I don't think I've actually been in the proper basement though. So then we gotta find it. All right, we are continuing on to the main floor before we explore other parts of the wards. just got hit with like a weird <gasps> oh whoa. I'm still feeling it feel that we're hearing something and we just felt the cold breeze just come out of nowhere and there is no breeze in here at all no you'd be seeing things like moving around if there was I mean look at the wire there that would be moving around yeah hey we should review that footage I'm gonna look yeah. at it Okay, we just reviewed the footage. It literally sounds like a woman howling or like screaming in pain. It's very faint. I'm gonna have to like elevate it in the video, but wow. We're not alone here. No. It could be the guys though. I doubt we can that. We're so far away. Yeah, yeah, maybe. All right, we gotta be on the lookout now. We've heard a female's voice. Look at this room. What the hell is this? Is this an air, a foosball? foosball? No way, and they destroyed it. Foosball, wow. I love foosball. So, what was this room? Why, why would it have a foosball table, I guess? Uh, this would have been like a community room. Mm. Like a, yeah, where they can come and they would probably get a privilege if they've been well behaved, they would be allowed to come and play in here. And community room. Community room. Yeah, it was very strange. We heard a voice and then all of a sudden a, a gust of cold air. It's really hot today. And all of a sudden, you know, we, we get a gust of cold air. Look at that, dude. They got fences. They had fences, I should say, all around. So in the community yard, this is all the freedom you would get. That is depressing. Man, I swear to God, if I see any like shadow figures or females in here that are not human, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> We've been experiencing so much paranormal activity on this trip going to different places this is terrifying oh it's a clinic wowie we got a clinic here oh it stinks it smells weird in there it's like something died in there so let's bring these patients to an asylum where they can get treatment abused and then treatment again and then abused again and over and over and over and over Hey, this is looking like a proper hospital over here. The guardian room. What does that even mean, the guardian room? Oh, this was a, this was a child's section, this part now. Oh. And the guardians, yeah, they would be like, not birth parents, but people who, who mm. was like adopted or whatever. Makes sense. Yeah, it seems like it just gets darker and darker in this place. I think we've reached the end of this wing over here. Or does it keep going? No, it keeps going. Hello, any spirits in here? We're here to evict you. Let you go free. This was a children's room. Whoa, what the, what the f is that? Hello? What the hell was that? Well. Something doesn't want us to be in here. Bro, you, I think you had your camera pointing that way when it happened. Yeah, I did. I hope to God you caught it. I don't know, I didn't see anything. I heard something, like way back there. We come in peace. We don't mean you any harm, I promise. Bro, it could be like a child yeah. spirit. You said you had an encounter with something tugging on your shirt one time. Yeah, that was... That was immense. That was actually one of the most scariest things I went through. 
going to cause you to run the hell out of here. Yes, because like when you're dealing with big noises and stuff, you know, you're like, oh, well, maybe it could have just been falling debris. When something pulls you, it's like you can't explain that. 100%. I've been pulled before, that's for sure. All right, spirits, we're coming through. Please don't hurt us. We mean you no harm. We'll get out of this area, I, I promise. Yeah, it's not like it came from over here. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of this. Huh? Oh, what, what, what? It just feels like some... Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, you yeah, I, feel like I feel that too. I feel like... Scoot that. It's like something stalking us. Jesus Christ. What was that? It felt like it was like hovering above us, right? It felt heavy. Bro, that was not good. Someone was like manifesting. The thing is, is when, when we start to get scared, it, it gets strong. Yeah, it does. So we, we didn't see anything, but it felt like it was like above us, like hovering above us. <sighs> Bro, I wasn't expecting that. Like, yes, we do abandon and haunted, like, for years, but it's always scary. Like it's always an experience. People don't understand that in the comments. Yeah, you never like, get used to this. Why? Why are you guys scared? You're here every other week because you don't get used to something that, like this. You don't see these demons and spirits, and you just don't know what they're gonna do to you. They will do something to you if you allow them to. You have to run sometimes and get away from the situation. It's always different as well, you, and you kind of know in your gut if it's a good thing yeah. or a bad thing. Just like a bee, if you're messing with a bumblebee, yeah. you gotta run, you know what I mean? Like, these things will sting harder than a freaking bee. But something was literally hovering, hovering all above us. Maybe we go back there when, when we're all together. Yeah, possibly. Why is that area though? That's so strange. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's actually like the, the youth energy is stronger than like a normal spiritual energy. Or, you know, a younger. or I, I believe, I don't believe like any like youth are still here. Like right, in spirit okay. form. I believe it's always demons that are still right. What was that? That was scary. I don't know, but I don't want to find out. Yeah. The guys are on the opposite side of this asylum, so it's just us two here. All right, we're now on the second floor. And we did hear something. I think there's a bed in here. Oh, dude, so much fires have happened in this place. It's like, yeah, people have set fire to this entire building. It really sucks. The second floor is definitely worse than the first floor, but apparently there's areas that are kind of almost untouched. I want to go out here and see what's out this way. Oh yeah, the sun feels nice. Look at this. Yeah, like I told you guys, this is the court where these patients, this is the only freedom they had. Out of like, maybe like a, a thousand of them that were here. This is all the freedom they had. But I want to take a moment to sit here and let you guys know that I love you. And I thank you for all the support on the videos. And if it wasn't for you guys, I would not have the opportunity to get out there and give you guys free content like this. So big thank you to y'all. I enjoy giving you guys free content. I enjoy making videos for you guys. I enjoy just doing this. Like we're not sleeping. We're just traveling nonstop and we're filming a lot. I've never been to the United Kingdom. It's my first time ever in my life. My wife's about to give birth soon. So I'm on this trip, but I'm also trying to do it in, in a fast way where I have videos once, you know, my second baby comes and uh, I can just hang back at home and edit videos and drop videos for you guys. So I hope you appreciate it. I'm working hard for you and I love you. Live a little. All right, the adventure continues. We are still searching for the unknown inside of this asylum. Imagine just walking by a door and just seeing like a spirit just standing there. In like a nightgown. Yeah. Now that would be terrifying. What? This place is like, it's so weird. We got like corporate stuff over here. Oh wow. It's a lot of documentation for the kids. Yeah, look at all this. <clears throat> I wonder how old this stuff is. This stuff looks kind of new. There's no date on it, but... Surprised no one set this stuff on fire yet. Apparently there is a third floor. We heard Aldo or somebody screaming. I don't even know if it was Aldo. Could be other people in here, but we just... I don't know, like someone was screaming. 
Um, we're gonna continue on because there's a third floor. And uh... oh, oh, oh. what the? What the? F Are you kidding me? Yeah, that door was wide open walking through it. Close the door all the way if you're here. Guys, I'm gonna show you that there's no one behind this. No one, not a thing, not a soul. If you're here. That was wide open. You didn't touch it. You no, you, you were with me. You were with me when yeah. we heard the noise. Didn't touch it at all. When you were, when we heard it, that noise. We were standing right here by, yeah, by the time we heard the noise of the door uh, closing. What the hell? Bro. What? It was like someone banged it though. And this is exactly what I mean. You do capture paranormal in the daytime. And I love it. I feel like you get more stuff in the daytime. Okay guys, we are moving up onto the third floor right now. I don't know what to expect. I don't even think the other guys have been up here yet. So, uh, hopefully... Oh, it looks, looks like a lot of damage up here. Keep in mind, there are other buildings. This isn't the only building. This is still the first building. And we're getting this much paranormal activity. You know, I'm scared up here. I don't know why. I got a bad feeling about this floor. I don't know why. I just do. It's almost like every floor has its own vibe. Yeah, this floor is really done in. They've messed it up. I mean, some of it's natural decay. Understandable. But a lot of it is... is is actual vandalism. What the heck? Secret tunnel. Oh, that's so cool. Let's go through the secret tunnel. Have you been in here? Nope. <laughs> He's like, man, when I go out with Mo Sarji, he just goes into like the secret tunnels. Yeah, I love it. I've been <laughs> looking for someone like this for a long time. Yeah, like, you know, you guys know me. I, I, like, I like to go above and beyond. Like if I'm here, Spending my time like I, I travel all the way here. I, I want to see every inch of this place. What is that? The drops. The drops? Yeah, I know they're all like toast. That's why these boards are here, I guess. Uh, yeah, we gotta be careful walking here. Yeah. But what was this place? I gotta be very careful. Oh, it just keeps going, dude. This is like something out of Harry Potter. Just keeps going and going. Whoa. And there's like other tunnels and stuff, but I think that's a dead end down there. All right, that was cool. This is like where the officers will probably bring these kids and torture them. Yeah, well, I've never <laughs> been in the attic before. This is it. This is the attic. But And we're walking on these. If we walk anywhere else, we're going to fall right through and die. Yeah, yeah we got to be careful. But yeah, as I was saying, like, I literally like to go above and beyond. And even when I do, I probably still miss stuff because there's always something hidden that you've missed. It's almost impossible to see everything all at first glance. Especially if you don't have a map. There's a shot of Dan's bum right there. <laughs> That's the reason why I came on the uh, Mossadji channel. <laughs> to get your bum show? Yep. <laughs> oh, this is not so glorious. Ugh. I wore my brand new pants today, too. I, don't, I wasn't expecting to get dirty. These were supposed to be my going out to dinner pants. We're good. So Dan was telling me that this upstairs area was the best kept area, untouched. And the last time you were here was two years. Two years ago. And it's look at look at the state it's in, in two years. Destroyed. Probably worse than the rest of the place. And it just goes to show you how quickly these places get destroyed because of vandalism and natural decay. There's supposed to be beds, but I'm sure they've all been set fire to. Yeah. There's nothing. Everything's been set fire to. Well, it sucks, but there are other buildings we can go and explore and continue this adventure. So let's go and check them out. Oh, we thought we saw something down there. Yeah. It's like a girl. Dude, we were upstairs and you can hear you. Like, we're kind of outside. We can hear everything. Yeah, it's crazy though, because we could hear a girl before. We heard it. We actually got a girl's voice on the actual oh, audio. Yes. We were, Are you serious? Yes. yes. What the? What? what? Wait, what happened? Yo, Siri just reacted. To Siri just turned on by itself. Oh, what the hell? So we were standing over there earlier, yeah. and we had this big gust of wind out of nowhere, yeah. and we heard a female's voice. And then it felt like something engulfed us, like was over us. Like standing behind us, and we ran scared. Like we ran upstairs. Oh man. Okay, well, it's good that you guys are okay. Yeah, we're alive. We're alive. Holy crap. And apparently, there's a room that we missed that has a, an actual bed and yeah. a toilet. Yeah. So let's go and check it out. I can't believe it's here. It's, it's creepy. We heard something down there. Dude, we've been like getting attacked by like paranormal, so it's kind of hard to like see everything at once. 
Yeah, it was, um... It had, the sign said out of bounds on it. Really? Oh, we didn't see that. It was an out of bounds area. We might have missed it. To be honest, we don't even know where we are now. We, we were, we went underground into a tunnel. Somebody's here. All right. All right. All right. How you guys doing? There's other people in here. What's up, buddy? What? Try exploring. Yeah, that's what we're doing. You got to pay ten dollars. Yeah. Huh? Ten dollar fee to explore. <laughs> no, I'm just we're just fucking with you. We're just messing with you. <laughs> These little kids just came in here. Oh, I'm scared of this stuff. <laughs> just you never know. You're in one spot. You think you're completely alone. But we've been completely alone. These guys just showed up. They're never alone. Yeah, especially with that freaking giant spirit that was hovering above us. Man, that was so scary, eh, Dan? Yeah. It literally felt like this massive thing behind us. You couldn't see it, but you That was different. Yeah. That was like a big shadow man type thing. We didn't actually go in this way. I saw the room in there. Really? Surprised there's something left intact in this place. Whoa. Okay, this is creepy. We got a toilet with some blood and shit on it. We got a bed. I guess this is where we're sleeping tonight, boys. Yep. Wow. Wait, look, look. What? There's footsteps, and then there's a whatever the hell that Yeah, is. someone's gone up in those ducks. Like, who the hell wants to crawl into that? I just want to go up in there and see what's in there. That's weird. Little bird. No, I think what they're trying to do is steal copper. Yeah, because, like, you literally can't go anywhere. Right? Yeah, they're probably trying to steal copper or something. Copper. It's actually really clean up there. A lot of electrical plugs. Yeah, because they sell copper. Did, oh. you, did you see this? See that blood? Oh, yeah, there's blood on the bed. That's gross. That's so sick. Ugh. All right, it's time to get the hell out of here. It's so weird being here by myself when the boys are back at the car. All those doing like a drone video and the other two are just chilling. So we're taking a break before we go have lunch and move on to the next location. Tonight we are gonna end up in Scotland, which is cool. Bees, bees, bees. Bees, the bees are coming after me. We're gonna end up in Scotland tonight. Never been to Scotland, obviously. And I never knew it was part of the UK. So I'm learning a lot on this trip. Learning a lot how all these areas are, you know, parts of the United Kingdom, which I thought everything was like kind of separated and you had to take like boats and planes, but you can literally just drive there anywhere. I could even drive to Italy if I wanted to.